<laughs> I'm so confused. Why did my computer do that? What was... Wait. What? Huh? That was in... What, what, what the fuck happened? Holy shit. Let me... Make sure... Mm-hmm. Let me, okay. Let me exit this game and put it back on. <laughs> ah, we were going, getting to the fucking good parts, and then, what? I still don't know why it did that. That was bizarre. It shouldn't, did it? I thought that was, for a second, I thought that was like a weird thing, but no, no, that's, my computer was just... My computer just decided to fucking die. <laughs> For no reason. <laughs> what the fuck? Wait, let me... Let me do one Maybe... Hello! Yeah, it was just my PC. That's what's so bizarre. I thought I lost power. No, no, we didn't lose any power. Well, hello, uh, Beans. Uh, you came at an interesting time. <laughs> okay, let me... My bitrate is fine. Mm, minute. Let me check. Video's fine. Okay. It's That's so weird, and it's a game that is mostly... I would understand if it did this to fucking, you know. I do like beans. Well, it depends on what type of bean. <laughs> Extremely depends. Very dependable. D it depends. <laughs> I don't need a lot of beans, truthfully. Oh, thank you for the follow. <laughs> uh, let me. Fuck's sake. Uh, shit. Let me. Let me get everything working and fine. What was- is that a normal thing? Let me quickly look up like, um... Let me look up other people who play this game. Hopefully! Maybe it's just a me thing, which is super weird, cause my- my thing- everything is working. Touch... Touch... St uh, touch... Star... Starved. Me, go to videos. I'm gonna skip through parts because I don't wanna accidentally... Let me see. It seems to be working fine. What? What happened? <laughs> what? It's, so confused. it's fine. Whatever. Maybe. Okay, let me. Let me go to the store and make sure it's fine. It's so weird, why did it do that? While well, you discuss bean bread, I'm just gonna make sure I have everything. I'll put this one on. Okay. There we go. Don't know why you did that. <laughs> oh my god, this is fucking okay. Uh, okay. Oh fuck, I need to get my. Mm, there. Let me get my content warning pinned again. Oh my god, I fucking. Okay. Hopefully this doesn't happen again, because that's so bizarre. Why would I do that? Okay. 
I'm confusion. It's fine. It's fine. We're fine. Hopefully. I'm tempted to not play it on full screen, but I wanna I wanna experience it. I wanna experience it to the fullest. <laughs> but if it fucking does this again, then I don't know if I should. Okay. I put it on very high instead, so maybe that will be fine. What I'm so confused why it shut down. I was why did it I'm so confused. <laughs> I'm so fucking confused. That should not have shut down for no reason. Yeah, that should not have shut down. Well, whatever. Hopefully it was fine. Okay. We were... Here. Uh, decline to answer. Do you understand? He looks probably in my f oh wait wait I missed some shit. Uh, so I was just uh you are new to Aerodale, so I overlooked the specific breach of etiquette. However, you should not expect others to extend the same courtesy. Do you understand? He pointedly looks at my freshly bandaged hands. Okay. Load though I am, hate uh, I am to admit it. He has a point. I'm also a complete stranger to him. If he's telling the truth, he saved my life. Okay, that was that was bizarre. That was weird. I don't know why that happened. I am, I am now paranoid that I don't know. Cause why did that? That's so weird. That's such a weird thing to happen for no reason. No power outages. Cause my phone was working just fine. I mean, I do have credit, but. My phone, unless my dad did go downstairs, I heard him, so maybe he did do that. Yeah, my my thing is not overheated. It's fucking cold. Well, not cold, but it's not overheated at all. Maybe my dad did something. He was going downstairs for some reason, and I heard like a click. So maybe he shut it down for some th reason or something. Don't know why though. Maybe he did something. I don't know. Cause it's a fucking visual novel. Visual novels should not have a lot of you know, it doesn't take up a lot of space. And most of the other things in my background are just things that I don't you know. Let me put this down. I'm just gonna assume my dad did something because that's the only thing I can really blame because he was going downstairs when this happened. Oh fuck, I did not want to open this up. Oop, oop, oop. Okay. Hopefully this doesn't happen again. May let me make sure I have everything, not much things in the background. That can maybe be a thing. Okay. Okay. Uh, le we left off. We were okay. I'm gonna just do a quick summary just to remind myself, and if anyone else joined, because <laughs> th that was weird. Okay. Uh, but okay. The quick summary: We were in a caravan, and a lot of people. Uh, not with a lot of people. I think we had like one other person with us, or a couple. I'm not sure, because it w it didn't say. And we came across a soulless, which is a creature who, I guess, just kills people for no reason. We have a curse, that's an addition, that if we touch someone, they become, like, I don't know, insane, I think, from what we've seen. Um, our limb got cut off, and we were basically dying. Then we certainly appeared in this clinic with this guy. Uh, that was, and we were like, um, uh, uh, and we got bandaged, and somehow our arm came back. Don't know how that happened. He stitched our arm up and we have an arm now that wasn't dismembered. Um, we are now currently talking and I, we were like, oh, uh, my hand, how the fuck did you do put it together? 
And he's like, well, I'm not gonna tell you because you're not telling me why your hand is like that. This is where we are. It's did, we didn't do too much. Uh, also, we chose... There's three backstories. I chose the hound. The hound, basically, we are raised... We were raised by criminals, and then we stole money, but our best friend, our travel best friend, took the money and left. And so we had to travel to the City of Knowledge, which is Aaron... Aaron... Erdaya? Don't worry what it's fully called. And we're here now. Okay. Quick summary. <laughs> I took a steady uh, breath. This time when I speak, I sound more like a bit myself. Sazzle. My name is Sazzle. It's a pleasure to meet you, Sazzle. There's a little more warmth in his smile. His polite demeanor back in an instinct. Um, why did you save me? He's a doctor, and a lot of doctors, I assume, have a whole thing about protecting people and stuff like that. So I don't think I don't need I don't think we need to know the why. Uh, my opinion, people just save people sometimes. People don't have to do much. Yeah, because my CPU is fine. Okay, my PC is fine. I'm paranoid. I don't want this to happen again. It'd be w weird. Okay. Keep an eye on my PC and stuff. I will. I will have some stops time to time just because I am a bit paranoid. And um, yeah, yeah. I, I feel like that's the best thing to do. And uh, I mean, I don't think it's even being polite because he did save us. He did not have to save us. Um, he could have just left us to die. For cause oh, we don't know what he was doing out there. Maybe he was just searching for something. I mean, it's his duty, so we don't know. Okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna have some stops time to time just to make sure my computer isn't overheating. So if you hear stop, if you don't hear the music, that's why time to time. That's just me checking, um, making sure everything's fine. Yeah, the GPU is fine. Yeah, okay. Should be fine. I'll put this up. Put this up. Okay. <sighs> okay, uh, thank you for s I'm gonna save again. Uh, yep, yeah, should. Okay. Uh, thank you for saving me. For Thank you for saving my life. A glad chance, a smile in return, even if you won't explain how he did that. Impossible, there's no doubt in my mind that it'd be dead if not for caress. Think nothing of it. I'm not sure. Also, I feel like it's weird to ask why, right? Right? I don't know. It's a bit weird to be like, why did you want to save me? Because a person doesn't need a reason, you know? A bit weird, Buckle. A bit weird. We don't need to know why. Just, just say thank you and we can move on. Also, like I said, we don't know him. He may be handsome, and he may be a dateable option, but maybe he's an asshole, so... Usually it's good to be polite, anyway. <laughs> yeah. That is true. He did say that. We shouldn't ask too many questions, because then he'd be angry. Uh, but his words only raise more urgent questions. But I have to ask... Well, we ready? Okay. <laughs> we ask anyway! <laughs> Maybe, I don't know, maybe he will tell us. Why did you save me? You don't know me. Okay, I know. I know. Well, my choice got disappeared. <laughs> well, maybe maybe we'll seem more rude if we ask why straight away. Oh, uh, yeah, I guess that is rude. If you put that into perspective for everything, if someone confesses to you and you, like, if you reject them and then ask them why, that'd be rude, so... This question seems to startle Caress. I could hardly leave you to die in the wastes. Assisting those in need is the very essence of the doctor's duty. <sighs> Goddamn. Okay. I've never met a doctor who has handed me free clothes. My fingers find the edge of the cloak, their subtle but delicately embroidered pattern around the hem. Trying to think about what kind of price Chorus might ask for such well-made clothes. No, I suppose not. Forgive my presumption. I rarely come across a, such across so fascinating a patient. I blink. What did he say? 
Ah, I simply meant that few would cling to life so resolutely, or... We don't know that! Uh, or brave such a perilous journey to Erd Eridia, or Eridium. I could not help being curious about you, Cecil. Well, this is not America. <laughs> I'm sorry to tell, but like, even where I live, we don't charge much, so... <laughs> so, fortunately it's not, um, well, yeah, fortunately it's not America. His voice dips to a soft murmur. He pertly looks away from me. I don't know what to say! <laughs> Me. I don't know what to say. That's how I actually were to react. Uh, I guess you're pretty curious yourself. You're pretty curious yourself. Am I? Well, I haven't forgotten about my arm. I wiggle my intact fingers at him. We're flirting. I have a feeling we're weirdly flirting. Clearly not. We haven't asked me for my payment either. I require none from you. Charles do not have a boy abundance of coin. It would be unethical to leave you distute in strange places. I fall silent, unsure what to say. Nobody would help a whore like me for free. Damn, we have low self-confidence. I mean, the neck, neck mine is better, but damn. <laughs> this, there has to be some kind of catch or trick, right? Oh, my head shook. Love that for myself. A loud knock at the door. front door stops our conversation cold and spares me from having to say anything else. Duty calls. Unfortunately, you are not my only patient today. Now can grow more insistent and caress. I know! <laughs> MCV is like, damn, I am a monstrosity. Like, damn. I'm like, okay, MC, we need to help you. <laughs> we just have gold ass arms, you know? It's not that bad. Please wait your turn. Although he says it quietly, the climb on the other side of the door abruptly stops. Do you need anything before you leave, Cecil? Oh, uh, between the soulless stack and my mark. Miraculous survival, I've forgotten why I came to Arendale in the first place. Er Era? Arendale? Arendale? Um, I need directions to the Cenobium. Mm -hmm. The Cenobium? The look in his face is downright chilling. He pauses, choosing his words, but a cold the preparation when he speaks again. Whatever you seek, it is unlikely you will find it there. The Cenobium gates open for a Precious few visitors, even if they did, you would not like what you find inside. My heart sinks. Is he saying that I came all this way for nothing? Risked life and limb for nothing? Yeah, my limb go broken and, and slaughtered just for this. No, that can't be. I only arrived, and there in the Arendia, this large city still is standing. There is, has to be a cure for me here. This is gonna be like a sad thing where no matter what we will die, but we can die with like someone who loves us. That would be sad. <laughs> then if not, Sino, uh, Sin, That's what we're calling for now on. What would you suggest? Do you know anyone else in Erendea? No, no, no. <laughs> then I suggest a local guide head to the west, in the Wick, and ask for Leander. Interesting name. Excuse me, the wet wha? The wet wick? He sounds deeply unamused. Follow the bus posting advertising Leander's blonde ha blood hounds. They're difficult to miss. When you meet Le Leander, tell him I sent you. This isn't much to go on, but Curse uh, points towards the clinic's back door. You will be safe so long, as long as you do not draw attention to yourself. Well, I do have bandages on my arm, my dude. I feel like I'll be standing out anyway. I don't think most people have their hands bandaged. I'm just saying. That's easier said than done. I've always been a magnet for the worst sort of attention, apparently. If you require my assistance, you may return where whenever you wish. Okay, bestie. <laughs> Bye. Uh, though he's smiling, there's no note of finality in his voice. Uh, resigned to my dismissal, I slip out the back door. Ooh, okay. I find myself standing in a narrow, uh, rather gloomy alley. I pull the new cloak up over my nose and stepping over the contents of chamber pots that have been emptied into the streets. Something weighs heavily inside one of the cloak's pockets, my coin purse. 
Everything is still inside. Every coin that I scrapped together for their journey to Arendaya. He didn't steal my money. That's something, I think. It doesn't even look like it was opened. There was a few, co few coins to begin with. They probably weren't worth stealing. I glanced back at the clinic's closed door. Chorus didn't take any payment. He didn't even ask for a future favor. But he also said that in Arendaya, secrets are power. Does he expect me to give up? Mine up at some point? Hmm! <laughs> Don't ask me! MC? Me? MC is me. But that's not exactly a comforting thought. Still, no matter why he did it, Chorus gave me a second chance and led me where I might find help. I better get going. Before he changes his mind, I squeeze out the alley and into the crowded main street. The line outside Chorus Clinic stretches down the road already. Two thin peddlers peer alongside weathered elders. If any place is in desperate need of free clinic, it's this one. The cobblestones are treacherously rough under my feet, deep groves worn between them by regular flooding and decades of hard use. I knew Arendelle was a rare city, but I didn't expect it to look so crowded. The buildings are tired and dilapidated, all crammed together in narrow streets. A child darts by, clutching something greasy wrapped in paper. The smell of fried food drips over to me. My stomach gives a faint gurgle. Gurgle, gurgle. I'm hungry. This morning's catch, fried up hot and fresh. Not too many eyeballs today. What? Eyeballs? What do you mean by that? <laughs> that sounds disgusting. <laughs> no shit. Oh, uh, okay. But I'm starving, so I tuck my hand under the stalls. Uh, so I duck my hand under the stall's grubby owie. A large fish leers up to, up to me, its tree bulging eyes. Tree? Okay. Still visible through the thick layer of crispy banter. The vendor gives me a gap through the grin. What's the cheapest thing you got? The vendor points to a metal basket that looks like long strips of savory fried dough. Fresh long lads. Why is that kind of funny? <laughs> I'm sorry. Fresh long lads. Oh <laughs> uh, yes, come get yourself fresh long lads. Just for just for tree copper. I love that. I don't know why that's so funny to me. <laughs> that's this hilarious. That's fucking. That's so funny. <laughs> I don't know why that's so funny to me. <laughs> okay, okay, that's fine. That's funny. Don't burn your mouth. I take the coins, counting them gingerly at this rate. My able to pour dinner. Rapidly, I drop the payment onto the counter and take my meal. Don't I love? Three long lads. Hmm. Two streets later, I pass under a wrought iron archway adorned with dangling garlands of red and pink lilies. Uh, the buildings in this quarter are dizzling right of color, painted walls, and tinted glass. Everywhere I look. Uh, sheer red and pink curtains flutter in doorways. Musical voices call out invitingly. Incense mingles with the pungent scent of flowers, barely covering the salt and musk of our bodies. This must be Arendaya's uh, entertainment district. I'm polishing off my food and dusting the crumbs from my hands when I spot a poster. Ugh! Where? Where the fuck is a poster? Am I blind? I feel like I'm blind. It features the silhouette of a smiling man wearing a single dagger like earring and the world blo bloodhounds print above his head motto as above as as below so be as above so below circles and artwork. I love my posters, of course. Hmm. How beautiful, how nice. I so adore looking at posters. I know <laughs> Love, love the fucking nothing. Nothing is there. We love that. Maybe that'll be in the final thing, hopefully. Because <laughs> I'm looking at nothing. <laughs> if Leander is the leader of the Bloodhounds, then the face printed on the poster is likely his. I follow the line of identical posters around a corner and nearly hit my head on a Precariously dangling wooden sign, looking up. Faded orange leathers read the wet wick. 
the f facade of the building looks like it's seen better wood days, but I hear faint music and laughter coming from inside. Oh! People talking. A bar? These all look really good. They should not make alcohol look this appeasing. I'm just saying. You know what? I'm, that's like very like. Why does it like? You know like what? Okay. The inside of the bar is far cry from abundant exterior. It's all not even midday. Near most of the tables and boots are occupied by a loose assembly of people in matching green cloaks. There's a lot you can tell about a city by its dyes. This one seems ordinary enough, even if the uniforms are usual. A cursory glance doesn't turn up anyone with a dagger-shaped earring. I'm about to head towards the counter when a chant rises from the center of the room. Show! 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 Mm. The remaining green cloaks abandon the bar and their boots rush towards the center of the room in a certain torrent. Uh, there's no time to move out of the way. I'm caught, swept along... The aisle stenched current. Hey, hey! Romantic chanting drowns my voice. I trash throwing. I guess, but like, the bottles I've seen aren't really that appealing. Like, ciders come in cans, and sure it looks pretty, but it's not like. It tastes good, but it's not like if I actually saw it, I would really want to drink it. Not, you know, not every alcohol has a really nice, beautiful, you know. I don't know, thing. It doesn't have a lot of variety, which is what I'm saying. It looks like potions, which is what I like. Throw my elbows as the press of bodies grows even heavier. My hip knocks into a table, I grip it, holding on tight to steady myself, but the crowd is still charging soft. Oh! A pair of glided boots stride across the tabletop. Oh. <laughs> I love staring at a man's chest. <laughs> I'm just saying, they really, wow, they're really, okay. Seriously, you dogs again? Scouted laughter and cheers. I know. We, I don't know. We only see his tits. <laughs> Literally. <laughs> Literally. And his cheers rise from the audience. I drag my eyes upwards. Oh. Another pretty boy. A well-dressed man stands on the table in front of me. His broad shoulders framed by a thick lapels of the trench coat. This really is the last time, alright? This time, when he speaks, the audience falls silent, as though bewitched by his magnetic presence or rich low voice. But nothing is as captivating as his smile. He beams at the crowd rounding, a performer on his makeshift stage. Don't blink or you miss it, he laughs in the dagger-shaped earring. I assume they're like part of a group, because apparently a lot of them have this. Uh, from his left ear catches the light in a flash glow. It would have seemed I found Leandar. Uh, he, Leandar is an interesting name, but I'm not gonna judge. He raises his hand above the audience and snaps. A flash of pain, green light, real magic. No ordinary stage trick blinds me. Oh, okay. Oh, oh, pretty. Sorry, that's fucking cool. And all I got is my hands. <laughs> I got fucking hands that can make people crazy as brilliance ebbs my grace my gaze refocuses on the mage towering above me he flicks his wrist and the magic spirals around him colas mm. a delicate phalan, flower stem spouts from between his pinched fingers one by one glowing little petals pet spring forth with a flourish, the mage presents the conjured flowers. The audience burst into climbing and cheers. Me, I would do the same thing. A genuine magic show was the last thing I expect from a place called the Wet Wick. I don't ex- I don't- Understandable. <laughs> this place is called the Wet Wick. Leandar plucks their iridescent bouquet out of the air and turns into a slow circle, giving his audience a good look. Now, who could use some luck? Me, please. <laughs> I need every luck that I can get. E eager onlookers scoot to closer to the table. Some reach for the lilies while others whistle and call Lean Deer's name. But his cool green eyes uh, slide over right over them, locking me. Oh, well, the YN moment. How about you? Oh, uh, my chest tightens. Every person gathered towards to stare at me. Dude, really? I have anxiety. This is okay. 
sure. Oh, fuck. <laughs> I'll take the flowers. I I can't refuse them. That'd be mean. I uh, reach out, all too aware of the way my fingers trembled as I careful. Oh, am I gonna kill him? I'm gonna kill him. I will. I have bandages. I have bandages. Right. Okay. I'm fine. I'm <laughs> I had a self-aware moment for a second. <laughs> I don't. The way I had it. I was like, oh no. Uh, all aware of my fingers tremble as I carefully take the flowers from him. There's no weight to them, only a faint warmth that radiates from the stems. As soon as the flowers leave Leander's hand, their light dims. They fade away in the shower of opal scent light. To my surprise, Leander lasts under his breath. That's the problem with flowers, they don't last long, but they leave an impression, right? Did I kill the flowers? <laughs> I killed the flowers. Oh my god, everything I touched just dies. He grins at me and I find myself smiling back. Leander steps off the table, dropping among the excited crowd with an audible click. Alright, bloodhounds, get back to your drinks. Show's over. The green cloaks disperse at his command, returning to their tables and boots. Before I can make my way towards Leander, his eyes find me. He gives me a friendly wave, then beckons me over to the crowded counter. Hello? I manage to squeeze behind him, but there's no no room to his broad shoulder press against mine. I tense, but he doesn't seem to mind at all. Is this your first time in Arendaya? Yeah, could you tell? He says it lightly, with a genuine air of curiosity. And do I stick out that much? No, but I'm certain I remember seeing stuff. Okay, he's low. Okay, he's already flirting. <laughs> I remember seeing a face as lovely as yours, Ron. Motown. Aaron Dyer. I'm just saying Ar Aaron Dyer. I'm pronouncing it. I don't. I'm not pronouncing it with an N. Aaron Dyer. I get. Well, that's how I'm pronouncing it. Too bad. It's. I look. I, dyslexia. Okay? Uh, but around Lowtown, you have interesting names for things. Aradaya. My eyes flicker to the polished countertop. I'm not used to flattery, being this close uh, makes eye contact difficult. As of on cue, the bartender approaches us. What can I get you? Surprise me, I didn't add anything my friend wants to my tab. Okay. I was expecting the generosity, but I have to admit, I do feel a little thirsty after that, for I do Aradaya. Oh, shh. Dude, the problem with me, this is my problem. I have a big problem. I'll just, okay, but like, this is my problem though. <laughs> I, I feel like, I, I, this always happens to me. Every time I play a dating game, I feel like I have to do whatever the person wants me to do, even though that's me going into their like, Root, but I just have to be nice. I feel bad if I'm mean to people. There's no other option of actually drinking. I'll, I'll just have. I'll have what he's having. I'll have what he's having. While the barn turn leaves to fix her drinks, Leandor leans his elbows on the counter. I'm close enough to notice the purple shadows under his lower eyelids. Yeah, he doesn't sleep. He's like me. His eyes wander over, over me in return, but they lock on my bandaged hands. Ah, a sour taste rises in my throat. Here comes the questions. So what brings you to Wick? Cora sent me. He pushes his hair back from his forehead, but immediately falls right back into place. So it's about work. What work? <laughs> what did I sign up to? Uh, sure. I'm so confused. I'm being. I don't know. The... Oh, the bartender returns with a pair of glass filled with what I can assume is beer. Okay. I raise my glass and give it an experimental sniff. It smells faintly yeasty, but with an undercut current I can't quite place. A quick sip confirms my worst suspicions. It's awful. Somehow brimly and sour in a way that reminds me of pickles. Ew, that's. <laughs> but any thought of complaining dies the moment I see Leander taking a deep swig from his glass. He lets a satisfied breath. How can I be of assistance? Uh. 
It says it tastes like pickles. What do you mean? What do you mean? It said it tastes like fucking pickles. I ain't drinking pickles. No pickles just for me, okay? I don't want any alcohol pickles. <laughs> Excuse me. I see pickles, I'm like, ew. Maybe I just don't want pickles. Is that so bad? I just don't want pickles. Excuse me more, okay? I'm sorry. Maybe pickles are just not for me. <laughs> okay, I'm just not a pickle person. It says pickles, I ain't looking, I don't like pickles. I need to get to Sienbium. As soon as the word Sienbium leaves my mouth, the entire bar, bar feels silent. Are they listening to me? Can you all, like, not? Maybe? Damn. Bloodhounds twist around in their seats to gawk openly. Finally! I believe MC. Okay, MC is me. I believe MC, okay? <laughs> to gawk openly. Finally, and essentially, especially, drunk one speaks up. The hell are you bringing up seeing being in here? Huh? Damn. Throw him out. This is a bloodhound territory. The patrol catches me off guard, but their angry looks throw my way. It's clear I've broken someone's spoken rule by mentioning seeing view. When I glance to lean there, he's drinking as though he hasn't noticed up where only he catches me looking down. D does he lower his glass? For the love of- He drags a hand on his face. Hey, keep it down, will you? This is- Biz- Excuse me, I'm gonna- God damn. This is business? I tense, expecting an argument, but that was spoken bloodbound. Certainly returned to their drinks. Only a handful continue to watch me warily. They were really gonna throw me up just for, like, mentioning... Xenobium? <laughs> Sorry about them. Uh, the... Xenobium's a bit of a touchy subject in these parts. Makes in enough drinks and what well, we saw. How about we continue this outside? And I give him a tourist nod. He pushes away from the bar counter. Okay. There's supposed to be voices at one point, and I am not. I'm gonna be. Am I gonna be like jump scared by the voices? <laughs> uh, I found Leon dear to an alleyway tucked behind the wet wick. I love the name wet wick. Whoever made made up the fucking name for that, they're geniuses. Uh, where layers of frayed bloodhounds posters have been plastered to the walls. Seeing them side by side, a resemblance between Leon dear and his likeness on the poster is impressive. <laughs> <laughs> That's fine. <laughs> uh, to be fair, I do think it's because my PC also crashed, so I don't expect the Bean guy to. That oh, did he or did he? No, was this? Yeah, no, he's yeah. Never mind. I thought it was before. I mean, I don't think Bean Brad would be that bad. If you're desperate, you're desperate. You know. <laughs> If you're desperate enough, uh, you can taste anything. I've tasted worse things than bean bread. Koraz didn't send you here for help with the Sinobium, did he? From the luck he gives me, he really knows the answer. God's away. No, he didn't. He suggested I find an alternative. Yeah, here you are. Ask him about them anyway. I mean, yeah, it's like, I don't like beans, like, I don't mind beans, I can eat beans, but beans are not yummy without, they, like, you have to have beans with something, right? If you can have beans, you have to eat it with something. Sure, beans are fine, but you have to eat it with something else. I feel like it's weird if you don't, if you just eat beans by itself. I will argue that <laughs> easily. Uh, let me make sure... Let me do this. Just have that. Okay. I mean, as long as it didn't taste too bad, I think you it's fine. What do you need uh, the... The Cenobium for? I don't want to tell him about my curse. The less people know about my cap 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 capabilities, the better. <sighs> See, the thing is... 
I I understand MC having trust issues. I have trust issues. But I feel like I'd be a person that if I meet someone, I would tell them straight away about my curse. Because I'd be concerned about accidentally touching them, right? I mean, a good example is like... I assume the people we traveled with, they would have been alive and were like, Hey, by the way, you don't even have to tell it's a curse. It can be like, um... You can also just be like very... You don't have to mention it's a curse. You can just be like, I have these powers that I can't control. Whenever I touch someone, they go a bit crazy. You don't have to mention it's a curse. You can just put it, pretend like it's an actual power you have. You know? Because like, even if you don't trust people, I would be concerned about accidentally killing someone or making them crazy. I don't want to do that. <laughs> Well, I see you're already aware of the city's currency. Information's worth its weight in gold here. Chorus told you the truth. The symbiom's dangerous. I feel like I'm not pronouncing that right, but I'm not gonna I'm not gonna care. Get on their bad side and they'll imprison you if you're lucky, or torture if you if you're not. But the symbiom's supposed to be the place of learning, a sanctuary. The symbiont has always been herded in the last bastion of human knowledge. A shining beacon of hope in a world steeped in nightmares. If any place held answers, it would be... <laughs> I'm just gonna call it Sino. <laughs> That's why I came here. That's what they want you to think. But there's been that things that seem too good to be true are often just that. Such a simple statement, yeah, leaves me really. If it's true... If I staked everything on a lie, then what now? Lean dear. I feel like if we go, I feel like we have to trust these guys, right? I mean, even if we don't know them, like all of the people's reactions whenever we, like, says, you know, they all were like, ugh, you know? I don't. We have to kind of trust that because, mm. yeah, if I, if I met, like, because we met the doctor. And he had a react. He's like, "Why do you want to go there? That's a negative reaction." Then the people in the bar were like, "What the fuck?" And then he's he's now like, "That's not good." We have three people are telling us that going there is not a good idea. Lean dear, uh, clears his throat. But as I always say, there's a solution to every problem and alternatives to every solution. He claps his hands and turns to me with a brilliant smile. That's why Chorus pointed to you to the Bloodhounds. Let us help you. Whether it's hunting soulless, finding people, or covering stolen viables, we can do it all. And free of charge. I was shaking my breath before he finished his practice speech. My patience is wearing dangerously thin. Listen, I appreciate the offer, but my problem can't be solved by a group of good Samaritans. To my ch chagrin, Linder nods slowly. Then your problem must be fairly serious if, and if, you know, is your first choice. You're searching for a magical solution, aren't you? Yeah, buddy. When my eyes winding, he nods along, as though he's expected all along. I mean, it's... MC, I'm gonna, I'm gonna put some flack onto you. Because, okay, <sighs> sorry. <laughs> I gotta be a bit, like, I gotta shade MC. We're not really good at like keeping our curse a secret. We have bandages in our okay. I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna pretend like I'm Leandor. I meet this random person. They have bandages in their on their hands. Right? They look a bit suspicious. And they're talking about wanting to get to see to the Sino place. You can put two and two together. You won't like he wouldn't know you have a curse, but he can put two and two together. There's bandages. You're seeking a magical solution. There's something wrong, right? MC, you're a dumbass. I'm sorry. You have to hide it better. <laughs> like what? Maybe I'm just big-brained. Like what did you expect him to not put two and two together? It's not that hard, even if he doesn't assume. If you're... Yeah, I would also assume, if I was him, I would assume the worst. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> exactly. The bandages would make me think that maybe you're not a great person. 
it's not that hard to like assume shit. It's really easy to be like, this is a bit shady. I'd be happy to help you out, that is, if you tell me what ails you. Leander might not work for the symbion, but he is a mage, and a powerful one that if he dismerts just a mature to true. Demonstration early isn't any indication. I'm sorry and plagued by indecision. I don't know if I can trust him, but it's not like I have any alternatives. I hate to admit it, but this could be my only path forward. Are we gonna accidentally go to his path? I mean, I wouldn't mind, but... My confession comes out in pain whisper. I am cursed. <laughs> cursed? Oh, now I'm very curious. What kind of curse? Something uns ancestral or more recent? He looks at me up and down, taking my face, my eyes, and finally my hands. It's your hands, isn't it? Yeah. I went until I'm certain my voice will remain steady for before answering. My touch is dangerous. It changes people, hurts them. Before I even finished, Leander begins taking off his gloves. He tugs his left hand free and flexes his fingers. Let's see it. Bestie, I don't know if I want to touch you. <laughs> Let me see. Um, he offers me his hand and a prismatic flash of magic ripples across his hands, but I'm already shrinking backwards. I can't. I don't care how much confident Lean there is, I can't bring myself to hurt him. To see his kind face twist in a mask of madness. Believe me, this isn't an ordinary curse. I'll be fine. Perhaps where you came from, your affliction was strange or one of a kind. But spend a year in the city, you'll see thousands of curses and twice as many cur cures. Do you really think Caress would send you here if I couldn't handle it? <sighs> what if I kill him? <laughs> I don't want to kill him, this man! How should I know? I only met him today. I'm as good as any mage in the and be able to get better, even if they can't if they can help, so can I. You don't know why you're asking me. I am asking you to trust me. <laughs> I am stressed. Uh I look, I look from Leander Leon Leander's outstretched hand to his confident smile. Then with a short breath I begin unwinding the bandages from my hand. Fine, but if you lose control, don't say I didn't warn you. You can tie me up first if that makes you feel better. Thank you. Already. Wow. Would you each twine that expose? <laughs> I grow more and more certain this is a terrible idea. Ready when you are. Uh, if he's bothered by the way my hand looks, he doesn't show it. My fingers hover shakily over his palm. I can't. Okay. I have to calm down. <laughs> Three, two, one. Oh, fuck. Oh my god. Should I? Ah! Ah! It's, oh. I'm stressed. <laughs> I know. <laughs> and intense. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> I don't know what to do. I don't want to kill him. But what if he's. Oh my god. <laughs> I don't want to kill him. <laughs> Can. Okay. The, we don't know. The thing is. The thing I don't. We don't know is if, like. Um. Yeah, okay, I will do- I am planning to do that. But the thing is, we don't know- Is our, like, curse- Does it last forever on the person? Or does it, like, subside? You know what I mean? Like, if we touch the person, does it, like- Like, does it always- Is that person insane forever? Or, like, you know- <laughs> I'm gonna touch him, but I'm, like, I'm concerned. He's so nice. Okay, I'm gonna save one more time, just for- For myself. Uh, sure. I tap his hand once, as quickly as possible, it's barely more than brush, but that's all it ever takes. When I look at the face, explaining to the worst, Lindor only grins. See? What the fuck? Huh? <laughs> I'm questioning myself, it can't be. <laughs> this time when I reach out to touch Lindor's palm again, he catches my wrist before I can pull away. I told you, there's nothing to worry about. If I ex- Okay. I, I, this is what happens when I'm too nice by accident. I accidentally go into people's roots. <laughs> I didn't even mean to. No, I, we have to meet all of them before we can go into a root, right? He trails off when my thumb brush, brushes the soft skin of his inner wrist. Did they? I'm gonna make me curious. Let me save. Um, let me load back. I don't think- no, no, no. I don't think so. Hmm. Uh, let me go here. Okay. Uh, 
Let's see. No, I don't think so. I told you there's nothing to worry about. He trails off when my thumb brushes the soft skin of his inner wrist. I search Lander's face for any trace of madness, but his eyes remain clear. Soft green. Color rises in his cheeks, but he remains still except for the subtle bombing of his throat. How attractive am I? <laughs> I mean, sure, I, I have confidence in myself, but... <laughs> to have a man blushing, that's, that's something. Neither of us speak as I trace the contours of Leander's palm, lost in awareness I wasn't prepared for. <laughs> yeah, we must be big betty. Okay, I s okay, so we know now that our hands are the cursed ones, because we can kiss people, apparently. I've been with other people, kissed them, been embraced by them, and more, but not like this. This, this probably is like a big moment for MC. Cause like, I assume we had, could never hold anyone's hand or like do anything that is... This is a weirdly sweet. <laughs> this is weirdly sweet. If you think about the context, MC has never been able to really... Well, with bandages, but MC has never been able to like actually feel someone's hand. And not them to... <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Touched up. It makes all sense. It makes so much sense. My fingers, long deprived of years of bandaging, pick up every single detail. The groove of his palm, the smooth shell of his nails, the pulse of his heart. For as long as I lived, I've never been able to hold someone's hand. That's that's really sweet. <laughs> now what are dire consequences? I never realized what I was missing until this moment. While Nandir's pulse is steady, mine is hammering. A fear gives way to excitement. Oh, fuck! Uh, is this... Should I wait for other characters? I don't... I, we haven't met, like, we only met two! <laughs> I feel like if we continue, we're gonna go on his route. Okay, I'm gonna save. Because I want to meet everyone else. <laughs> you can't do this. He's so sweet, but I want to meet other people. Or am I already on his route? Yeah, but there's we have three other people to meet. We can't. What if we meet someone better, and we can't leave Lindor then? <laughs> we can't leave. Oh, fine. Fine. D don't don't be upset if we meet another person that is better. You you have no right to complain. I mean, I also like him, but you have no right to complain if we meet someone. No, no. I I'll go. I don't mind. I like him. I do like him. But no right to complain. Just say. Uh, sure. Why not? I'm gonna re -save. I'm saving anyway, so... Uh, sure. My hand glides over Lean Deer's wrist. Lean Deer's wrist. Uh, I'll just, I'm just gonna nickname him Lean because that's easier. And off his forearm... No! You... I don't mind letting, letting chat decide, so you can't complain. You can't complain. <laughs> I'm not complaining because I don't mind. But if you if you find someone else that you like, too bad. Too bad. You gotta wait now. You gotta wait for the route next. You can't gaslight me. You can't. Mm -mm. No. No. -uh. -uh. I'll I'll fucking clip this and make sure you see and make sure you can't. No gaslighting. You can't gaslight me. No. I refuse. <laughs> Um, mm -hmm. uh -huh. abruptly gives way to the raised scar by the edge of his sleeve. It matches uh, the one that runs from his collar to his cheekbone. Could it be the same wound? I glance at Lean, uh, Lean's face, and his lips part as he considers his words before speaking. Am I the first person you've been able to touch like this? My hand goes still on his arm. Uh, so far, I admit your touch doesn't make it somewhat difficult to stay level-headed, but not due to your power. This man is going strong! Holy shit! <laughs> this man is going... He's going in! He takes my hand, his soft green eyes flick to mine before he turns it to inspect the gold fissure, uh, fissures crisscrossing my knuckles. There, I know! There is! There is! This man is rizzed up! 
he has too much charisma. <laughs> Makes me even a bit flustered. Look, we match. He points at my the golden pin on his collar. Why is he kind of sweet? Okay. Lean, calm down. Okay, we can't. Okay. What is this? What? What is this, man? You can't be this nice. What is? What is? What is the? What is the secrets? He points at the golden pin on his coat collar, and I give him a small smile. I draw my hand back and take a steadying, steady, steadying breath. My head feels as though it's been stuffed with cotton. Habit alone guides me through the motions of rewrapping my hand, although my fingers tremble too much for the bandages to lie flat. I can't believe that worked. I know. And me too. He really let another man touch him, and we love that for him. Okay, I can't believe that worked. May I ask your name? Um, Sazzle. Sazzle. You are right to hide from this from me, Sazzle. The curse of yours isn't like anything I've dealt with. I can tell you're indiscreet, but you best not go in or show that off to anyone else. Already being a bit... Mm. <laughs> he, see, I mean, uh, that just makes sense, but that feel has a bit of a possession in it. You know what I mean? I didn't plan on it. Are you staying in Lone Town? I pause, room and board, or something I haven't even considered yet. I don't know. Let's get you properly settled then. I don't have money! Okay. The wet wick is known to leak. Noticeably uh, quieter without their leader. Most of the bloodhounds have dispersed, or in few cases fallen asleep beside their drinks. Got any room left, or did you grab lot? I know, I know, I just, that that sentence gives up a little bit of possessiveness. I don't mind it, of course, it's just, because it's like, make sure not to show this to anyone else. That feels, that, that adds, you know, it adds an oomph type of feeling. Because you could have just said, you shouldn't show this to anyone, because, you, you know, people will take that against you. But he's like, no, no, no. Uh, or did my lot grab them all to sleep it off? The bartender, who I realized doubles as an innkeeper, slides a key onto the counter. You know, I always keep the corner room open for his escapades. Huh? What do you mean? <laughs> uh, I'm a bit. Uh, escapades? Lean nurse. <laughs> Lean's laugh sounds slightly strained. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's just what I'm saying. I'm, I, I might not be good at socializing, but I'm good at picking up little things like that. It's, it's, it's like, cause it's like subtle things that a person wouldn't really notice. Which you may ask, how do I not know when people have a question me? I don't question that. I'm good at observing others, not when I'm involved. But there's like s certain little things that a person says that you, most people would like shake it off cause they're like whatever, or not even think about it. But it, it, it tells slightly about how people act. Not like badly, I'm not saying this is like as a bad thing, I'm just saying overall you can sometimes tell by how people frame certain things or say certain things. Because like I said, he could have easily said, you know, it's dangerous, don't show this to anyone else. That just sounds like a, you know, like a warning, be like, hey, be careful type of thing. But he's like, don't show this to anyone else, you know, no, no, type of thing. That's, that's I am good at picking up that type of stuff. Also, he has been flirting with me, so it makes sense. <laughs> There's other cues. Um, and I always appreciate it by your mistake. And this is just for my friend, Sazzle. Me. Yeah, friend. Sure, sure. Stay as long as you like. You two have fun. Oh my god. <laughs> Escapades, huh? Lean clears his throat, then holds the key out to me. But I hesitate. My cone purse barely holds enough for a day's worth of meals in the room. How much do I owe you? Nothing. Bloodhounds rights. My treat, since you shared your secret. Food, drink, a warm bed, anything you need. That is true. Secrets are like how you pay here. I hope he's not gonna betray me. That's gonna I'm gonna actually be kinda upset. I'm a bit I'm getting a bit attached. <laughs> if he betrays me, I'm gonna be really upset. <laughs> There's gonna be upset in me. <laughs> true. Carefully, I take the key from him. It's small, but weighs heavy in my palm. I never expected him of a warm bed in Erendea. Er, Erdea. Erdea. 
I don't want free meals. I plan to steal whatever I need to get by, no matter how dangerous. Thank you. Go explore, says all. You'll find many roads in Erdea, each leading to different answers. But if you need a uh, repair from what hunts you, come find me. Just be careful. I wonder if I can just be flirty to everyone and then have to pick from someone's root. I feel like that's what I can do. Some roots, I know that some games like to be like, like in the prologue or the beginning, you can be like a bit flirty to everyone, which then leads you to pick an actual root. Well, we'll see. Because I don't think this is going into his root fully, because it would have continued. Yeah, maybe flirting is not a commitment. I mean, I assume so. Flirting usually isn't really a commitment. Taking one last look at a gleaming. I mean, because the doctor's also like, come find me if you want. Uh, and he's saying that too. Bronze key before tucking it into the pocket of my cloak for safekeeping. Lean gives me one friendly wave before I depart. The air clings sullen and heavy. I got, yeah, we have to meet others first. I knew it. Because we have to meet the others first before we can actually go into the roots. That's usually how dating games work. You have to meet everyone else first and then you can go on and be whoever you want. The morning crowd. So we don't have to worry for now. No worries. We can just be nice. Uh, the sunless streets look barren and bleak. Even though the peddlers are long gone, only a pair of crows remain quibbling over still crusts in the gutter. I feel a ridiculous pan of envy. At least they got a reason to fight. I've never felt so lost. Koras and Lean would make clear that the Sinobium, or Sino, can't be trusted, but I came so far and endured so much. I need to see the scene for myself, if only to satisfy my curiosity. I should have asked, I should have asked someone at the bar for directions before leaving. I don't know if they would have told us, because they were a bit like... Like, like Lean said, like Leandor said, like it's a touchy subject. I don't think we would have gotten any good directions. I think we just got in a fuck off, in my opinion. Oh, um, huh. I'm about to turn back when a shadow passes over me. Is this is this what I get for flirting? Oh no, a cloud. I think until a puff of hot breath tickles the back of my neck. The shadow runs down the street in a rivulets, forming formless. Dark spreads like ink into blotted shapes. Claw stretch. A muzzle spits open to reveal long, jagged teeth. A growl rumbles so low and deep I can feel it. I want to run, to scream, but I feel trapped, as though the slightest movement for a single breath will snap the jaws around me shut. No, I won't let it like this. If I'm going to die, I want to see what got me first. I steal myself, then turn. Huh? A shadow vanishes as quickly as it came. I'm left standing in the middle of the street alone, except for a figure reclining in the shade of a nearby stoop. Oh! A monster! That much is more clear from a glance. One that could clearly be mistaken for a human were it not for the tufted ears and the tails curled around his ankle. Or oh, does spanked eyes. I'm not gonna comment. <laughs> I have thoughts. With pupils that sharpen like needles when they fall on me. Our eyes meet and the monster uncrosses the long legs. Oh yes. His hair gleams as a shade of red that reminds me instantly of blood where it curls around his collared throat. Jumpy, aren't we? Aren't you? His tone of light and carefully that I glance over uh <laughs> I glance over my shoulder to make sure he's speaking to me. I saw him in the beginning and I got I had a I had an eye on him for a bit. I remember when the opening was happening, I was like, hmm. Hmm. I glance over my shoulder to make sure he's speaking to me. Then I look back and the stranger props his chin on his knuckles and rides me when in. I don't think we can trust him. I like him, but I don't think we can trust him with our secret, I have a feeling. I feel like he's the type that we have to tell him later on, maybe? I'm just guessing, but... I like him, but, you know, I'm just... I'm just saying. The stranger... Yeah, okay. Didn't you see that shadow just now? It was massive, moon like a beast. Even as I speak, I'm aware of how ridiculous I must sound, but the stranger smile doesn't falter. The only beast I've seen are wicks. That is true. It could be... They could do an opposite thing. I've seen wicks that are, uh... 
And it's not because he's a fox, but just because of his attitude. Usually, a lot of people, when they, like, have this weird, like, this attitude. Uh, I've seen uh, the wick drooling regulars, though this did catch my eye. What my key? You bitch! Give me that back! <laughs> With a flourish of his hand, my in room. Key. That's a beautiful key. I just had to mention. Uh, appears dangling from his finger. It, it turns on its chain, glittering when it catches the light. My hands fly to my cloak pockets, and sure enough, find him flat. Uh, he crocks his fingers, beckoning. I've already taken two steps forward before it, some stifled instinct stopped me. Something feels wrong. Yeah, see, that's what I'm saying. I'm still on the edge, drumming with so much uh, drilling that the stranger... <laughs> True. <laughs> I need more. I don't need more trust issues. <laughs> uh, that stranger's shadow flickers on my edges of my vision. I always attract the worst kind of attention, but I can't get rattled now. Um. Okay. If I say who said that's my key, I feel like that's a bit suspicious. Suspicious. Suspicious, right? Who's who says who's who who said that's my key? That feels like you're already telling on yourself, right? Like who said it's my key? And that feels like I'm telling on myself already. But where did you find it? Is um, I know, but apparently you have to pretend <laughs> that it isn't mine. Where did you find it? Where did you? F I don't know. Both sound incriminating that it's my key. We know this is mine, but we're trying to act like it isn't for some reason, so I'm gonna just go along with that. Both sound very incriminating. I don't think anything is c any of these are good options. <laughs> this one feels like a- I don't know. Hmm. Also, his outfit feels like something I would design. Just because there's a lot of vibes that I usually put in. Um. I guess who, where did you find it is like he's gonna say he found it with me so I guess <sighs> MC just be fucking I, sure we just should say it's ours at this point he stole it from us obviously MC is trying to be smart we're not being smart I'm gonna say who who, who said that's Mikey who said that's mine why it's not because we can we can be like we stole it right we can pretend like we actually stole it we didn't his smile is wide enough to reveal pointed canines i saw you drop it you really should be more careful see like this somebody might take advantage a bald-faced lie was said without a hint of irony i didn't drop my key and i didn't sense any magic either i must have stole it somehow we're also a thief mc we're a thief how we're a thief we should know <laughs> we should know like you know you know what I mean? We should know shit. We are a thief. We stole money. And we we literally had previously in our dialogue that we would have stole something to- like We would have stole our way through the city. No matter how dangerous it is. I approached the man, careful to keep an arm's length away. He doesn't look dangerous, but the most dangerous deadly ones never do. <laughs> the stranger's chains softly clink with the tail of his hand. His ears flink. Flick, keeping your distance until I figure out how you managed to rob me. Yes, I am. You think I stole your little key from all the way over here? He gives an ex ex exaggerated sigh. <sighs> I'm good with my hands, but not good that good. Do I really look like a common thief to you? I'm a thief. I don't know, <laughs> dude. What do you want from me? He's got me there. Uh, the sheer fabric of his sleeves alone would be too expensive for the most street thieves. Hell, his shoes look like they cost more than I spent traveling here. <laughs> and then there's a shop behind him. No matter the city, parted in curtains, only ever men mean one thing. I'm not looking to buy and I doubt I can afford your- <laughs> Did we just assume he's a- <laughs> Did we assume- <laughs> Did we just assume that he's a prostitute? <laughs> Did we really? <laughs> That true, but did MC really assume? Cause he's like, I'm the, I could not, I could, it's not, I doubt I could afford your services anyway. That's what that has to mean, right? 
Unless I'm mistaken, I don't think I'm mistaken. Uh, and I doubt I can afford your price services anyway. What going for you? I don't charge. The man runs the tip of his tongue over Fang. For the first time I, since I stepped into the shadow, I feel something other than dread. My face grows hot. Are MC, really? Okay. Th that's not what I meant. I'm flattered, really. <laughs> Where's sex, my trade? I might not make an exception for you. Hmm, how about half off for a handy? Or you could just hand over my key. Ask nicely, I might even let you talk my tail. Is he? I, is he a prostitute? I don't know! I am confused! Sir, you're making me very confused. I would be so confused in this situation. <laughs> I'm like, are you? <laughs> I don't- I think he- no, I think he- <laughs> Is- he- but he said he- he said he doesn't pay. Well, whatever. Just throw it here. So, some spindly little street urchin can snatch and run. He raises my key and tells the set so he can watch it dangle back and forth. I suppose I could just claim your room for myself. Not that I'd be caught dead slumming in a wick with the rest of those slack jaw, slack jawed imbeciles. We're obviously not from here. So tell me, traveler, what misfortune brought you to this wretched place? How am I gonna have to share my secret again? Oh my god! How many people need my secret? Oh my god. I feel like if I give him my secret, he'll do something bad with it. Not because he's a fox, just because maybe I don't know. Should I? Fuck's sake, I'm not telling you anything. Hmm. <sighs> what could have possibly drawn you to this dreary little pig pen, I wonder? He listlessly watches the arc of my key swinging around his finger. The wet, their shit, the food's dreck, and there's entirely too many monsters for a human to feel safe, unless. And our sharp eyes flick towards me, they gleam with amusement. Unless you're just dying to consort with monsters. <laughs> This man called me a monster fucker, basically. <laughs> this, this is what he means. That's what, that's what that basically means, right? I know what concert is. Oh my god. He's really throwing shade at me and ripping my insides out. He's really just... He's really just... He's just fucking... He's just... Blunt. He's not wrong, but come on. <laughs> He he's not wrong, but damn, he didn't have to do me like that. <laughs> Sorry. I didn't expect... I didn't expect him to just fucking out me like this. Wow. By now my embarrassment has worn away, leaving shimmery patience in this place. If this is a shakedown, it's the most frustrating one I've experienced. <laughs> I can flirt back? Oh my god, my finally <laughs> Am I gonna I'm gonna am I gonna I'm gonna fuck him? <laughs> if I do this, is this what it, you know why not? You know fuck him. What's the worst that can happen? <laughs> what if I what if I don't get my key back? You know, there's there's other options. Yeah, because I because I would just wanna flirt him, totally not because of that. You know, why not? I love how the moods change so much. We were previously just having a cute moment of touching someone's hand, and now we're here. Okay, no, we're flirting. Fuck it. It's fine. I saved. We're flirting. I am flirting. You can't stop me. Sure. How'd you know that I spent all my money? Starved? Narrowly died in the swamp just so I could crawl into bed with the first thirsty monster I saw. That earns me a burst of pretty laughter. See, I got him. He gazes at me under his dark lashes. Aren't you funny? Thank you. Could you be any more obvious? I've been told, so it's lean out my strength. Thank you, thank you. <laughs> you know, why not? I mean, I don't, I, I don't gotta choose for now, you know? I don't have to choose. I can be indecisive as I want. I hope uh, Lean is not watching. Man, please look away. <laughs> please look away. Uh, I've been told sentently, not my strength. So, your place. Already? O okay.
<laughs> We're already gonna. Oh my god. We're gonna get ticked down already. <laughs> We're gonna. This is quickly. God damn. I have a. I have a weird feeling this is gonna be like Dream Daddy's type of thing, maybe. Like, uh, I don't know if you play Dream Daddy, but in Dream Daddy with Robert, Ru Rupert, if you have sex with him, he doesn't. He doesn't uh, get with you because you had sex with him. I feel like it's gonna be that type of situation, maybe? I don't know. There's basically, in Dream Daddy, there's a guy called Rupert. Rupert? Rupert. I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right. And there's a scene in the beginning where if you can have sex with him, but because of that... No, the thing is, it's because he doesn't associate then with like fuck buddies afterwards. He just kind of leaves you. But if you actually get to know him, then yeah. I gotta flirt my way. We're gonna do this. If I did, I'd invite you. If I had my key, then I'm gonna save once more. If only I had my key, then I might be able to invite you up. Yeah, but I mean. There's some people who just fuck people and then leave, right? I think he, that's what he does. His long, good gaze glides for me to the key in the sand and back. Come take my hand and we'll go together. The more he flirts, the more convinced I become that there's some kind of trap. No matter how ends the monsters like there always have tricks up their sleeves. And something tells me this one's more dangerous than he lets on, even if it was a lovely laugh. I don't know why you want or why you're messing with me, but I'm not coming any closer until I know you're not gonna attack or bite. I won't bite hard unless you beg. <laughs> unless you beg me. <laughs> no matter what I say, he finds a way to twist my words into an innuendo. <laughs> Even when I'm silent, he goes on as though we're having a conversation, not a standoff. Do you like dancing? There's traveling troupe performing at a hound town tonight. Their lustest. Lut lutist? Is utterly exquisite. Truly a performance to die for. He's telling on himself. There's life in this dreadful place if you know where to look. You sound like you know the city well. The man's gaze flickers from me to the dangling key from his finger. Naturally, this dump was more, little more than a miserable little smear when I first arrived. Yeah, that's why I. That's why I said his outfit is something I'd design for an outfit. Most of my outfits are slutty, and he has that type of feeling to him. High town, low town, I know Eridia like the back of my hand. I know. What about, so you know, do you know what that is? His smile vanishes. Surely you've seen it. The absurdly large tower looming over the rest. It's not a little hard to miss. It must mean that I, spy, that I aspire, that I noticed when I first caught sight of Eridia. <laughs> The scene was overrated. Forget about it. I can show you so you think those things. I can show you things those stuffy boars in their lipstick tower couldn't even dream of. I love this man already. I already got plans. Oh, have you some pressing matters to see now? Lunch dates with libri libri <laughs> librarians. The time with the most esteemed abbess. That's my business. What's the matter to you? I square my shoulder and the amusement bleeds out of him. No loss. The stranger finally bored of his tedious game extends his hand towards me. The key rests on his palm. Neatly dividing his skin and leather. When he makes no other move, I reach for my key, but as soon as my fingers grace or grace smooth brass, his hand springs shut around my elbow. Oh hey Well, I played your game. He yanks me down and I stagger, my soul slipping on the steps. Am I gonna die? <laughs> Soon I have not flirted with him? <laughs> Is this how I'm gonna die? <laughs> For just flirting with a man? For a sick moment, I fear my bandages were still will unravel under his touch, but he's careful not to disturb them even as his fingers dig into my arms. I knew I smelled blood, a reek of death in the road, and that fucking doctor. Oh, yeah, he has beef with the doctor. Oh no, Dr. Beef. Dr. Beef. His voice once silken lowers to a smoky growl. The shadows around him see and boils. He pulls me closer. And something else. 
He murmurs against my throat. Ah, already kinky, goddamn. He didn't even take me on the first date. <laughs> Nose grazing my jaw. Let, let go, bitch. I have to add the bitch in. I try to twist away, but he doesn't bulge. His breath trails down my neck, sending a thrill of dread through me. But just when I feel your bite, he takes a deep sniff in his head. His eyes wide, flat eyes gleam with naked hunger as he grazes up at me. Not quite human, not quite monster. Seems we're both. V Veer? He's just being cautious. I don't know. I like him still. The stranger's ears flatten. He releases me with a short breath. I yank my arm back, messaging where he's left his uh, grooves and bandages. The strangers twist around to watch a woman duck from the curtains behind him. Her pressed uniform bears the in. Incendages? Uh, see, you no. Know. <sighs> I leave you for what, of what, ten minutes and you're making trouble again? Will you quit harassing the tourists? The stranger, Veer, I take it, rolls his eyes and flashes the cleric a weathering smile. So suspicious. Can't you see this is a friend of mine? A natural liar. He grins at me and his tail swishes mutely and the woman purses her lips at me. Clearly unconvinced. I open my mouth to correct him, but Veer... It's him. I was graciously offering my dear friend some free advice. Though his voice remains light and cheerful, his expression darkens. The angel's drawn to you like a moth flame. It'll always find you given time. The woman clucks her tongue as she though she heard this recital one hundred and two times. Word of thy storm take a free advice from lazy foxes lounging streets. This crook will shall sell water to a drowning man for the sheer enjoyment of it. She shrugs up a bolting look from Veer. Oh, please, any friend of yours knows it's true. Now hold still. Veer rises gracefully at her approach. He pushes hair back aside, so he drips over one shoulder, exposing the long line on his neck. Wait. He has a leash on? I didn't think he actually had a leash! And suddenly it dawns to me the jingling I heard earlier wasn't coming from the harness attached to his collar, but a leash. A heavy iron... A heavy iron chain. You know, you are right, uh, he is into some kinky shit. My etching post and a pet lock to the back of his collar. Fear posed liberally to hide his leash from me. The woman, the woman produces a key ring from his pocket. She rattles through a dozen identical keys before selecting one sliding into the lock. Come on, unless your friend's tagging along on our merry little soulless hunt. They're hunting for soulless inside the city? Oh! I am fine doing it on, but... Oh, okay. And now it makes so much sense why he was a bit standoffish to us. He's hunting soulless. So... The reason why he's so like mean to us was because he thought I was like a soulless creature, maybe. That's why he's so like an asshole. Worlds voluntarily fail me. Uh the woman regards me with a polite tie if tight smile before marching down the stairs there's Veer lingers. Makes sense because he wouldn't have been an asshole for no reason. Sure, there's characters like that, but this makes more sense. He stretches his. Maybe he's. Because maybe. He, okay. Maybe his. Maybe like monsters like him can sense other like soulless because he's a monster technically. And soulless are also monster. So maybe he can sense. That's why he's like, you're not human, but you're not a monster. And I try not to stare at his way. His stomach flattens when he arches back. MC. Oh my god. <laughs> MC is just horny. I, he is touch starved. Your little secret save with me. Try not to get yourself killed, hm? Veer hops off to stoop and bounds after the woman. His tail sways merely as though he hasn't just lied and threatened me. <laughs> did you just. Did you try that thing I mentioned? The Leviant Knot? The ones where you take three fingers and actually don't tell me, knowing you it's disgusting. Veer's airy laughter echoes around the street. It's only after he and the cleric have I wanna know what he meant. Wow. I don't know what- I want to know what the fuck- not- what is- I'm not gonna question it, but I really wanna- I'm gonna look it up afterwards. I'm gonna regret it, but it's okay. 
uh, sight and now really realize I'm missing something. What? Effectively, I shove my hands in her pockets, find the room key. I ease the key from my pocket. That's what he said! <laughs> That's where you take three fingers and actually don't tell me knowing you, it's disgusting. Uh, it's deep as I try to recall a touch, a tell, or any hint of Vera's slit of hand, but I can't figure out how he did it. So, okay, that's interesting. So he hunts for solaces, which is why he probably so standoffish at first. Which would be understandable. So, no, he can't steal really well, he's just a liar. <laughs> um, also, and the Sino saw a fit to leash him. I said I could share, if that's what his big warning meant. He could have been warning us then. Maybe, he, you know, maybe he's not a bad guy because he's like, I'll keep your little secret because I assume if we told the Sino about, hey, I am a curse, they would just lock us up like that, I imagine. Maybe he's a good guy overall. He's just trying to make us not get... MC, if at this point, if you're still gonna go to the Sino guys, you're just fucking yourself over at this point. Because, I mean, he, they literally leashed the man. <laughs> They leashed him because they thought he was a threat? So if I come to them and be like, Hey, I want to know why my curse is like this. Would they just use me? MC, we should not be going to them. Come on, dude. It's not. I feel I feel like they're a bad thing. Four people have told us it's not a good thing to go. MC, if, at this point, if you go, you're just selling your own faith. The lamb eyes drift skyward, past the lanterns, gently swaying the breeze to the... See no faintly invisible through the haze. Oh, did I miss something? Uh, no. Oh, yeah, just one glimpse is all I need. Then I can pull this all behind me. This time the key goes into my coin purse for safekeeping. If, are we really going? I swear. If we're going to that place, I'm gonna actually... I'm gonna chuck MC. <laughs> We've been told four times it's not a good idea to go there. It's easy enough to follow the sluggish river that splits Iridia, Iridia in two. A colossal bridge arches over the dark water below. I cross as quickly as I can, climbing ever uphill toward the distant tower. I s oh my god. Don't tell me we're going up there. Hours later, legs aching, sweet sweat beating on our forehead, I finally find what I was searching for. <sighs> God, oh my god, of course, MC! I do not, me and MC are not the same person. I would not be this dumb at this point. You know, like, sure, okay, I understand why, right? I know, understand their motive. We're desperate because we want to learn how to fix ourselves. But, MC. MC. Four people. Three people on a crowd of people had a negative reaction. Bestie, what are we doing? Oh my god, okay. If MC dies, it's it's his problem at this point, not mine. <laughs> How dumb can you be? Maybe it's just desperation, but I feel like, I don't know. I would be dissuaded, even if I had this curse, I would be dissuaded from going there. If three people were like, maybe don't. Right? Most of the tree people basically were like, maybe don't go there, it's not a good place. And then a crowd of people were like, that sucks. Uh, whatever. It stands at the highest point of Eridia. Er, 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 whatever. Surrounded by the cold white walls, well-dressed people stroll down the walkways, paying no attention to the massive tower in this mist. I'm the only one standing before the gate. Uh, I crane my neck up and up until the top of the Sino tower disappears in the crowds overhead. I frown at the gates, wondering what horrible traps they might contain. Despite their delicate beauty, there must be more of that, more than them beats the eye. I, I assume one of our love interests is gonna be from this place. We have, we have the fox or Veer who seemingly is trapped by the Sino Corporation. We have Lean, who is very sweet, and we can apparently touch him and he won't die. We have the doctor. What is the doctor's name? Koras, who was 
nice enough. We didn't really get to know him much because MC was also standoffish. I am interested to replay this in the other backstories and see how we treat these people differently. It's gonna be interesting. Knocking seems like a terrible idea, but I don't see any way of making my presence known. I'm halfway up the stair steps when something moves in my peripheral vision. Oh, a shadowy figure crouches beneath one of the white walls. They reach out and tug a wine as if testing its strength. Oi, you there! Shadow bashes quickly as I spotted it. The, ga the gaunt faced man in the crisp charcoal uniform marches up the steps towards me. Ugh, another tourist. Get out here once you're done gawking. A dismissive wave accomplishes uh, his equally dismissive words, and he turns on his heel without even waiting for an answer for me. I look back to where I was, saw the intruder, but there's nothing. Just the leaves blowing gently in the cool breeze. We have to meet two more, right? We have, yeah, we met Veer, Kuras, and Lean, so we have to meet two more, because we have five love interests that we can go with. A step away from the gates, hopelessness washing over me. Hello. I whisper so close I can feel the warm brush of breath on my skin. Why do these people love being so close to me? I know I'm a baddie, but come on, dude. <laughs> I know I look hot, apparently. I instinctly jerk away. MC must have a very big confidence boost, right? Because, like, three... Well, no, two people have flirted with us. Uh, there's no beside me. Halfway down the staircase, I spot a woman swaying in the breeze. She's got as her rail her blouse moth ate, and I'm unable to take my eyes off her. Not because of the way she smiles a little too widely, or the way her tousled braids look unbrushed for days, but because her eyes shine a bright, a vibrant, unnatural cri crimson, and both entranced and sounded by her, their subtle grow. Didn't, didn't Veer have these type of eyes? Or am I, am I freaking out? Veer also had, like, unnatural red eyes. And they change a couple of times. Unless I'm just wrong. <laughs> I don't think I'm wrong. I'm pretty sure he also had... I don't think it should be that surprising. Oh, later on. These days, you need a miracle to get in there. I'm not sure I have to respond if I sure should. I feel like I shouldn't. I feel like it's a trap. After the experience I just had, I'm not too keen on indulging strangers in small tech. Despite my silence, she maintains her unflinching stare and smile. Lucky for you, I have miracles for free- Don't trust her! I don't trust the shit. Wherever she's selling, I'm not interested. My words come out in tired breaths. No thanks. I start down the stairs, but she abruptly steps into my path. She turns her back to me, and before I react, she slips her finger under the lace of her collar, stripping out her blouse in broad daylight. What are you do? A sworn fabric reveals bare skin. My panic is spotted by my cold horror. Miss ha sha mis misshapen, sunken scar. Cray craves into the woman's body. Pitted, gnarled skin. Snakes down her shoulders, blooming from a gaping hole in the back of her neck. A shudderish breath escapes me. The fuck? <laughs> Whatever disease this woman had ate away at her for the inside out. How is she able to move or breed? It's impossible. She wouldn't be alive, and yet... The power to cure anything can be yours, too. The power of the sea spring. I don't know if I trust that. I don't know. She has red eyes, right? That's not good. <laughs> she has red eyes. I feel like they're gonna... I don't know. I don't trust this. The woman slides back into her blouse and definitely laces it up. If I've got your interest in following me, it's only a short work away. MC, I swear if you- I swear if you dumb, I will bop him. Without any cons, she leisurely strolls down the sea node stairs, loose braids bobbing behind her. The edge of her scars peek out under her collar. I don't trust that. I really don't trust that. I stand there wordlessly until I manage to regain my bearings. It's a twist and a miracle, but a miracle nonetheless. Okay, I guess we're doing it. Well, this could be the stupidest decision of my life, but what choice do I have? Not being stupid, maybe? I take a look, finally fine look at Sino's sh shut gates, then follow her down the steps. Oh my god. <laughs> we descend from the high streets, leaving behind our gilded descend de de decadence. As we cross the river, the wet, derelict districts feel more familiar to me. 
But the crimson eyed woman takes me farther than farther still until I'm met with an all too familiar sight. You dumbass! <laughs> oh my god, MC, why are you so dumb? You're so smart sometimes and then you're so dumb! <laughs> My gut lurches when I face open the horizon. I am- I know that MC is desperate for help, but your logic can't go out, right? I'm just saying. I, I mean, I if I know, I would be desperate, but I wouldn't follow a woman who undressed herself just to show me her, like, scars and then fucking leave. I wouldn't trust that. I know same person will do that. Oh my god, lurches when I face the open horizon. And the city's outskirts are hardly recognizable in daylight. Probably safer for it, but venturing beyond, beyond Erendia's walls is a gamble I wasn't prepared to take so soon. Keep going straight, and the sea spring will reveal itself to you. I bark out a bitter laugh, laugh loud and involuntary. This is a setup, dude. I this is. Uh, I rather not. Uh, this is both good options. <laughs> Why did we get ourselves in this situation, MC? Really? Okay. These are the same thing, basically, right? I rather not. It's basically this is a setup. Um. Uh, I guess I rather not, because they these choices. Um. <laughs> uh, okay. I have fallen for this already, now that I'm proud of it, but I know a setup when I see one. I barely have enough coin for a meal, for what's worth. If I wanted a new coin, I would have already had it. She is so lightly, I almost believe her when she looks as physically capable as a dude pick. <laughs> you didn't have to do her like that. You're safe inside the city as outside of it, truthfully. The territory before you is the safest of all. I don't know how much I believe that. What do you mean, territory? This region belongs to... Most people know him as a gang leader, but he's much more than that. I squint against the empty wastelands. Only a fool or someone with nothing to lose would leave the city. Apparently I'm both. Apparently! Yeah, no shit. <laughs> I'm arguing with the MC, cause holy shit. <laughs> but if this is Sea Springs Curd her, I need to see what it can do for me. Well, whatever. I guess I'm along for the ride. I set off in the waist over my shoulder. The woman calls out for me. Good luck, Sazel. I hope we meet again. How does she know my name? <laughs> my heart pounds with each step I take from civilization. For what it seems like an eternity, I force each foot up forward, one step and then another, until realization hits me. I never told the woman my name. Yeah! Oh my god, we're so stupid. <laughs> this is just gonna be a stream of me fucking being mean to the MC. <laughs> At this point, a uh, building nestled into the tall cliff cliffside, but so starkly out of place, it might as well be a hallucination. It drips with extra extravagance and honeyed mahogany, an ornate jewel of architecture. <laughs> the place, mm. a row of dark silhouettes stand out on the horizon. Trees, I think, until I'm close enough to realize that what I mistook for branches were spikes and jutting tendrils. Soulless, several of them watch me in distance like statues. <laughs> I don't think I'd just run, exploding in a messy sprint. I push my legs as fast as they all take me towards a decorated building. Flashes of light, night, chase me. The gushes of blood and screams of death. The smell of burning flesh and sour bile. I can't go through it again, I won't. The next thing I know, I'm dashing up the wooden stairs, crashing through the tur tur towering double doors. MC, you really don't have a brain in that little head of yours, huh? <laughs> I'm somehow smarter than you, and that's saying a lot, MC. I gasp for air, but my lungs burning from excur excursion. But I'm desperate to be safe, but when I process my surroundings... I am in a cult building, huh? It's more a hellscape than a sanctuary. Blood flows all around me, overwhelming my vision with lurid, only red. Instinctually, my hand loops to my mouth. But the rotten stench of blood never comes, instead of smoky scent hangs in the air, sharp and spiced. I smile thickly, convincing myself this is not a gruesome as it appears. This is has to be a sea spring, the place that grants miracles. A woman just told you that there's a place that can... A random person 
you have never met have just told you this place can grant miracles. You decided to believe her, for whatever reason. <laughs> oh my god, I don't know how, oh my god. <laughs> I don't know what to say. I really don't at this point. I really don't know what to say. It's fine. It's fine. Convincing myself that it's not as gruesome as it appears. Pulling my eyes away from the pool, I take in my rest of my environment. Tall pillars flank me, blanketed in this written notes. Ceiling pillows scatter the floor. A rustic kettle sits nearby. Someone must live here, despite how eerily empty it is. I'm gonna save. Um. Stay silent. I approach the paper covered pillars. Maybe something here can tell me more. I reach for. Okay, dude, you I am scared! <laughs> you can't do this to me! <laughs> fear is my- I have fear everywhere in my body right now. <laughs> okay, it's fine. We're fine. <sighs> okay. Mm, the closest one, I guess? Because then, yeah. I reach for the note in front of me, it reads, Dear Mother, don't cry for me. I'm sorry I didn't say goodbye, but we'll meet again in another life. I love you very much from Iris. B.S. If you ever see me, never speak to me again. She wrote in perfect cursive. I've never seen be such beautiful handwriting. Before I can ponder it further, a sharp chill runs through my spine. Something's watching me. I quickly set the note back, my eyes darting across the wooden deck, but it's simply still... Empty. I'm gonna save and I wanna see what the others would say. So I'm gonna quickly do that. Um. Uh, topmost? I reach for the note that's higher and reads, No one will read this, but it's not for an else. This is evidence I exist in this rotten, grim world. Even so, I wish I could have stayed longer. The boy, bog girl, would all be lonely without me. I should have told her how I. The rest is scratched out. I wonder who wrote this. Okay. I want to read all of them, so we're going to do that. They watch me through the mirrors. They won't stop staring. They know what I did, but they won't have me. I'm safe now. I'm safe now. I'm safe now. The Ryan deteriorates into an untangible scrawl. We'll go with this one. Before I can ponder it further, a sharp chill runs down my spine. Something's watching me. Imagine that's just that's just tells me my fate. <laughs> uh, yeah, you're gonna that's what's gonna happen to you, buddy. I quickly set the note back, my eyes darting around the wooden tack, but it's still empty, vac vacant. Um So MC did a stupid. Uh he followed a woman that was like uh, the sea let me go. What is the what did she say? Uh the sea Spring is gonna save you, and so he followed her like a dumbass. <laughs> and uh, she's like, "Go outside the border, yeah. Uh, what do what do you mean territory? We go, go outside the border of the city." And she's like, "Go further, and you'll find the man or whoever." Um, and and then she says my name, and then we see a bit like a lot of solaces, and he goes into this building. And now we're in this building. And we found a note that reads, I'll read it again. Uh, they watch me through the mirrors, they won't stop staring. They know what I did, but they won't have me. I'm safe and safe and safe. And then it, it wrote something else. Like, it, it, it does make sense. So MC is doing a dum dum. <laughs> I've been critiquing MC for the past, past 10 minutes because of this decision making. Uh, and now we're being watched by something. I look towards the sea spring. The stillness hides something deeper. I know. Even despite how desperate you are, I don't think I'd be dumb enough to follow this woman who basically, like, flashed me. That's what she basically did to show, like, her wounds that were cured. 
And we're like, a miracle happened. That's a that's insane talk. I may be <laughs> clinic like medically I have a medical illnesses, but like I'm not this dumb. Something wrong. Hey, who? That's not very threatening, but I imagine that's more threatening. I spin around and come to face to face with a back of soulless. Oh, oh my God! You, oh, MC. They chitter and growl. Dendril spikes flaring, threatening all different sizes and species. But shame one day, girl. Oh my God! Where was she? Was a soulless? I knew it. Glowing crimson eyes. I'm gonna be turned into soulless. This is how I die, because of MC stupidity. I try to back away, but my heel steeters over the sea spring. I'm cornered. Watch your step, it's deeper than it looks. That voice again. The sound of it, the soul is freeze. The snarl is quieting. Okay, a quad shot. What is these shots? <laughs> these shots are just trying to tempt you. I search for the voice's source and find it above me, lounging in the rafters. Oh! Well, maybe, maybe I don't mind. Maybe I don't mind being a bit stupid. You look lost, little sparrow. His gaze is violent crimson, one that shears through me, leaves me feeling raw and exposed. I know! Why do they all have to be hot? This is not fair. <laughs> you can't do this to me! His gaze is violent, yeah. They're the same eyes I've seen over and over. First with the scar scarred woman, and now with the sur soul is circling me, all bound by the sea springs blood red. And they shroud of darkness behind them, shapes like massive tentacles twist and coil around the wooden beams. I didn't notice that! Oh my god. <laughs> he has tentacles? Well, that's a thing. I didn't think tentacles would also be involved into this. How kinky. Each character is somehow kinkier than the last. How is this possible? How is this actually possible? <laughs> oh my god. I can't focus. The soul is growls ring in my ears. And they're not advancing, but that could change in a second. Panic rises in my throat. I struggle to track them. Hey! Stand across the of the bedroom. <laughs> Eyes on me. My stomach rolls as I tear my eyes away from the soulless. Don't ignore someone who's talking to you. It's not polite. Oh, okay. You really said eyes on me. For a moment, anger knocks my fear aside. Who is this bastard? F fuck you! <laughs> I'm gonna be polite for now. I don't wanna die. I'm distracted. I'm kind of distracted by the soulless about to maul me. Only on my command. Oh. See, this is why I didn't say fuck you! My ass will be screwed. And not in a good way. My ass will be gone. <laughs> See? Be nice, kinda. That's not really nice, but it's better than saying fuck you, because then I would have died, I have a feeling. I scanned the soulless again. They re re I really they are attacking, posturing more than anything else. You tamed them? Power of the sea spring. They're hungry, so they might bite. Yeah, not in a good way. <laughs> they won't just tear me apart. Uh, you can give me a reason to stop them. How about I didn't do anything wrong? Just passing. And that's punishable by death. He gives me a non-committal non shrug. Except, expecting mercy was your first mistake. My voice stops in my throat. This man's hair's <laughs> coolness is both infuri infuriating and terrifying. I rack my brain for a way to defuse the situation. <laughs> Shit. God damn it. I don't think he would care about me needing help, right? <laughs> Was he? Yeah. <laughs> Bastard. Oh, shit. I need help. I don't think he's gonna help me, right? He's like, uh, you trust. He's, yeah, he's not gonna help me, right? Saying I need help, that's not gonna do anything. I have a feeling. If I to ask, tell me what you want. Right? Cause, well, he doesn't, he thinks, okay, yeah, I'll, I'll go with, tell me what you want. I need help doesn't. Yeah, I think so. Yeah, that's, yeah, that's what I think. He seems like if you help him, he'll help you. 
That's that's what I think also. Because if I say I need help, he's like, why should I help you? And then we'll die. <laughs> that's that's my theory. <laughs> Tell me what you want. Tell me what you want. I'm not in the mood for guessing games. Your hands. I need them. Um, maybe I should ask. I need help. Alarm drills through me. I have my hands under my cloak. Show me. Why? Won't ask twice. He really just. What? Well, he... You can't ask a man for his hands. He had a sharp huff. I reluctantly hold up my bandage on. Are you getting off to on this? Hepsia, sometimes I love you and sometimes I hate you. Unwrap them. Uh, heat rushes to my face and fire to my tongue. I should give him peace of mind. <laughs> True. But now when soul is our own command from stripping me to shreds. Yet no matter how much I will myself to move, my body is frozen place. It's done there for a long time. The long, agonizing minute. My hands are trembling when I finally raise them. I know the skin beneath the wrappings are all too well. The hideous and natural flesh I've begun to despise. I'm good at the edge of the bandages. Stop. Okay. okay. With a wary sign, the man slides up the beam and lands with a thud that shakes the panels underfoot. He's a monster with an imposing figure that towers over. And I shouldn't be surprised, but at this point I feel like all the characters just tower above me. <laughs> Each character that we have met has said, has the the fucking like all of them have something telling that they're sh taller or they have they were towering above me. I know why am I the only short king? Why am I here? Why am I where's more? I need people my size. I need I can't force my head up all the time. Very true. I couldn't tell how tall he was before, but he's big. Animated by the Lanternite, his features are stronger and sharper. Several so clinks of metal accompany each of his footsteps. The closer he gets to me, the faster my heart hitches. What does he want? Is he gonna kill me? I step backwards. Yeah, if I find nothing to set my foot on. I forgot my back was to a sea spring. I fall right before a warm hand catches my lower back. Oop. I'm hovering above the sea spring and the scent of smoke and letter enveloping me. Blazing Christmas eyes born to mine. I told you to watch your step. Well, I'm sorry. <laughs> You're kind of spoopy in a good way. <laughs> you can solve this were after my ass. I don't know what you want me to say, dude. Like a wee nothing, he guides me back to solid ground and steps back. Following a subtle gesture from his fingers. This is the fourth character we have met, so one more person I think we have to meet. The soul is around his breast and relax. The shift in their demeanor is abrupt. It gives me whiplash. Their enormous tentacles are no longer in the rafters, and even though now I doubt I ever saw them at all. Either way, I scale a breath of fresh of relief. Thanks. As focused on me, he was before. The monsters pay no attention to me now. He kicks something seating pillows off the walkways, checks the contents of his kettle with a scowl. The sun this guard is almost insulting. <laughs> so, that's it, I'm not a threat anymore. Never wore one. Okay. The confidence, though. Then why do you threaten me? People get honest when they're afraid. I mean, okay, you know, he's not wrong. In other words, he was messing with me. I drag a hand over my face, exhausted by the fact that this is the second time a monster has provoked me today. Two times in a row, baby. <laughs> I'm lucky. Your, I'm gonna call him A because I have no idea how. Because it, it's like AI, but I don't think it's AI. Ice? I, I, I'm gonna fuck, we're gonna look this up. <laughs> how do you pronounce that? Uh, pronunciation. Pronunciation. Ace? Really? Ace? Apparently it's Ace. Like, um, like Ace. Like A-C-E. But Ace? <laughs> yeah, I looked it up right now. It's apparently like Ace, but Ace. More of an S sound, I suppose. You're Ace, aren't you? Depends who's asking. Yep. It's not Bastard anymore! <laughs> I'm Bastard? <laughs> it's not Bastard anymore. It'd been funny if it was still Bastard. Uh, one of your friends told me this is your territory. She said you were a gang leader, but there's no one here else here. I thought there'd be more people. 
Ace picks up a kettle, walks to the edge of this sea spring, then dumps out the contents in the endless red. Gang took a walk. His pleasant smile stretches across his face, ear to ear. In an instant it drops, and I get the sense I shouldn't ask about his gang again. Something must happen. I'll learn to recognize their leader when I... I love speaking. His forgetting leaf fits the type perfectly. He knows how to scare people and expects submission, but it's uncommon for someone who is so used to being in power to be so alone. <sighs> what do you need the sea springs power for? Depends. Can it cure a curse? Probably. You mean you don't know? <laughs> nope. He shakes out his empty kettle and starts collecting stray cups standing up. My frustration builds, I narrow my eyes at him and question glare. When he notices, he returns away from me smirk. Are you being irritating on purpose? Listen, Sparrow, the sea spring can cure anything. Nothing's stopping you from trying it yourself. Why do I need what do I have to do? Drink? I have to drink from the sea spring, but I put I was in there. I don't want to taste myself. My eyes guide to the blood-like pool beside us, and the idea of ingesting the strange liquid makes my guts churn. We don't know how many people like fell into that, right? I'm, I can't be the only one. Like, maybe there's so much bacteria in that. Is there a price? Always. He steps his temple with the finger. You lose it a little. You lose. Uh, you lose it a little bit. That's it. Might have beat it to the punch. My humor earns me an amused fanged grin. Uh, hmm, this is a little different. When you drink from the sea spring, you forget who you are. Your mind comes down to everyone who has ever drank here before. Human monsters. So it's one big fappy family in your mind. That's how he controls them, I assume, then. That makes that makes sense. <laughs> True, but like I don't think I I don't I don't wanna drink from there. The this sounds like a cult. He's hot, but I don't want to be controlled. My blood runs cold. I've heard of these before. Group minds. I thought there were rumors. I heard whispers of cults performing rituals to bind their members' minds together. Never seemed possible. But something tells me this is real. Even one thing doesn't add up. Your eyes are red too, but you obviously haven't forgotten who you are. Before I can finish my sentence, a strides past me towards the entrance. Thumbs up. Let's finish this later. Wait, already? You barely told me anything. I ain't bound bad day. I got some more to be. There are still so many questions burning in the tip of my tongue, but my frustration spills out before I end them. I was told to come here for help, but instead, I got threatened and kicked out. You're joking, right? Watch your tone, I'm nice. You don't want to ruin the, <laughs> ruin the host mood. My skin prickles. The feeling of being watched washes over me. Yeah, you kind of forgot that he can control those guys. I don't think we should be mean to him. My, my, my lovely, my level, my lovely advice is just, even if you're not nice, pretend to be nice because sometimes you don't want to die. And in this situation, you gotta pretend to be nice, even if he's an asshole. He may be a good looking one, but he's still an asshole. <laughs> uh, my eyes dart back to, to the spring, sea spring. A lone ripple dances on the quiet surface. I take his advice and clap my mouth shut. Ace approaches this nearby soulless, a lanky dog-like one with six legs. That's a lot of legs. And a crown of tendrils. Several sets of chrism eyes adore its eyes. Its forked tail wags ra rapidly when Ace is squat beside it. He runs his fingers through the tendrils, scratches his chin and pats his head. A gentle smile plays across his ace smile lips. The affection he holds for his soul is painfully clear. I dip my eyes away, my <laughs> my stomach fluttering at the tender sight. We really don't have that much of a we really don't have much um <laughs> much standards. <laughs> I mean same, but come on. <laughs> it's getting dark out, so this pretty girl will guide you back. Following a short whistle from Ace's lips, it trots over to the entrance, immediately the tail swaying. I watch the soulless warily. Pretty is not the word I would use to describe it, and the idea of protecting me sounds absurd. If I decide to drink, how should I find you? Find someone with eyes like mine. They'll point you in direction, right direction. But think over. Once you drink, you can't go back. I wonder if that's going to be just his route, if we drink it. 
Well, maybe there would be an interesting way we don't have to drink it. Hmm. We'll see. It's a lot of process, but I give us my nod. <laughs> it's not even towards us! It's towards the dog. That's soulless. I mean, I'm similar. Literally, one of the people I had a crush on, they like... <laughs> literally, actually. One of the people that I had a crush on, on literally just kind of helped me out once and I was like, damn, I like this guy. <laughs> I'm not any better. <laughs> person like helped me out doing something and I was like wow I kind of have a crush on this person now uh, at least I know I have another option for a cure as disturbing as it may be I follow the soulless at the measured distance and watch it nudge I assume his root is gonna be actually quite dark I assume because of the because it's dark romance so I assume his gonna be more of the darker one because we'll, if we'll drink it, we'll become like a part of a, like a mind. What is it called? I don't know what you call it, but like we're going to be a part of like a being, basically. Watch it notch giant doors with e open with ease. When I'm about to cross the threshold, I sneak one glance. Yeah, have mind. That's right. Have mind. I sneak one last glance behind me. My heart skips when I meet <laughs> Jesus. I'm about to snap my head away. May he just flashed me an easy smile. Till next time, Spar. I'll buy you a drink for scaring you. I don't trust myself to do anything worse, but I'm not another girl. I'm see. I'm so sorry that you were so touched, starved. I am too, but I'm see falling for people left and right. It's hard to believe. Uh, outside, more crimson-eyed soulless caught all about. It's hard to believe it's same threatening pack from before. They chase each other in circles and run around in the bog's mud. Are these- are the soulless, like, actual people? I'm wondering about that. Cause what- do you, like, drink the thing and you become a soulless? Because there's a lot of soulless people here. Hmm. It's hard to believe it's the same threatening back from before, yeah. They pay no attention to me as the dog-like one excretes me away. It's an eventful trip sometimes. The soulless looks over its shoulder at me to make sure I'm still following. <laughs> hmm. Dust darkens the sky by the time we reach the city. The soulless sits and looks at me expectantly with familiar crimson eyes. Okay, <laughs> um. Pet it? <laughs> my hand. My hand's getting bit enough, but why not? As nervous as I am, I carefully glide my fingers through the soulless te tendrils and scratch beneath the chin like just hasted had. Parts into my palm and response rumbling with a sound akin to the purr. The vibrations are soothing, almost healing my fatigue. When it's satisfied, the soulless spins around and scampers back in the direction we came, vanishing to darkness. The dog is gonna help us. <laughs> the dog is gonna hook us up. <laughs> I'm saying, um, this is what, you know? Dog is gonna tell him, and he's gonna be like, "Wow, sounds like not that bad." <laughs> I'm just telling you. Gotta get my keep my options open. It's barely my first day in Ar Aradaya, and already encountered so many things. I thought they were that thought were impossible. Tame Solas being one of them. My head spins. Maybe I should call it a day. Maybe you should. Nightfall creeps across the streets of Eridaya and the city lamp okay. even in daytime has become a wearing of treacherous alleyways. A labyrinth. Yeah, there we go. The streets are completely deserted, and if I had been here before I would have thought this part of the city abandoned. I thought I would have thought this part of the city abandoned. I make my way through the winding streets, doing my best to keep my bearing towards the West Wick. The Wet Wick, not the West Wick. <laughs> the Wet Wick. My steps slow when I hear a rustling in the dark. We haven't met the last love interest. I shrug my ears, but everything is still. Is the silence playing a trick on me? Gotta be careful, MC! We gotta be careful. Something's wrong. The fine hairs on the back of my neck prickle, a frimson of discomfort running down my spine. Something is wrong. 
My eyes dart from one side of the street to the other, searching for movement, but the shadows are deep and dark as pools of ink and I see nothing. I can't stay here. I need to reach the busier part of the city. Uh, drawing my cloak uh, tighter around my body, I hurry on my way. I keep, I, though I keep my eyes sharp and listen intently, there's only a sound of my own footsteps. As moments pass and nothing happens, I begin to wonder maybe I, might, I really did imagine that noise. Now I gotta be careful. I turn next to corner, my thoughts come screaming to a halt. My head spins and the world blowing as adrenaline rushes through my veins. Only one thing is clear amidst the haze. Oh, hi. Hello. Oh no, I'm gonna die. Is this what I get? What did I do? The soulless that attacked the caravan. How do you know? It's crouched over a dark, indis indistinct shape. A body, a garland of intestines spill from its placid flesh. Blood clouds the cobblestones for mercy. For a mercy, the soul is to distract by its mute to have noticed me. My feet feel heavy as stones, but I can't just stand here. Holding my breath, I take a step backwards. When the wet, slurping sounds don't abate, I take another, then another. Then a shard of glass crunches under my heel. Oh my fucking god. The world seems too slow to crawl as their soulless raises its head, blood dripping from its tendrils. Every single of its bulging eyes fixed obliquely on me. Yeah, because he doesn't have red eyes. Because if it did, it would have been under Ace's control. It's really, it's really hairs come back for me. Oh, well, the only option. Oh my god. Okay. I'm off like a shot, running for my life through darkened streets. Behind me, a fishing bass fits the silence. Heavy foot footfalls pounds out through me. My head thunders in my chest. I take turns around them, trying to loosen a ma maze of streets, but I can't seem to shake it. I can hear its breathing now, a wet, fluttering rasp, going closer and closer. The same claws that sever my arm swipe up. I duck, save by pure reflex, and skid around the corner. I take three running strides before the bottom drops out of my stomach. A uh, wall twice hides me, bars my way, dead end. Fuck, why am I so short? What are the reasons? Oh my god, bad reason to be short. When I turn, the soul is looms in the entry to the alleyway. It's no longer running. It doesn't have to. As it prowls closer, my thoughts race. Some of the buildings lining the streets are lit. There must be people inside. It's a long shot, but... Oh, scream for help. I don't know, would that do anything? Would screaming for help really do anything? Ugh. I feel like going trying a door is more of the safer option than yelling, right? I don't know. I know, I know, that's what I'm thinking. The door is like more of an option. If I scream for help, no one. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna do that. Cause screaming they can just ignore my screams. Like this is a city, right? I whirl growling the handle of the closed door, it turns completely and hinges as I push and I Yep, there we go. And I feel a flash of hope before a weight hits me door from the other side and it's just oh shit. Oh. They click with the lock turning is gravely final. In this Western world, few people stick their neck out to help their own flesh. See, that's what I'm saying. Screaming would have not done anything. If I scram, everyone would just shut everything down. See, this is why screaming never helps. Most of the time, screaming is gonna brought more attention to you. In real life, like in real life, realistically, you should scream if you're, something's bad happening to you, but people are shitty. The soulless gives a rasping hiss, it's only warning I get before it lunges for me with a flash of pause. I roll myself to the side, but the slick cobblestone betray me, I fall spraying over the rough zone. As the soulless looms over me, I scramble away from it until my back hits the wall. I, I assume we're gonna meet the final interest, hopefully? <laughs> I don't know, that would be sad if we die like this. There's no one left to go. It descends on me for the kill. But the impact never comes, yeah. Okay, good. Oh, the fifth love interest. 
I rarely crack my eye open than the other. Not really sure I should believe what I'm seeing. Another crotch shot. We we really love our crotch shots in this game. Not that I'm complaining, of course. A hooded figure crouches in front of me, one bloodstained hand outstretched. <laughs> Moonlight shivers the edge of their stealthy st 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 toe knife. Their face and hands are splattered with blood and their soulless. My eyes dart past my inspect unexpected rescuer to the mishap in form behind them. The soulless is many eyes, once restless and vibrant, now look dull and waxy. A red pool spreads slowly out from under its body. Can't we use our, like, well, never mind. I was gonna say, can't we use our, like, hands, but I, that would just make it worse, right? I was gonna say, why can't we use our hands and touch it? I feel like that would have just made it worse. Never mind. I was thought I was being smart. <laughs> no much luck, I can't help but stir. It's death. After all, people, it's killed. After nearly killing me twice, I hardly can believe it. Well. I gently take the offered hand, the stranger's gaze dips to my bandages, pale lips apart on the brink of a question close again. With a strength bellowing the slight frame, they pull me to my feet. Is this the short king that we have waited for? <laughs> as soon as I am on my way my way on my two feet again, they pull away from me and start wiping the blood from their face and hands. Stay there. They turn away from me, swiftly leaning over to hold this conkly body. Uh, with their back turned towards me, I realized I saw their hooded sailor at the casino. Uh... <laughs> I'm sorry. You never say this to a short person. <laughs> me, short person, never say that. Oh my god. <laughs> never say you're shorter than I thought. That's That will get you a crotch. That will get you a stab in the crotch. I'm just saying, realistically, you're gonna get deaded. Um, so I'm shocked. Wow, I feel offended. I feel offended. I am also very short. Realistically, I'm probably this person's size. Oh my god. Um, I feel like you saved me would be better. These two are the better two than. <laughs> I'm sorry, this shocked me. <laughs> this answer shocked me. Uh, he saved me. I think you saved me. And then, should I? Um, you saved me. You saved me. I shouldn't have to. The harsh response takes me back. Damn. Far from later response to continue. <sighs> what are you thinking, traveling home alone at night? This is far from the worst thing, haunting low town. I can't make heads or tails of them. First they save me, and now they scold me. <laughs> Damn. Lesson learned. I could do without the lecture, though. To my surprise, they break con eye contact. Their attention glides back to the soulless corpse. They examine it with an inscrutable expression. I clear my throat to fill the silence. I am Sazzle. <sighs> I'm gonna call him Min. I feel like the H is silent. If it isn't, that's fine. Suddenly, Min tenses. The blade flashes. <laughs> no, I'm dyslexic, okay? <laughs> I don't like- names are hard for me. Their blade flashes as they drive into the back of the soulless's neck. The soulless trashes once, letting out a rustling hiss as the air leaves its lungs. Min lings on the blade, driving it deeper and deeper until there's a sickening crunch and the creature goes limp. My heart thuds in my chest, must be clinging to, li uh, to life by a thread. Min strains up, during the blade in a single more smooth motion. Better to put wretched things like that out of their misery. They calmly clean the blood from their life. That swift, unhesitating, leaping strike was not work of an amateur. Min, we thought their name was Hunter. Where is it? Hunter for a bit. So, uh, you know? But they don't act like the, any of the cold-blooded killers I've seen in the past. Why is a soulless inside the city? Min looks at me, eyes searching before realizing she dawns. You're new here. There's no walls around the city. Soulless can come and go as they please until someone is contracted to stop them. The Sino patrols don't bother to protect Lower Town. Not anymore. Let me guess, you're not a fan of the Sino. 
<laughs> I won't go that far. The brows are burnt like furrows and they see this in a sheet. Their knife, motioning for me to follow them. It's not safe here. The vultures can smell death. The vultures? <laughs> I'm not sure what they meant, mean, but I don't want to stay lost in the city. I trail behind them as they straight down the street. If it's so dangerous, well, then why are you helping me? I came for the bounty on the solace and you were in the way. Nope, okay, understandable. Not killing you isn't the same as helping you. Don't count on being so lucky again, or you'll be, de will you be dead by sunrise. So many of the ca characters are assholes. <laughs> I mean, understandable though. I don't blame all of, all of the people though. You're in a city, you can't really trust many people. The answer is stingingly harsh. Uh, I'm not gonna be an ass. I just need to find my log log logings. Hold my hand, trying to force stain and use that snippy comments. All right, I get. It. I love to get out of your way, but I'm sort of lost. I just need to track directions back to my login log logins. What makes you think I'll help you? Nothing. Well, there's no harm in asking. That seems to caught them off guard. <laughs> and their brow knits and they look away, scowling. How troublesome. Sazzle? Oh! Koras! My man! <laughs> oh, whew. Walks down the street towards us. His white and gold clothing is pristine despite the gray grim of the city. Oh, Ming, I see that soulless was your work. Min shrugs. There's a familiarity to the way they regard each other. Uh. I did we have friends! Goddamn! MC, calm down. Um. You know them, Koras? Min is a freelancer who has done a few errands for me. They're quite reliable. Unreliable freelancers don't eat. <laughs> True. There is something Curtis isn't saying here. Cecil needs to get back to wherever he's staying before he wanders into jaws of another soulless. <sighs> you know, you're not wrong. We are dumb, apparently. We are pretty dumb. It is late. Where are you able to find a place to stay, Cecil? I'm staying at the wet wick. <laughs> Both of her faces fall. I see. Would you like a guide? It might be preferable to wandering. Uh, preferable. They don't really like the you. What do you? I feel a bit offended. Cross, you're you gave me to go to Wetwick. Why do you not like it? <laughs> it might be preferable to wandering about alleyways. Apparently, maybe the people suck there. I assume. But then. Like, but then, Veer, like, Veer, the fox guy, he had the same reaction to Koras. So, like, look, that's interesting. I know, but it's also interesting because then, the, like, the fox boy had the same reaction to Koras. So, like, we don't know which one's actually good. Koras seems to be shady because... Like a monster didn't like him. Maybe that. Maybe that's why. Because men kill. Like is working for him. Also, Chorus can't say shit. He's the one who like led me to Wetwick. Literally, if I were to scroll in the history, he's the one who was like, "Hey, go to Wetwick. Go to Lean." I think could be, maybe he is very rich and he doesn't like poor people. I feel like that's it. <laughs> I'm just saying. I'm just saying. I'm putting things out there. <laughs> Maybe he just doesn't like people. <laughs> Maybe just the people in there aren't great. <laughs> I mean, because the only decent person we've seen was Lean, like in the wet wick, and he seemed like a good person. Maybe Koras only gets along with Lean because Lean is actually the decent one. Because the others were kind of, I don't know, maybe the other people aren't the greatest. I don't know. That would be nice. Men clicks their tongue and sighs, sounding mildly put out. I'm going to the. The Armorly District, the gaudy cesspit. Come, this way. Despite Men's clear disdain, uh, distaste, when Chorus leads me down the street, they keep pace with us. Catching my curious glance, Men's eyes narrow. It's not safe this late, I don't care about you, but Curse is the only doctor worth the damn displays. Are you like this with everyone? 
The deadpan lookman gives me his answer enough. I catch Chorus hiding a slight smile. I suppress a sigh and resign myself from having a grumpy shadow all the way back to Wetwick. I mean, it's better than going along with men. I assume we'll be in a very quiet <laughs> walking. The root Chorus takes is completely different from my slow mendering early in the morning. No, in no time at all. Like, he cuts through darkened streets and twisting allies. <laughs> allies. <laughs> Alleyways. Uh, it seems like half the city has purred into the um, 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 the district. <laughs> Carful streets, laughter, clinking glasses, and music assault my ears. Maybe this is like a. I mean, I mean, MC assumed that Veer was like a prostitute. Maybe this is just more of like the red district, or like something like that. I assume. Well, not the red district, but maybe this is the district where a lot of shady things happen. Or something like that. This whole place is shady, dude. <laughs> we know... The only thing we do know is that the fucking... Sino place? The Sino Blim? The Sino... The Sino Blooms? Is the most shadiest. That's all we know. We know the big palace thing is the most shady. And then everyone else is just sh less shady than the fucking big ass place. I mean, the, the also the fucking ace is a bit, the ace is a bit shady, but we're not gonna question it. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yet the most noise still comes from the wet wick. And the doors hang wide open. Learns that maybe, maybe they um. Yeah, that is true. Maybe they had an expression because they thought I slept with lean. <laughs> because then, like the bartender was like, oh, this must be your new escapade, right? So, maybe they thought I had sex with him. <laughs> I'm just, like, because, think about it. Chorus knows Lean. Men must know Lean in some way. If they're, like, all... I don't... I don't know. Maybe they don't like sex. I don't know. I am putting out theories, okay? <laughs> Either this part of town they just don't like because it's shady or I don't know I don't know mm, your doors hang wide open and learns lit here we are oh a new frame he moves towards the door and men lets out an audible huff don't tell me you're going in I have some quick business with Lindar lean there lean there uh, fine he still owes me for yesterday's work Maybe I just don't like the hound dogs, even though I was referenced to go here. They drag their feet reluctantly, tra trailing me into the tavern. Maybe they're just rich. That could be it. I have a feeling that must be it. Because, <laughs> you know, I was joking that they're classist, but I have a feeling. <laughs> Maybe they are. <laughs> Maybe they just are. <laughs> as soon as the door is open. Because, yeah, that would make more sense. Because, like, I know there's some people who are like, ugh, bars. Because they feel like they're better than bars. And there's, like, a bar, a bartender place. This is a bar and an innkeeper place. As soon as the doors open, a wave of sticky heat rolls over me. An hour since I left, the wick has gone suffocatingly crowded. Cora stands out. Yeah, I mean, okay. Their clothes are very fancy. Makes sense why they don't like this district, even though they work here. I don't, it's, it's weird. You, cause I wouldn't think Chorus's classes, cause he helped me. But uh, whatever. Pardon me. The crowd parts as though answering his request. Chorus glances over his shoulder, and Ming and me before gliding through. How can anyone breathe in here? I mean, they just don't like bars, I suppose. I don't know. Follows Chorus at the clipped place. Neen is right there when I left him, although he's traded places with a bartender. He holds a pair of shot glasses filled to the brim with a luminous green liquid. And now for the finishing touch. Um, I guess, I guess. Hey, I suppose so. He would also just have, have like, he said he's a doctor, maybe he's just morals where he can't leave people alone type of thing. Because we still don't know if we can fully trust everyone, right? Even if this is a dating game, this is a dark romance. 
So maybe Chorus will ask for a favor later on. We don't know. We don't know. Yeah, he did. He did. He didn't have to. He. I think he was just... Maybe he was on business, but he wasn't like trying to help me, but he did. Uh... But we still can't trust- like, I like- they're all hot, but we still don't- don't- like, maybe Curl- Curus will ask for a favor later on. We don't know that, right? We don't know much about any of these characters. <laughs> we just know very small parts of them. <laughs> we know Curus is a doctor, and he doesn't, uh, take money from travelers. Lindar is apparently uh, the leader of the hound dogs and he works in the bar- he's like a bartender and an innkeeper at the same time even though there's also another bartender and innkeeper but he works here I suppose. Uh, we have Min, the hunter, we have um, Ace, the cult leader? I don't know what he is, we don't know what he is still. He's top of some monster Veer, he is also a monster fox boy but He's also like a, ch a, ch a tackle down. Uh, now we're in a finishing touch. A uh, flash of magic paints the glass is white with frost. Ooh. Never gonna guess what's in there. Lean slides the glass across the bar, and I get my third four sh shocks of the evening in a rapid succession. Oh! Oh my! He's here! <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> that shocked me. <laughs> that shocked me. I don't know. I thought he was a mysterious type of guy. <laughs> Sorry. This really shocked me. <laughs> I didn't think I was this- well, they're all here. Holy shit. Okay. <laughs> they're all here. I swear, if I fucking see Veer come in here, I'm gonna be even- I mean... I wouldn't be surprised, but... Okay. <laughs> he leans against the bar and elbow prompt on the counter. He catches the glasses and lifts one to the light to report. They all know each other. That's gonna be a bit awkward. I kind of flirted with a lot of them. Um, this is a bit awkward. <laughs> uh, I didn't flirt with Kuras because there was no option to flirt with him. Um, I didn't flirt with Min. I was just kind of polite. I, uh, I didn't. I didn't flirt with Ace. I don't think. No, I only flirted with Veer and Lean. So, I was nice to the rest of them though. <laughs> Imagine this is like a bad ending because I flirted with like most of them. Or nice to most of them. The constant magically congealed say, stay firmly in place. <laughs> you're supposed to make the drinks, pretty boy. Don't tell me you're wasted already. Oh my- I just said it. He- oh my god. <laughs> They're all here. Oh no. Uh, can I run? I feel like I am- I feel like- I feel tense. Oof. Ooh, okay. Uh, your perch in the bar's counter beside Ace takes a single look at the shot gas and shakes his head. And what do we, what do we have here? A bucket full of boogers? Lean snows treasure? You've eaten worse. Veer's lip twitch and his ears flatten when Ace offers him a glass. He turns his cheek with a sniff and Ace snickers. I didn't think they all knew each other. Wow. It kind of makes sense, but you know, I, I just assumed. Like, Ace was a weird mystical guy who sits in a fucking cult area. Vir was like on a leash. I was just assuming. <laughs> like, I knew Kura, Kura, Kuras and Lee knew each other, but goddamn. Coward. Don't tell me you're actually. In one fluid motion, Ace turns, turns his back his head and downs the shot, drinking that. A dark look across his, Ace's face. It's. Chewy. Chewy? Wait, let me try again. What? Chewy alcohol? I don't know how I feel about that. Behind me, Min, min grumbles. I told you this place was a mess of dead degenerates. <laughs> it isn't Koras and Min. At the sound of Lane's voice, Min's pale eyes grow wide. They look ready to bolt on this Koras at a hand on their shoulder. I promise this will not take long. Men's eyes dark from Kura's hand to his face, then soften. Fine, you first. Besties? They're best friends? They, they, they because they, they have some type of bond together. If he can stay here. While they step forward, I linger back and struck by the sudden realization. Yeah, all of the people have met. They know each other. <laughs> the 
Damn, I thought like two of them knew each other. I didn't think- Oh, oh my god. <laughs> oh, well, this is a bit more awkward than it should be. Huh. Good evening, Elaine. Ace, another drinking competition, I assume. Oh, is it evening ready? Chris Warren is earlier. There's some friendly rivalry, Doctor. Nothing to be afraid of. Chorus acknowledges Elaine and Ace with the slightest nod, ignoring fear entirely. Not fear, not that fear seems to mind. It's interesting because I didn't expect them to know each other, because in some dating games, some characters like know each other, but they don't show up a lot. <laughs> this is wow. It tilts his head and the Empress smile curves his lip when he spots men looming silently behind Caress. Ooh, I almost didn't see you there, men. Looking for your booster seat. That offended me. That wasn't even pointed at me, but I felt offended. <laughs> oh my god. I was so offended. Oh my god. <laughs> this is the Okay, that's fine, that's fine. I don't know. Oh, wow. 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 And yeah. <laughs> I feel like that was fucking handed to me. Nin pushes their hood back. They level Veer with a cool look. That's how Ass wasn't allowed to bring in his pets in here. Oh. Veer's child gives an angry twitch. They have some. Oh my god. At first sight of impending fight, Lin <laughs> falls over the counter. He slides in between Ace and Crest. Now, now, let's try and keep the peace. And every day, the esteemed doctor takes up a drink. His arm sneaks around Crest's shoulder. You're finally taking me up on a drink, right? Crest. I'm afraid not. We're merely escorting Sazel back to his lodgings. Lodgings. Whatever. Chorus gestures my direction. My stomach sinks. I reluctantly step into the light. Hi, everyone! <laughs> this is so. I feel so awkward. I don't know why. As so, oh my god. As soon as he sees me, lean his face brightens. Sazzle, it's been so long. Everyone, this is Sazzle. He's new too. Airy day, day after. I still buy pairs of eyes fixed on me to me, and soon the fire feels something in as well. My voice never catches in my throat. I would react the same. It's so, I don't know, it's so weird. I think it's a weird ass connection to be like, everyone knows each other, wowie! Uh, 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 hi again. Uh, hi everyone, again. Again? What, you already met everyone? <laughs> yeah, everyone I met. Everyone. Ace and Veer loving me with simply amused expressions. Veer's tail gives a lazy wag. We did? Not that long ago either. Mm hmm. I'm starting to suspect he's talking to me. Excuse you. <laughs> he looks far too pleased with himself when I roll my eyes. Oh my god, he is short. <laughs> Here's calls for drinks. I feel like the funny thing, I'll be more shorter. They look taller than me. Somehow. What does everyone want? In an instant, all eyes turn to Lean, fearing me for the burden of attention. I still can't believe they all know each other. Watching them talk amongst themselves feels odd or surreal. For the first time since I undertook the journey to Iridea, I felt faint glimmer of hope. I think, no, I know I was meant to meet them. The low pleasant rumble of Lean endures, uh, Laughter pulls me from my restless thoughts. Ha! Ah, well, color me surprised. Make fast. Friends fast, Hazel. Yeah. Don't I? I wouldn't go that far. We're more like acquaintances. A wise one said that acquaintances are merely friends you haven't shared a drink with yet. A wise man, you said that here last week. <laughs> Excuse you, I am not that tiny. <laughs> I am just a short king, how dare you? <laughs> Do not put me into a, a smaller fucking category. <laughs> I can hear Ming's lip curl with his taste from across the bar. Lean there, clears his throat and continues unperturbed. Let's toast to Cecil's health. Care to join in, doctor? 
course, Bali declines with a wave of his hand. How about you, Mitt? No. Are you? Nope. A resounding pop pierces the din of the power. We all turn directions of noise. He almost looks bashful as he accepts an flowing flute from the bartender. Or from a bottle so old that labels has been worn blank. They serve champagne here? Since when? Your paws in the middle of flicking champagne foam from his fingers with a coy smile. You don't mind, do you? In a transformation as impressive as magic tricks, the concern of Indir's face vanishes he laughs softly. Nope! Be my guest. I know you got expensive taste. <laughs> and then he shoots the bartender a frantic look. Unbothered or interested in his company, Ace can can't his head at me, a light smile on his lips. How about you, Spyro? I did say I bought you a drink earlier. You did? No, 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 my treat. Ace regards the <laughs> then there's over the lip of the glass. In the dim light, the glint in his crimson eyes is looks downright dangerous. Are they gonna fight? What it'll be, Sazzle? Oh. Fuck. Okay. Uh, you know, I'm no, I'm no pussy. I'll take it. I'll, I'll take that drink. I'll take you on the drink as long as it's not one of those green shots. <laughs> I know. I'm not even doing much. <laughs> Don't knock them till I try them. Taste better than they look. Somehow I doubt that, but I hold my tongue long enough for Lane to go get go behind the uh, bar. <laughs> His line, isn't he? When I glance at Ace, he only shrugs. Like I said, they were chewy. Probably poison, too. <sighs> this is what happens when I'm a trooper. He cleans his own drink. A tumbler of amber colored whiskey. Lenders tried to kill me a dozen times but now. It's always a gamble. <laughs> well, I'd hope you wouldn't kill me. I just told him my secret. <laughs> Fear clicks his tongue in his removal when he finally looks my way. It's with a half lip gaze softened by his third glass of champagne. Where are you? Where are you? Where are you? Where are you? I wouldn't let Len Lindir put anything in my mouth. He fans his fingers over his chest, voice dripping with fake reverence. The wet wig is one of the finest drinking established in Erendea. Erendea. Uh, while you're here, you may as well partake of the signature watered down drinks and stay on that ladder. He stoops then towards a chipped <laughs> ceramic bowl filled with spindly fe fe speckled jerky that I assume is not leather. Where's the food in this city? As abysmal as you make a sound, the place is completely packed. It's not all the bad, depending on the day, the food's edible. I don't think that's really good if the food is edible. Whatever. Ace takes a measurement sip of his drink. Gotta stick around for the real attractions, though. Before I can ask what he means, Lean Lindard returns to a tumbler that he sets in front of me, uneven chunks of ice blob in a pool of reddish purple alcohol. I sniff the drink suspiciously. Tomorrow leave this time I smell a sharp, clean scent of gin with an undercurrent fermented fruit. Gin is not that good. The ones I have tasted at least, they're just pure ass alcohol. Don't have much taste. Well, more of a bitter taste. Maybe I just haven't had the right one. But gin's... Mm. Don't know about that. <laughs> dot dot dot. Relax, it's just a local specialty, plumbing. Although if you're feeling more adventurous, I shake my head. <laughs> Linda wraps his knuckles against the. I have tasted it and I do not like it. It's too bitter for me, I think. Well, I I say that, but I've like downed a whole packet before. I have t tried a whole pack of Gin and Toxic. I, I, it's not my taste, but I have drank a whole pack of it before. <laughs> By myself, I drank a whole pack. It's, uh, uh, don't question it. I sometimes just drink to drink. I may not like getting drunk, but I sometimes drink alcohol just to drink it. Alright, everyone, let's toast. Hurrah! A whole pack. I mean, like a pack. Like, you know how some soda comes into a pack? My auntie bought me a pack of can Gin and Toxic. It's a whole pack. I had like um, 12, 12 Gin and Toxic. Toxics? I know, I know I had 12 of them at least. Let me make sure to look it up because I remember. In Ireland, we have like 
we have you know how some beers can like beer bottles can come in like um in thingies well i'm sorry okay <laughs> i was given it and i just drank it i wasn't gonna complain okay and i don't go to bars too often Well, the next time I, next time I'll make it myself, and I'll see if I like it. <laughs> All right, everyone, let's toast. May Sazel stay in there. Herodiah be full. Bright adventures and discoveries. Cheers. Lean there, I ace, and Vera raised a glass in unison. Men only crosses their arms and chorus watches with polite indifference. Vodka cranberry. Sure, I'll do that next time. I might. <laughs> Whenever I do the Smash and Pass stream, I'll make it. Let's let's say that. Once I fit a reach affiliate, I'll go buy myself a vodka and cranberry. I'll make the drink, and I'll drink it next time I stream for the Smash and Pass stream. And you'll actually get my live reaction. <laughs> so. <laughs> I tip back my drink. The plungin is unwordingly strong, despite a sharp medical edge. It goes down smooth. One sip softens the edge of my vision. The next fades the thin crowd bar and the low, persistent murmur. I find myself a winding chord feels the first time in years. Aren't you the popular one, Selzal? I'm guessing you met Koras first. It would be more accurate to say I found him. He saved my life. I merely performed my duty as a doctor. Although I must admit that I was confused when I woke up messing all my clothes. Linda makes a choked noise somewhere behind him in size. It's not what you think. <laughs> so I was in grave condition. I could not only treat such injuries. Tattered to clothes. Yeah, that sounded really <laughs> that sounded really wrong. Out of context. <laughs> that sounded really wrong. The silence that follows stretches uncomfortably long. I look away unable to face Corpus disappointment. <laughs> and he got you here, snickering behind his head. That's my cue to change the topic. Uh, Karras is the one who saved me today. Don't you listen, I didn't save you, you're simply there. You still saved me, Min. I will fight you on this. That's Min for you. Linda reaches for Min, but they quickly duck under his hand with practice ease without so much looking his way. As rabble as they are, moody. You don't want to talk considering you're neglected him to warn him off the streets at night. Oh, uh, I might have gotten a little distracted. Men's only response is a short breath. At any rate, I never got the chance. I need get I never got a chance to thank you. <laughs> don't mind my stuttering. That's normal, men. Don't. The less soulless alive, the better. Or heartbeat. Men's eyes flickered uh, towards ice, and their lips twist. Ice is too busy nodding along to Veer's enthusiastic pantomime of stabbing to notice. Lost, no doubt, in in twirling discussion. I had enough of this hellhole. Let's go. Men and Gora share a brief look, then the doctor speaks up. Very well, but there's something I must discuss with Leander if you excuse us, Hazel. Okay, bye bye. I okay. Just to say, Lindor, Lindar, if you say my secret, I will punch you. You're. Because he's. Lean is the only person who knows about our secret, technically, right now. Well, technically, Ace kind of knows, but he doesn't know. Well, no, he can't. Yeah, he does know because we—he knows that we have a curse. So two of them kind of know. We're—we didn't tell him, but he has a—he—he he knows that we're not human, but we're not a monster. So all of them have a weird itch that something about us, I suppose. Aline is the only one that fully kind of knows an ace. Let me alone to save her my again in silence. Or, I think I, until I heard a so voice so soft and low, it's practically a purr. Lost your tour guide? I turned to find a crimson and bang eyes trained on me. It's not lost on me that they're too, they chose the instant the others left to strike. Just my luck! I had to be abandoned with the two most irritating people I've met to the devil day. Monsters or not. I think I think viewers knows 
If everything he knows, I don't know, he seems like he does, because he knows that we're not human or a monster, so I assume that Pierce knows that Ace is also a monster. I assume so, because he was able to sniff me out, right? Uh, monster not, there's no telling what I'll do if either of them push me again. Don't tell me, Lena. Don't tell me Linder's already snuck off to get his knob slobbered on the back. He's out. <laughs> Sorry, I don't know why that made me laugh. He's got business for us and men. Two on one business. Hm. Isn't he lucky? I don't, I don't, are they? I can't tell if this is Sean Payne or the company, but Veer has grown noticeably more relaxed. He sits with his chin prop. Uh, that, not that you say that. I assume. Well, we assume that Ace isn't a Solus because Solus are creatures that can't think for him themselves, right? That's what the Solus are. They they just attack. They don't really have a mind. So maybe that's why Veer hasn't like attacked him or anything like that. And I mean, even if you look, if you looked at Ace right now, you wouldn't assume that he's like, you know, you won't assume much except you assume that he's inhuman at least. I assume, but I assume is I assume Veer doesn't know that. And like I said, I have a theory that the soulless that he controls are just like people turned into soulless. If that makes sense. Because there's there's one that looks like a dog. So maybe someone brought their dog and was like, this dog is dying. Let them drink and the dog turned into a fucking soulless creature. That's at least my theory to why, like, Veer isn't killing any of the soulless that, like, Ace controls. Because what- how else would you know, right? What, what else would be the reason? Maybe some that he controls that are human can make themselves into a human form or something like that. Maybe if they were a monster, they can maintain the form they have. So, like, that lady, maybe that lady can maintain the human form she has, because maybe she was a monster previously. I don't know. Uh, my theory. <laughs> it's just a game theory, though. Uh, he sits with his chin propped on the back of his hand. He's ears twitch whenever a hic hiccup shakes his holder. Also, uh, a noticeable change that we know is that the soulless that he controls have red eyes. And the ones that we have encountered before the soulless that was attacking us had yellow eyes. So maybe Ver knows not to attack the like red eyed ones. And it seems like the And it seems like Ver is the one who just is patrol for the city. Because like Min said, there's patrols for the city. Maybe Ver is one of those patrols and he just attacks the soulless in the city, and I assume Ace's soullesses are in the his territory, which is outside. So maybe that's also could be a reason. If we don't, if we're not gonna go with the theory that they're actually human before, then maybe that's also just Ace knows not to go into the city, and Vera's like, "Don't go into the city, or I'll just have to kill all your people." He's like, "Okay." <laughs> it's just an easy agreement, I guess. He doesn't seem the type to go out and kill people. Uh, thing he's hunt. Uh, if anything, men seems the type to actually be be the type to go out and kill some because they're a hunter. Uh, yeah. Why are you so far away? Come join us. I don't know. I'm doing okay. He passed the empty bar stool beside my face, but I hesitate. The smile of your wears a sweet and so distinctly shy sly. And which drinks and mix, I dread how he and the ace will mix and mix with me next. We don't bite. Uh, debatable. Uh, I'm not sure about that. Just hours ago, he tried to rob me and you threatened me. Me? Still, surely you must be mistaken. Mm, you sure it was me? Oh, fine. They're, they're gaslighting me. <laughs> gaslighting. <laughs> they're gaslighting me. Yes, it was you and you had the gall to kick me out just so you could go drinking. He gives another one of his shrugs. I was lonely. Simpler answer than expected, but I guess I can't fault him for that. Veer certainly slumps forward. 
Goss armor? Slaves pulling where he rests his elbows on his sleeves. Sleeves. Cause yeah, he has a thing. Now I assume it's not actually for kinky things and it's just to, I guess, control him. Cause we don't know how monsters work fully. We just know in the beginning they're soulless. There's monsters that have intelligence and can control themselves like humans. And I assume these are the monsters that can control themselves and have mind and shit. <laughs> me neither. But, um. Actually, it makes me think maybe Ace's power is like mine. Why don't he. We don't know what the fucking spring is still. Is that his power? Is Ace power mind controlling people? And maybe be when he mind controls people, he can get rid of the fucking curses or whatever. We don't know much. I am confused. <laughs> Ace sets his hand veers waist, nearly preventing him from tipping off the counter. How about we start fresh? Begin begin with proper introductions. Get off the right foot and whatnot. I'll start. The name's Veer, Hunter Extranor. Oh, he's also a hunter. Veer's right hand flutters to his chest and he bows his head, flinching when hair falls into his eyes. Ace doesn't say anything, so it's supposed to be my turn. Um, uh, okay. Why not? Um, I'll be nice. Whatever it says. It's Sazzle. <laughs> I feel- I don't have a title. Sazzle the Cursed. Veer me, considers me for a long moment, his tail idly swaying behind him. Then he knocks back to the rest of the champagne. It's a pleasure to formally meet you, Sazzle. Why did you have to say my name like that? He says my name slowly and deliberately, savoring every syllable. Thanks, I suppose. Stingle jumps down my top and that spine. I turn my gaze away. He smirks at my reaction over the rim of his glass. Is something funny? No, no. I open my mouth and close as quickly as they want me to react. Going in into a ridiculous game again. While their sharp, like eyes keep me on edge, something about this tension is fun. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> MC. Oh my god. I love MC. I feel like I'm the type of- I'm quite similar. I like banter with people, you know? That's why I'm okay with people in my chat being <laughs> jokingly, like, insulting me, because I like the banter. I like banter, it's fun. It must be the gin. Or you just like banter. Banter is not bad to like with people. A flash of white over Ace's shoulder catches my eye. Across the bar, Chorus heads for a door. I don't see Lin, Lin there or Min, but it feels wrong to leave him without saying goodbye. I'll be back. Okay. Where are Hums and likes his fingers at me as I leave? What? This- okay, I- I don't know what- I thought- okay, never mind. I thought he did something fucking- I, don't, I thought- I, I, I couldn't imagine from my head in my mind. I was like, why is he wiggling his fingers at me? Then I'm like, ah, right. It's like to the loo type of things. I don't know why that was weird for me for a second. I, fuck, my god. Don't mind me. My brain is weird. Uh, yeah, I have a. I. I. Me. Not a lot of my friends, but with some of my friends, we have like. We can kinda make fun of each other a bit. Of course, as long as it doesn't go into. Uh, like awful territory because I would never do that but this is why I don't mind people making fun of my height because I am short. Apparently below average I have learned. <laughs> I, I thought I was average but no. Can't even say that anymore. As I'm near and caress. Oh. Oh. Uh, gah. I stammer. Shirts were checked by men with a neck thicker than both of my thighs. That might be false. My thighs are quite thick. <laughs> That is the truth. Uh, he stares down at me, nostrils flaring. Out of my way, shit stain. <sighs> Fuck you. <laughs> my words spill on my own. You watch it. And then that's not as a great of a comeback. He could have just said fuck you, but I forget them as soon as they leave my mouth. The fucking gun. Uh, the round, rough neck wheels around, shoving a bound hand out of the way so he can close on me. What did you say? 
<laughs> he shoves me backwards. Oh, uh, sending me tumbling to the sticky floor. I'm fine, but my heart leaves into my throat when I see the roughneck bearing down on me. You trying to start something here? No, not really. The roughneck freezes his fist crock cocked back. <laughs> my face is gonna be fucking bruised by the end of this. A group of pound hugs called by the commotion circle. I'm sizing him up. For what it feels like an agonizing long minute, the rough, <laughs> the rough necks looks from me to the bloodhounds. Finally, he sniffs and spits to the floor next to me. If he spat on me, I would have fought him. I may be short, but I will fight. Okay, I don't take disrespect by spitting on actual me. Okay, don't spit on me. Wait, good. No spitting on me. I would. I would. I hate spit, so I would have actually beat him. You may, I may not know how, but. Mm. The lot nearly misses my cheek. Oh, fuck you. Screw it. Too many freaks in this circus tonight. Well, fuck you. <laughs> and comes face to ace. A dangerous smile spreads across his face. He'll do. Ooh, huh? What happens next is a blur? What do you mean you'll do? Ace's fist crushes into the rough next jaw, causing an eruption of gas and shouts, even cheers around us. What did he mean you'll do? What does that mean? <laughs> is he gonna is he gonna take him to feed his soulless? I scramble to my feet right as the frantic frown surround swarms around me, cutting off my sight of everything and everyone. Through the rug as I hear a lander shouting. Hey hey hey, stick it outside. Ignore them, everyone look, drinks are on me. Dude, I would shit my pants if someone looked at me and said, You'll do. Dude, that's so scary. <laughs> if I was the roughneck, I wouldn't shit my pants, actually, though. No. <laughs> oh, that's- wow. I don't know why- that's- wow. That's- <sighs> oh, Sorry, <laughs> that shocked me. I don't know, I expect, like, someone else- I didn't expect fucking Ace to come in and be like, You'll do. Fucking- Fucking kills the guy. With those four words, the wicks. Oh my god. I know. <laughs> oh my god, the wicks. The wick erupts with hoots and hollers. The ring around me disperses. Bloodhounds and onlookers rush towards the bar. Through the tinting crowd, a conflict comes up to their faces. I haste behind the ship at the back, dragging the rough neck behind him. Oh no! I have a feeling he's not gonna come back alive. Curse lingers near the door, searching as if for any wound before he departs. Men draws their hood tight as they slip out the side door. A while Vera leans over the counter to swipe a glass of wine from behind the bar. And lean there, her seated at the opposite end of the bar, gestures dramatically and apologetically at the bartender. Ace is gonna feed that man to the fucking soulless. I have a feeling. I, I just think, right? What? Because soulless eat people. <laughs> He's gonna sacrifice a man. <laughs> that man could have actually been really nice. He could have just had a bad day, but no. Ace is like, yeah, I'm gonna take this one. <laughs> oh my god, oh, that's so funny. Oh my god, ah, oh, dude, you can't do shit in this bar. You can't be an asshole. You're gonna get feed it to the fucking soulless, apparently. In the space of a heartbeat, I realize there's no telling where. Or oh, if I see them ever, any of them ever again. <laughs> I mean, if anything, he's just- they're both drunk, so... That's so funny, though. <laughs> he's really, really saw me get hurt, and he's like, hmm, let me kill this man. I have a feeling Ace is gonna be- <laughs> gonna kill people <laughs> a lot more than I- if I go down his route. Well, whoever I pursue may be the last person I get to speak tonight and follow- Oh! Ooh, okay. Oh, options. Okay. <laughs> options. Okay. <laughs> I have a feeling that we can probably do any of this route because we're all nice to them, so... Oh my god. I mean, I, 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 I find being interesting enough. I feel like they're the type of character that, um... I mean, I'm not gonna pick Ming, but I feel like they're a type of character that is like the, um... Yeah, but I mean, it's gonna be the thing where they're gonna be like mean, but they're gonna be nice. 
type of thing. And maybe Min has a reason to be an asshole. We don't know much about Ming. Okay, I'm, I'm not gonna pick him. I'm just saying. We don't know much about him. Okay? We don't know much about him. So, I'm just saying. <laughs> that made me laugh. I'm gonna take a quick break. <laughs> I'm gonna take a quick break. Um. Also, this this that the, this whole okay. Wait, I wanna check something. <laughs> I need to check something real quick. Um. This just the prologue. Okay, the pro, like the beginning was around three hours technically. If I count also the other stream, more than three hours. <laughs> the beginning is three hours. We might only finish one route maybe. Well, d no, this is a demo. This, this is the demo, so we won't be able to go too far into each route. So, we'll actually be able to probably complete them more faster. I'm gonna, oh yeah, I'm gonna quickly go and take a break. I'm gonna remake my tea. I'm ready. I feel like, uh, before I go, uh, take the break, I am very interested to... Everyone else is very interesting, though. Ace is very interesting. Koras. Koras, we don't know much about him because we really didn't get to talk to him. Veer is very interesting to me because he is like a hunter, but we don't... Veer, Veer is just very interesting, I think. I don't know. I feel like he's hiding something. And Lindar is just sweet. <laughs> Lindar got flustered by us just talking, touching his fucking heart. <laughs> I feel like Lindar gets... um. Yeah, yeah, that's just what I was thinking. Ace, Veer, and Lindar are... I am very interested. Ace and Veer are very interesting, because we... we they're, Veer seems to be connected to the, like, the Sino place. Like, the Sino Biom. The Sino Biom? I don't know how to pronounce it. I don't know why you say Biom like that, but... It seems like he's connected to it, because he was, um... He was on a leash by a cleric type of person that worked there. Ace is just, we don't know what the fuck he is, we just know he is something, uh, and he controls Solus, and Leander is just a sweet guy. Uh, it's gonna be interesting. I'm gonna go take a break, and I'll get myself some, cause I'm, oh my god, my throat is dry. <laughs> right, I'll, I'll be right back. Um, we might go with, um, I don't know, it's gonna be a tough choice. <laughs> I'll be right back. <laughs>
happens a lot. <laughs> I'm back. I'm gonna. I'm not gonna play story. I'm eating, but um, that seems fucking a lot. <laughs> I don't know. I don't They're more cheaper for sure. I'm quite sure my dad buys an expensive type, but they're very cheap. Um, so <laughs> ten dollars. Goddamn. I, that's a lot. <laughs> Last time I remember seeing my dad buy cigarettes was like the expensive that I remember seeing was like five euro or box I suppose maybe even below that cigarettes are not that fucking well the expensive ones yeah but more of the cheaper ones are more cheap I have not finished my food <laughs> <laughs> I'm really bad with um eating myself. Um, the five, the five, um, the five bucks is not that bad, I think, in Ireland. I think that's pretty decent. Cause um, excuse me, I'm fucking eating. I think a lot of things are cheaper here. If I remember, let me see. If I remember which way it goes, but um. I remember, um, let me see, yeah, okay, <laughs> uh, and yeah, apparently, um, Yarrow is, yeah, okay, <laughs> I'm trying, eating, Apparently, if I were to give you, like, ten euro, like ten euro, it would can be like around ten. Um, oh, should you say it costed? A minute. Uh, euro two bucks is a is a, you'll get more if I if you uh, convert it. If I <laughs> if I'm doing that correctly. Ten sixty. Ten sixty would be um ten seventy. Apparently. <laughs> I'm trying to chew with my mouth open. And I'm not going to but mm. some good things. So good. I'm hungry. I wasn't eating. I didn't eat before this. Well, I did, but I'm. <laughs> I forget to eat afterwards. Oh, uh, it's okay. It's a. It's a sandwich that's been like toasted, so you know, like the pressure things that you put together. Inside, it's like sausages. I think there was cheese and um mayonnaise. Yeah, it's my good shit. <clears throat> Sausages, cheese. Well, that's like, um, it is. I'm eating this because I would forget to eat later on. <laughs> I have a bad habit of forgetting to eat. I'll eat before stream and then afterwards because, you know, I stream for like five hours and for me that would be like around 8 to 9 p.m. sometimes or 7. Like 7 to 9 p.m. for me. So I don't eat for like a whole five hours. Even when I go on breaks, I just go to the bathroom or get myself some tea. So I forget to eat all of the time. And then I have to eat at night because I don't eat and I only ate one meal. I blame my fucking not being able to tell if I'm hungry. Because I am, I, have, I don't know what the fuck it's called. I, I think it has a name for it, but I forget to eat a lot of the time because my stomach doesn't alert me. Until I'm like basically starving, and so most of the time I don't eat a lot because I don't think I need to eat, but I do need to eat, <laughs> but I forget to. <laughs> that's why I'm thankful that I'm still living with my parents, because that's why if I ever do move out, which hopefully will be in the future, I won't need a roommate because I am I will forget to eat. Um, the only thing I do good is hydrating myself. <laughs> Even then, I take sips. 
Yeah, it is. It just makes you forget that you need to eat. Basically, starve yourself by accident. I don't mean to do that, of course. Just a sucky thing. So then I can't, probably that's the reason I can't sleep also. I do have insomnia, but eating is, not eating, is not great. <laughs> I'm tempted to, when I get affiliate, I'm tempted to make a eat and drink button. <laughs> <laughs> have chat remind me that I actually have to eat and take care of myself. Mm. I used to be like that, actually. I used to be similar. I used to have like a lot of snacks in between when I used to eat. Um, for me now, my tea, my tea makes me. I guess my tea has the dopamine for me, I suppose. And so, I drink tea mostly. Also, a side effect of drinking tea constantly, you don't feel hungry, so that's an add-on. Yeah, I'm finished eating, though. Uh, oh. It's gonna be hard to decide. God damn it. Ace. We decided we're either gonna go with Ace, Ver, or Le Lean Deer. Fuck, you can't give me a decision like this. It's so hard. <laughs> All good options. Viewer seems like the type to tease the shit out of the person he likes. I mean, we already have, like, proof of that. Linder just seems like an honest guy, unless he's somehow shady, which would be upsetting. Ace is Ace. <laughs> what else do I need to say? Ace is an interesting guy. Because he killed, I don't, I don't think I am the reason why he killed the guy, but I'm probably like one of, I don't, I don't think I'm one of the reasons. I get, <coughs> <coughs> excuse me, oh my god. I suppose, but, uh, yeah, but he's interesting. To me, I think Ace is very interesting to me, and also I think all of them are not good people, and I think they're all doing something shady, probably. It's just a gut feeling of mine, though. Ace, though, Ace seems like an interesting storyline, in my opinion. I feel like it's gonna be a dark one. I think I mentioned that before, because it feels like it's gonna be like a weird cult type of thing. And that's like to be very wrong, and he turns out like a really sweet guy. I don't know. Uh, but, um, I do like Veer a lot, though. He's very interesting, also. <laughs> I can't pick. Uh, okay. We're gonna do all of them anyway. Okay, but. Okay. Hmm. Fox guy or the guy who got turned on from us feeling him his hand. That's, that's what I remember the mess. That's where that's what happened basically with Lean. We just touched his hand and he got fucking flustered as fuck. <laughs> I remember that the street he's like cause he's yeah, he fucking um Linda does seem easy to please. We literally just like touched his hand. He was like, "Oh, you know, your your touch is not the reason why I'm gonna die. It's because of how you're touching me, type of shit or something." He said something. I'm heavily paraphrasing. I don't remember. <laughs> Veer is also interesting because he Veer does not seem like a bad guy. I think he's just caught up into some shady things that he has to do for shit. Because he has a leash on, you know? So my predictions for Veer is maybe we'll help him like escape whatever the fuck dealing he has to have. Because it seems like he's wrapped into some shit. Like it really- because he got a fucking- as much as we were joking about him being kinky, I generally think he's just forced to do hunter work. You know what I mean? Because he literally warned us to be like, hey, don't go to the the Sino um, 
beams or you'll end up like me type of thing. It basically hinted at that. He's like, don't go there or you'll be like locked up type of shit. That's what it felt like. Because he's warning us basically. Lindir just seems like a... <laughs> he seems like... <laughs> he's a very sweet guy. Um... Okay, it's gonna be hard. <laughs> oh. Okay, wait, let's go with, okay. Let's go with Lindar first, because we met him second, and I did like him. And then we'll go with Veer. I do like Veer a lot, though. Veer, you're gonna be my mind. I'm gonna be thinking about you. <laughs> I'm gonna be thinking about Veer. I like Veer a lot, too. I caught my eye. Maybe because he's also a fox boy, but that's, that's beyond the point. <laughs> Why not Lindar? Uh, I'm gonna save again. Yeah, but I also- I am just indecisive. You see, I'm just indecisive as fuck. Okay, it's just because my indecisiveness sucks. I like both of them. Ver- Veer seems very interesting. They're all interesting to me, okay? You don't like Ming because Ming is mean, but I'm like, they're all are interesting to me. We also just don't know much about the story. <laughs> No, I just, I, it'll be back in my mind, you know? I won't be thinking of Veer while being with Lindor. <laughs> Whoa, I fucking misread your shit. Well, you see, I, they're all good. It's not about who I'll be thinking about. They're all just interesting. And I feel like we'll just get to know all of the characters anyway in Eva and story because they're intertwined. You know what I mean? I feel like if we'll pick V or we're also going to be associated by Ace and the others. I feel like Ace will be the biggest one we'll be associated with also. If we pick Ace, we'll be associated with everyone else. So I feel like we'll all get to know all of them in some way during each of the routes. Because they seem very intertwined all together. I mean, I'll, I'll go. I'll still go with Lindar because I feel like the moment has been very. The moment is very. The moment we had with him was really, weirdly very sweet. <laughs> it was really sweet. I don't know what else to say. That was a really sweet moment. Uh, and we can go back. We're gonna do all of them anyway. Uh, yeah, Lindor, why not? For a second time today, I find myself squeezing through a crown to reach Lindor. As soon as he sees me, his easy smile fades. Are you alright, Seth? I'm not used to someone looking at me with such an earnest concern. I've been through worse today. <laughs> From the sounds of it, you had a quite a day. How are you holding up? Yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna be honest. I don't know. I feel like... Uh, I, I want to trust Linger, but I don't, why are they all suspicious in some way? <laughs> I, uh, I, I feel like we can't trust Linder, right? He hasn't told everyone about our curse. But f but the thing is, I feel like everybody kind of knows about our curse. Ace knows about our curse because we want him. He's like, if I drink this, you know, will my curse be away? So he knows. Veer has a inkling, I think. He just knows we're not human. We're not a monster. Min, I don't think, knows. Koras kind of knows. I don't think Karas knows knows, but he kind of probably knows something is fucking up. Every character probably has an inkling, I feel like. Except the, um, except Ace and uh, Linder. And Linder hasn't told anyone yet, so I feel like we can trust him. So, you know, it could be better. Why not? Could be. I mean, yeah, we nearly got killed a lot of times today. Yeah, and that bad considering I've been threatened Robin and so close to die. <laughs> Close to dying too, many casting out. I should not. Oh, I should know not to let you go of my sight. How about the next time you want to see the city? I come along. It can be a personal guide. You didn't. You didn't see me, but I. You didn't see me, but I raised my eyebrow. <laughs> yeah, he. Yeah, he has a- he is, I think he's a possessive type of person. Just from the things he's been saying. I'm just saying. It's, that's not a bad thing, by any means, I'm just saying. The things he says, it's like- It's like the head, head, head tilting type of thing. <laughs> I'm like, hmm? What do you mean by that? You already helped me more than enough. Lean their singles for the bartender. I am parched, do you want anything? 
Ah, uh, how many times have I been drinking? God damn. Uh, sure, I'll have a drink. Something strong and simple. Adventurous, aren't you? I'm gonna have to keep an eye on you. Of course, you'll need to keep an eye on me. I lost count of many I have had. Deal. Once he's ordered, the lean deer turns back to me. I feel like he likes to drink, I think. He likes to make drinks, so I think he likes to drink. I just, I, I'm just guessing, though, at that point. Did you at least tr try it again, you good food? We got, like, some dough. <laughs> oh my god, MC is just like me, for real. <laughs> he only has some dough. <laughs> me and MC are sometimes twinning. I uh, had his fried dough sticks from a dungeon you here. <laughs> as soon as he began describing my meal, his eyes brightened with recognition. <laughs> the long lance from Wednesday? You gotta try them on porridge. <laughs> There's an under stall about a block away with some rosewater rice flour cakes. <laughs> Is that why you like him? Because <laughs> he's like you? Um, there's another uh, uh, rice cake. Stick one by and you'll think you've been transported to some high tone past in here. Past. Past. Past desire. Mm, the pasties. And bam, you open your eyes and it's the same trash blend street as always. When he laughs, his hair falls over his eyes. He shakes his head and pushes back. I'll show you sometime if you ever decide to stick around low tone, that is. Well, probably gonna be stuck here for a while to figure out how to get rid of my curse. The, air the thing is that's making me a bit, like, anxious is the dark romance part. Dark romance doesn't mean it's gonna be, like... I mean, it can be happy, but you know what I mean? It's not gonna be peaches and cherry. Peaches and cream. I don't know what you were saying. It is. So it's like... That's why I'm a bit not trusting of everyone. I like Lindir, but I'm... Everyone is a bit... Shady, I think. And I don't think I'm wrong to say that. Because of how the others have interacted with each other, I suppose. From no one's experience, but if you live anywhere here long enough, I suppose it becomes home. It seems like I'll be here for a while. Maybe I'll take you up on that. The bartender returns with a pair of glasses and pushes them our way. Cheers. Clink. I have my tea. Clink. He Lindard clinks his glass against mine. I take a deep sip of the malty dark ale, savoring its flavor. It was surprising finding out that you know all each other. I didn't think Eridaya would be so small. Do you know how many times I tried getting them all in one place? It's impossible, like trying to hurt a bunch of soulless. I take it you know them all. Depends. Was there anyone else you're curious about in particular? Oh, I can actually ask about them? Okay. Who should we ask about? Uh, can we ask about all of them? Or can we only ask about one of them? I'll, I'll pick one. And we'll see, I guess. What do you know about here? We have Shakes. <laughs> you don't like him. <laughs> His expression grave. We are a living example of. Oh, okay, no. In your way, symbion security. Most days they keep him on a short lease. I'm surprised you weren't into him. So, tell me what you make of him. I, f I can't be rude! Dude! What I hate when a game pre presents me with a shitty, like a mean option and a. Ha I want to be nice! <laughs> This is where, like, I don't like it being rude. <laughs> I guess I want to know more, I suppose. I don't want- that's just mean. <laughs> I don't- I don't want to be an asshole. I want to be nice to everyone, but... Uh, sure, I want to know more. I want to know more about him. When we all- he's mysterious, not just because the symbion uh, keeps him locked up. The way they treat him is just not right. Do you know why he's a prisoner? Robin knows he's been in prison for as long as anyone remembers, but whatever he did must have been awful concerning the punishments. I suppose. I yeah, I suppose, but like, you know how some g dating games there's I mean I I mean if you played dating games 
there's an option where it's just like, it's like, you're interested, and then their, their option is just being an asshole. I've seen so many times, and that's why I've, I don't like being mean. I wish dating games had a, like, a neutral option at least, because I personally just don't like being mean. They're fictional, but I don't want to hurt their feelings. Come on. <laughs> But uh, yeah, I don't think I don't think we're gonna go on viewers, which we did pick Lindir, so I swear if just because I'm interested in learning about more of these characters and I don't get with this guy, I'll be pissed. Uh he's been in prison for as long as anyone remembers, but whoever did has been awful concerned the punishment. He's charming, but like any monster he's dangerous. If you ever see him out hunting, you'll know what I mean. Leander swallows his class, choosing his next words carefully. Don't fall for his looks. Here we'll rip your throat out for fun. Okay, we can ask about everyone. Okay, good. I was- okay. We can ask about everyone. That's good. I'll go with Ace and see that I'm interested in him also. I, I can't- I believe that, but I feel like Veer has some sh like things that he is hiding. So I don't think this is fully true. I think Veer probably has like a soft side that he's just not showing. Oh, uh, sure. Ace. Nice. So, your friends are at Ace? Haven't for a while, but you're rarely in town. Where did you run into him? The uh, Sea Spring? Lever chokes in his train. God. <laughs> he coughs violently in his fist before giving me a surprised look. You went all, you went all the way out there? How did he treat you? Uh, I'm not gonna be. Mm. See, I also don't wanna, I don't know, I don't wanna give away anyone's secrets, you know what I mean? I think that's also why I'm being, like, kinda nice, is cause... We know a, a, like... T Ace has as much as he has on me, uh, we have as much as him on him, if he hasn't told everyone about his, what he does, you know? If, he, if he's keeping, like, his soulless cult, like, secret, he has, like, as much as he can hold over us, as much as we can hold over him. Because he knows that we have a curse, but we know that he's hurting fucking solaces. Uh, he was upfront, I suppose. He was honest. He told me how the Sea Spring's power comes with a heavy price. Losing your mind, becoming one of his funny brain cell pets. Brainless pets. Okay, so he does know. Okay. His boss before he speaks again. Does that sound worth it to you, Cecil? The only pets he has are soulless. Yeah, I know. I didn't mean like that. Ace has more respect and takes care of his own. For a moment, the deer stares deep into the bottom of his glass when he looks up again, and the circle under his eyes even seems even deeper than usual. All those red-eyed minions creep me out. Can we talk about someone else? <laughs> Leander, do you not like any of them? <laughs> it's okay, that's fine. Whatever. <laughs> Is he not liking it because I'm being nice to everyone? <laughs> I just- I don't- I don't want to be rude. I don't know. Uh, Min. Why not? Min's interesting. Not very forthcoming, though. Ah, Min. My favorite grouchy freelancer. What's your profession? Professional, then? Well, I guess they seem lonely, I suppose. I get the feeling they could use a friend. I think Min prefers to be alone. What makes you say that? I've known them since they were after Aaron. Iridea, and they turned down every attempt I made. Well, almost every attempt. Huh? Huh? History? What does he mean? They they slept together. I'm saying. I'm just saying. Now what? That's what that could mean. That's all. That's all that could mean. He said. He said. Um, I known them since the ride, and they turned down every attempt I made. Well, almost every attempt. That, that's hinting at something, and I think I think they fucked history. I think that that's what that means. He blushed. That's what that means. Not taking no for an answer. That's that's for sure what that means. He chose off to take a swig of his drink. Anyway, I'm just saying, if men want to be friend, you'd know. Kara, <laughs> do you know do you uh, you and Kara work together? Occasionally, did the mysterious. Uh, Man, a doctor catch your eye. <laughs> we aren't even dating him yet. <laughs> we, we, we haven't. <laughs> uh, 
Well, he seems like a good person. He seems like a good person, though it's hard to believe anyone's a good person these days. That's Chorus, he works hard to serve people of the long town. I mean, he has- the bartender did say that he has escapades, so he does have sex, I assume, decently enough. <laughs> or just has hookups. How did he- how did he get men? I'm just curious. <laughs> I'm very curious on how that happened. I like to know some history. How, how did he... Min does not seem the type to, like... Maybe... Uh, that's that's such... That's so interesting. God damn, that's really interesting. Holy shit. That's so interesting. I'm not gonna question it, but that's such an... That's interesting. That's interesting. Um, It's very interesting to me. If his bedside manner could use some more- Do you think he might be- I don't- Okay, I don't think they slept together, but that was- It's fine, it's fine. It's fine. <laughs> At this point, I have a feeling that Lindor has slept with everyone, and that's okay with me, but- Because sometimes these comments he makes, I'm like, wow. You go, you get around, dude. Impressive. I mean, it, Min is the most impressive because Min seems like a person that's hard to, I don't know, get into the bed with. I suppose. They think I might be able to curl my curse. I mean, there starts to speak and pause to consider me for the first moment. Curse is good, but he's only a doctor. Besides, unless you're actively dying, he'll make sure you wait in line all day like everyone else. And what about that about coffee shirt? Are you tired of standing? Let's find you somewhere to sit. Lander pushes away from the bar and beckons me to follow him. Okay. I guess we're doing that. He leads me to a small booth hidden in a nook of the bar. A pair of bloodhounds notice him and immediately leap to their feet, offering their seats to us. <laughs> As I slid down into the booth, a weapon of graffiti scarred into the booth's table to the table top catches my eye. The deepest grooves from the, form the outline of the dog from Linder's posters. Dozens of roughly etched names surround the drawings, some fresh, some well-worn. What is all this? It's a tradition. Wherever someone joins the bloodhounds, they have to drink with us, and then they crave their in their initial. The barkeeper must love that. <laughs> After the first year, she finally stopped charging me for extra damages. Two years and countless drinks later, she added her own name. Oh, that's kind of cute. You're now planning on recruiting me, are you? He quickly shakes his head. Now yeah, you need time to think about your path. Yeah, I need to figure out if I'm gonna die <laughs> or not. It's gonna be interesting to see how these characters try and help us, I suppose. Or it's gonna be a thing where we have to pursue that by ourselves while dating the character. Because uh, it has said that we're like on a tick, we're basically a ticking time ball. We're gonna die soon if we don't cure this curse. Okay, I assume that the curse takes up the hands and then maybe it takes more of the body. It feels like that's the type of the curse it is. Do you know what you're gonna try next? And the question gives me pause. I take my hands out of my cloak and rest them on the table. Do you think you can help me? Of course, we're gonna find answers together. Lean there starts to reach for me as though meaning to take my hand before stopping himself. His eyes flicker to mine. I'll fail, Lucy Hazel. And if you ever need a taste of normalcy, I'll always be here for you. <laughs> my chest tightens in the memory of touching him. Even now? In there swallows, the table grows under his elbows as he leans forward. Oh! <laughs> Already so close! God. We did not have to do much, did we? <laughs> You know, I, I see that he is very easy to please, I guess. <laughs> completely blocks my view of the bar counter. Someone says, don't lean there, and I'm completely alone. That's what you want. How did you make you How did it make you feel? Are you talking about touching my hands? I suppose, I think that's what you're talking about. Well, warm and exciting. I don't know how to describe it. Then there rests his hand on the table, and he looks at me, smiling when I place my hand in his. At this point, I feel like we're basically dating. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I'm not gonna I'm not gonna question this. Slowly he begins on why the bandages stopping ever so often to glance at me. As my skin becomes visible, I cast a nervous glance on the bar, but as far as I can see no one is paying any attention to us. 
Lindor squeezes my hand gently. No one will notice. Sure. He pulls back, raising his hand to his mouth so he can tuck his glove off with his teeth. The muscles in his forearm tighten as he flexes his fingers. Okay. Ours meet and Linder offers his hand again. There you go. Hand holding on the band. Love forms my throat. I'm certainly Linder. Linder? Lander? Linder. Linder sees it in my face, a flicker of desperation. His voice lowers to a whisper. Anytime you want, Cecil. I can't touch his face! Oh, is that gonna kill him? It's, okay, wait. The red options are like special things, right? Because what if he casts like magic on his hand so that. <laughs> I'm nervous. I'll touch his face. I'll touch his face. Okay. Deep breaths, deep breaths, deep breaths in, deep breaths out. Oh, I'm not ready. I'm not prepared. I am not prepared for this. This is so soon. Imagine if, like, he just fucking just revolts. He just thinks it's disgusting. Okay, special dialogue. I'm nervous. Ooh, okay, we're doing it. I blurt out the first request that comes to mind. Like, can I touch your face? Oh, sure. Okay. I was. I thought I was gonna get rejected. Oh my god. I have slow standards. Wow. <laughs> uh, I lean over the table, hesitating before I reach for his face. While my fingers uh, gaze his jaw, then lean there laughs softly. That tickles. It's fine. You can just... He takes my wrist, angling my hand so he can press his hand into my palm. Warm spreads on their fingertips, and spreads breath escapes me. Gently, I rub my, uh, thumb, uh, rub my thumb down the ridge of his scar on his cheek, and he shudders, his earrings jingling against my knuckles. You're getting awfully bold. It's just my hand, dude. <laughs> Calm down. Uh, I wonder... I do know that there are a lot of dating games have like friend like options where you can just become friends. I wonder if maybe this is... I, I have a feeling... I don't, maybe, I feel like because we like let, like we touch his hand more, maybe that's why we have a red option. I don't know if this would have popped up if we just let his hand go, if we decided to be like an asshole. I never touched something like this before. I even thought, even though it makes my head spin, it's already not enough. I want to be closer. Oh, are we gonna fuck? <laughs> my head uh, harmers, filling my ears with a pulse that grows unbearably loud until I pull my hand back. Are you alright? I can barely hear his word over my pounding ha heart, but I managed to nod. Yeah, I'm fine, sorry. Things are just getting a little dizzy. The last time we- oh, wait. I don't want to suspect anything, but I- wait. Last time we also got dizzy, right? I, I don't know if this is us getting nervous or is something Lan Lindir doing. I don't want to be suspicious of him, but I'm just saying, this happened last time. And sure, like the last first time, okay, I could understand, but I'm not gonna. No, no I'm not gonna question because I, I okay. It's I don't know if it's other MC just being very nervous or Lendir is doing something. I don't want to accuse him of anything but it's like the first time i would i was like yeah mc is just getting nervous but this is the second time this happened yeah I, i'm glad i'm not i'm glad i'm glad i'm not the one who was like suspicious of it i think i'm getting a little dizzy he gives me a gentle smile i creaking at the edges you've had a long day you deserve some rest luckily your room is just upstairs want me to walk you back I shake my head and begin wrapping my head up. With each deep breath, my f head feels more clear. Yeah, that wouldn't that wouldn't happen if it's just like being nervous. Like even when I get nervous, my brain just doesn't like. I don't know. I'm fine, but thanks for well everything. Remember what I told you: if you ever need a break from the chaos of the city, I'll be here for you. When I rise, Lindir gives me one last smile. Good night, Sazel. Night. It's also, like, 
like I said, I don't mind the possessiveness because possessiveness is nice in a person time to time, as long as it's like healthy possessiveness. But then there's, mm, I don't know, it's, it's interesting, huh? <laughs> I tread up the stairs, but even as I leave Linda uh, behind, the warmth of his skin link still lingers in mine, burning through damp bandages. Oh! Oh, shit! <laughs> oh, shit! <laughs> okay, I didn't expect this dream. Um, we're going Linda. I assume if I pick any of these guys, it's not gonna work, huh? Well, yeah, we're going Linda. That's interesting. But I, I'd like to do all of their scenes beforehand in the thingy. So yeah, I'm gonna offer... Well, I'm, I don't think I want to sit... Yeah, I'm not gonna use this. I'm gonna use the... When we had a choice to pick between people. Yeah, okay. Let me see. This is a choice between people. I know! <laughs> I feel like I'm gonna die. A taste of oh, no, almost a few of your curse. The first thing that's done to touch you could change your life, but something just not you could chew. Heroic? We can I wanna really I wanna read their shit. Cause like okay, I can. The change charlatan. We are serious as a warning of the dangers posed by the symbiome. As a cunning person as he is curious. Veer finds you fascinating, says that he can help, but trusting means entrusting your life to a collar beast with a lethal reputation. Can Veer protect you or use honeyed words, a trap waiting to be waiting to snap shut? The demon r renegade, an attempting a laid back outsider, a presides over a sea spring with unnerving powers. He offers you a miracle, but the price means submitting yourself to the horrifying presence at the heart of the spring. I know. <laughs> I am an anxious savior. I save way too many times. Will you gaze into the abyss for answers even at the risk of losing yourself? <laughs> this is everyone, right? Yeah, Chorus, Lindar, and Veer. Mm, yeah. I, feel, it feels, I think it feels a bit weird because it feels like there should be more characters, but no. Uh, the cursed outsider, despite their cold nature and familiar violence, men is just desperate as you to gain Sylvan. See, this is why he. This is why men is interesting. Are they also cursed? Because it says cursed outsider. You may be able to help each other, but they're keeping as many secrets as you. They claim they're dangerous, but they could be your only chance of getting to see Nubium. That's that's so interesting. Oh my god. That's uh, so okay. So we're not the only cursed person. Well, we'll go with Lindar because we got in a little cute moment with him. Uh, sure. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh, that was fast. Holy shit. Okay. That's fine. Okay. Uh, I want to see the other then. Okay. Uh. Okay. Let's load here. I want to see all of their scenes together. How long is how long has this been? Let me see. Three hours. That's not too bad. Okay. We got Lynn there, so I guess we'll go to Veer or here. Oh, let's go to Veer. Of all the people met, only one left me with more questions and answers. That makes sense, that's where the demo would uh, leave, I suppose, because then, yeah. Yeah. If you knows more, then he's letting on. I'm sorry. That's me and MC have big brain! I Vera has something else that he's not telling. I'm certain of it, and he's feeling as playful as he was earlier. I might get information out of him. Still. Lingering doubt looms heavy over my decision. Can I really trust someone who lies so readily? Hmm. Uh, personally, that would be good on your side, though. Returning to the bar is slow work with a heavy crowd vying for drinks. <laughs> when I fly to here. Also, I do think we're gonna have a bit of a dark moment with India. This is just, uh, I think. This is just my hypothesis. I feel like the good ending is gonna be, like, good, of course. But I feel like a darker ending is maybe him, like, being overly possessive 
because we've seen like very small hints and I'm not saying possessiveness is bad but we've seen very small hints of already possessive behavior and he also has been like like I said it's interesting he's been doing something to us I think that's at least my opinion of course uh, I think he's doing something to us I don't know what but he's doing something and it could go in that direction because this is a dark romance so dark isn't lame so the feeling is gonna go it could go down that direction if we go into a bad ending that's at least my hypothesis for the bad ending for Veer I feel like for Veer's bad endings it's just gonna be like him not trusting us and so he like rats us out or something and so we're imprisoned that's just I think that's an obvious one but maybe it's not I don't know when we find Veer he's leaning against the counter with elbows propped at the edge a wine glass raised to his lips now for the first time I catch myself staring and judging by the looks I see thrown his way I'm not the only one yet there's a clear ring around Veer no one else seems bold enough to cross once you're perked at the sound of my approach but Veer doesn't look as as much as my way, even when I slide onto the seat beside him. I assume we have a distinct smell. Because he said we smell not human, but uh, not um, <laughs> not monster. So um, maybe we have a distinct smell to us that we can't smell. I didn't think you planned on sticking around. A uh, free drink's a free drink, even if it tastes like rat piss. I can I can admire that. <laughs> <laughs> free food is free food, you know. Free drink is a free drink. Didn't you say? Didn't you say you be, wouldn't be caught dead slumming in the shit hole? He takes a delicate sip from his glass, but he still trashes below the bar. You've caught me red-handed. He peers at me over the rim of the glass in the low light. His eyes glitter a jewel, bright with amusement. Plus, oh, I, I, where the fuck did I get the plus from? How will you ever punish me? I figured my com companion, my com company, not companion, comp company's punishment enough for you. Your lips twitch and he smiles despite himself. So, you will survive the night. Are you here for the praise or a head tattoo? <laughs> I feel a muscle in my jaw flex with a cruel twist to his smile. Uh, his arrogance has made a full recovery, meaning only one thing. Fear has sobered up so much for my plan. Oh, well, how about that? Turns out you're right. I did run into trouble. Now I can't decide if you're an oracle, an actual threat, or completely full of shit. That was very honest of us. Wow, MC, you're very honest there. That was that, I did not expect so much honesty. <laughs> he said you're either an oracle, you're a threat, or you're a piece of shit, <laughs> or you are full of shit. Beer scoffs. Most men would buy me a drink before insulting me. After the way he jerked me around, if anyone's on a drink, it's me. We are full so impressed and okay. uncharacteristically quiet that for a moment I fear I've actually crossed the line. Then he props his chin on his wrist. I don't think you understand how things are around here. Information is luxury, one you flung you one you flung carelessly side. I'm not following. <laughs> if you valued my word you're taking them seriously. I gave you free advice, warned you of the danger you and you still went prancing off to sea spring. Small warning there the soul was didn't tear you to ribbons. My first impulse is to argue what he said doesn't sit with me well. How does he know what happened to me? Ace. I feel like they're Ace. Uh, that's the thing. I think Ace and... Ace and Veer's story are gonna be not similar, but I feel like they're intertwined a bit. For some reason. That might be just a gut feeling for me, but I feel like their stories are weirdly intertwined. If you know what I... I don't know. I don't know why. It's just... I don't know. Their stories seem so... Like, I feel like if we go one, like, through Aces or Veer's route, I feel like we'll get to know a lot about the other person a lot. I don't know, it feels like they are somehow in this together in a weird way. I don't know how to describe it. Maybe because he's a hunter and, um, and Ace is like a soulless. No, he's not a soulless creature, but he controls soullesses. What souls? <laughs> uh, I'm gonna be honest with him, I think. Maybe, that'd be interesting. Maybe. 
That that would be that's that would be an interesting thing. Hmm. Well, we'll see. How did you know I left? Sorry, it wasn't your fault when I left. I have a very sensitive nose, remember? Right, how could I forget? Do you normally greet people by shoving your nose into their laps like a over eager Labrador? Or heartbeat first cries grow for the wild and flat. And he laughs under his breath. Only the ones I like. <laughs> I fear traces them to God. <laughs> <My God. laughs> I always like how I go silent after a character flirts in a. <laughs> I don't expect it. <laughs> for a long abandoned tumbler sweating beside him, soft lumps of ice bob in a watery. <laughs> Drinks of whiskey. But the truth is, I despise most people. His eyes flicker over my shoulder and then a lean deer's posture's laughter erupts from the other side of the bar. What about me? Now that we started off the right foot. Hmm. He turns, angling so he can look me over his gaze, I can honestly slow as it glides over me. We didn't like flirt with him for a bit, so I'm not too surprised. But it's still surprising each time. Finally, his lips quirk. I haven't made up my mind about you yet. The start or as old, I think. Until his eyes slide away, he turns back onwards to the bar. It's not Veer's attitude that bothers me. No, I expect, expected that of him. It's the fact that I've got no idea how I'm supposed to hold a conversation, much less get answers when he's so testy and his mo foul mood is infectious. Did I do something to piss you off? He lets out a short breath. No, not a lie. I'm close enough to catch a subtle bristling of his tail. I'm just disappointed. People like us can't help but attract danger. Yet you seek it out for what? Cheap thrills? I wasn't trying to eat by the solace. That's something I'm looking for. And you think men can help you? Like, being near? Are you really willing to risk your life with those dipshits? See, that's why I feel like they have weird secrets. Like, everyone else has a weird secret about them. <laughs> what life? You got no idea what I've gone through or... Oh, forget it. I start to rise, but... Veer oh, touches my shoulder. It's more than a brush, <laughs> brush, but enough to give me a pause. His eyes search mine, softer somehow than before. Well, they couldn't even begin to understand you, but I could. I could help you if you only need to listen. How do I know I can trust you? You don't, but I'm slightly less inclined to waste your time with empty flattery or insults than those two. Is that why you really? Is what you desire really worth risking your life for? If you knew what kind of life I lived, you wouldn't be asking. You would consider the consultation sweating from his glass for a long moment before speaking again. Will you trust me? Sure. Well, you know, whatever. <laughs> sure, yes. Yes. I nod, and he rewards me with a smile. Good. He raises the tumbler to me and the back snaps back to dreads. Once he's finished, he wipes his mind on the back of his hand. Let's talk outside. I have, I have to smell <laughs> Linder's gunky aftershave for much longer a hurl. With that, he slips away from the bar, leaving me to follow the path of his long trailing tail through the crowd. Mm. It, or, I have a feeling maybe Linder did something? I don't know. Maybe Linder, I don't know. I don't know, I don't think Linder would have made Veer go to the... S Sinbrium. But I don't know. All of them are interesting because it feels like there's more to them. Which I guess that's the point of the characters, but each character feels like they're hiding something, which I guess that's the point. It's so cold outside the breeze cuts clean through my bandages, freezing my fingers, but if the chill bother is fear, he doesn't show it. He loops uh, purposely down the street and alley. This is far from the wick. The bar's racket is a little more uh, than an indistinguent hum. The streets as dead as the district was crowded, yet did Vera want privacy or no witnesses? <laughs> you had a question to ask. Vera's breath mists in the dark in the moon cold moonlight. Shadow stretches unnaturally long over the cumble cobblestone street. Quickly I got to show to attend. Heavenly lattice, as I am sure I've mentioned. He looks down his nose at me, effortlessly see previous with one hand to sit on his hip. And for a breath, I reminded of the stark want that gleamed his eye when he touched me. Hmm? <laughs> if it weren't so pretty, I walk away. <laughs> eh, understandable. But I need answers, and I can't think of a better than starting with the people I met earlier. 
I guess we're getting oh we're good to, uh, probably gonna get to know everyone from each person's side. If Veer doesn't prove trustworthy, maybe one of them will. First I ask about okay, it's gonna be interesting. I wanna know about Lindar. Cause he had interesting things to say about him. What do you think about Lindir? I don't. I don't usually could answer for Veer. I don't mind it. So you're not very fond of him? I won't spit on Lindir if you were on fire. Veer suffers. <laughs> Oh no, he enjoyed that far too much. To call Linder trash would be an insult to Manor. He's a pathetic, slimy little man child in the big shiny shoes. I've seen mutts running in gutters with more dignity. I have to remember to close my mouth. Oh my god. That's very interesting, huh? It's gonna. I like learning about. I love these characters. <laughs> I know! <laughs> yeah, you did. I feel like I missed a special option with him because we had one of the deer. It's fine. I think I'll, I might look it up like in, if there's any special moments with him. Because we had one with um. We had one. But I don't think I fucked up his encounter though, because I feel like I played his game decently. Well, that's fine. Uh, of course. Why don't you ask you about Kur- I regret speaking since I start. Ooh. Vera's mentioned Kurs before, though not by name. His reaction last time was nasty, but I can't make that now, and that would be irritating <laughs> me suspiciously. About the doctor, Kurs. It turns ready for blowbacks, but Vera only flicks his hand dismissively. Bit of a bore if you ask me, but he's popular enough. You know, on account of his massive heart. He winks as though he's distressed. <laughs> he's heart was so suggestive. <laughs> There's always a line wrapped around the block for his services. People can't seem to get enough of his special medicine. What do you mean by that? Probably because he doesn't charge anything. First tail gives an impatient twitch. Or they're eager for a little mouth to mouth with their their pelvic examinations, if you know what I mean. When I grimace, <laughs> sorry. When I grimace, <laughs> Vera grins wolfishly at me. There's clear no point in asking him about anything else about Kuros. Ace, I'd like to know more about Ace. You seem to used to seem close. He made an impression. Hm, not surprising. His strong, ruthless, easy on the eyes gives it almost as well as he takes it, even if he's awfully greedy. Have all of these people slept with each other? <laughs> Big ever, really. Oh! Bit simple, but you know what they say about still waters. I don't, but I'm too distracted by the change over here to ask. <laughs> so they have fucked each Everyone has fucked each other at this point. You know, I don't mind, but <laughs> Veer seems to have a crush on Ace. A quiet smile plays on his lips as he winds a finger around the chain dangling from his collar. I thought you didn't like most people. Ace isn't most people. He's better. He. Ooh. Our's eyes meet and Veer's tender expression curls. He makes a tiny sound of distaste in the back of his throat. He's more trouble than he's worth. Dangerous to stiff over him and those red eye freaks if you value your safety or your sanity. Hmm. <laughs> That's okay. That's interesting history. Veer has a crush on Ace, I assume, or he has like some attachments to him. Veer seems a person that doesn't like to show his true emotions. I, that's, I think, obvious. Huh, that's curious, huh? <laughs> That's very curious, huh? I swear, if we get cucked in this fucking route, I'll be upset. <laughs> I'm just saying, if I play through Veer's route and I don't ever get with him, I'll be very pissed. <laughs> I'm gonna be quite pissed if I'm honest. Is that why you scolded me for going to Sea Spring? I don't really think Ace is as bad as you're saying. You don't know him, not like I do. Of course. The corn of slips twitches. Before I can ask my quest question, Veer grips and frustrated growl. Don't you dare ask me about another soul. I haven't got all night for I eat all gossip. But I wasn't finished asking. Oh! You got two more questions, make them count. 
So much for being helpful, but I suppose it's just how information works in the ex exhausting city. No more time for idle chatter, I'll get to the point. Lavender told me the... Okay. Well, I didn't get to ask about Ming! <laughs> wait, wait, let me... <laughs> I know! I, t I swear to god. Did I... Did I not save? I did. Okay, good. Uh, Ming. I got to admit, I was surprised to see that you and Ming know each other. Are you friends? Oh yes, we laugh, we go shopping, our sleepovers where we braid each other's hair and kiss with a little tongue. Thank you to make you wonder if you ever had a friend. Let me guess, you don't like them. Can't stand them. The first time we met, they stabbed me. S -s slid of cold, hard steel between my ribs. Nearly nicked my heart. It was exquisite. The knife, I mean, sort of antique. Men's done nothing but disappoint me ever since. So you're not close. Can you imagine me friends with that crabby little killjoy? Impossible. Not unless they like, learn to lighten up. And I'm afraid not even a surgeon as practiced as Koraz could remove this thick wedged fine firmly up mince spread ass. <laughs> okay. Let me... Okay. Okay, I'm actually curious. I'm gonna save. If maybe I have to... Okay. Go... Oh, no, wait. Go back. Wait, not him. Let him, let him, let him. I, I think so too. I think, um... I think they... Let me skip this. I'm actually curious. Curse in there. Oh! oh what the fuck? Oh, there's a new dialogue? What the fuck? Wait, 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 wait. Linder's a moaning fool with a throbbing victim complex. Oh, no, no, okay. Okay, no, no. Okay, that's okay. No, no, I missed. Okay, that's fine. No, no, no. Okay. Okay. He okay. He just doesn't like uh, talking too much. But okay. Lander told me the symbiote person's view that he mean you. Lander's a moaning fool with a throbbing victim complex. He loves to see himself as savior, but only difference between his croonies and the senior bum's students are the uniforms. Ooh, excuse me. I have a loss for words. I don't know what to surprise me more, the bluntness which with what which we are spoke or the venom lacing is a woodenly silken voice. You're asking who when you should ask me why, says the asshole counting my questions. The look he throws me is if you're actually self satisfied. Fine, why were you in prison? For the same reason they'll disappear. You're given half the chance of something special. Veer bows his head, gathering his hair in his hand, lifting from his shoulders to bear a plain leather collar adorning his neck. MC, if you haven't seen this before, I'll be disappointing you. It's right there, in front of us. See this collar? He cranes his neck, inviting me to lean all, no, closer. Looks unremarkable, doesn't it? I had assumed that Veer's collar was a personal touch. Uh, I'm closer to ends, the thick, uh, supple leather is molded to fit his neck snugly. But the large silver buckle seems easy to pry open. Oh, I assume there's gonna. Oh, okay. I oh, assume. Okay. I assume there would be an option here if we got more closer to him. I don't know how you would do that though. Hmm. I don't know. I wish for it to touch the buckle, but. Oh. Vera's hand lashes out. Long, slender fingers wrapped around my wrist, exerting just enough pressure to hint at how easily he could smack my bones. <sighs> Don't you know better than to touch what I'm asking? He touts like a scolding teacher, but an impish smile gazes, graces his lips. Okay. Me. Maybe that's not it. Maybe. We'll see. Can I, please? Your eyes meet his tin with amusement. No, you may look, but don't touch. Okay. Yeah, let's go my hand. Uh, I smoothed down my bandages more enough to grip them than anything. I can't lose my composure again. By now, I'm fully expecting Veer to begin walking away, but the fact that he still suggests that he either forgot about his warning or he was never counting my questions to begin with. Are you saying that what? That's what happened if someone finds out I'm different, I'll be colored? Doubtful. They keep me around because I'm best at what I do. And what exactly do you do well? Killing. Understandable. He says it curiously without hesitation. As long as I wear this collar, I'm made to hunt symbionts, dizzying array of enemies, monsters, soulless, noisy dissidents dis 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 who grow overbold, 
Okay, so he's not killing Ace for a reason then. He likes him. <laughs> I mean, yeah, that's that's obvious. He fucking blushed when he talked about um Ace. I have a feeling that's what I feel like he doesn't want me to be near him because he's just jealous. I mean, he could be honest about like nah. I mean, I feel like he's honest about like you know you you should keep your sandy, but he's also I don't know he likes him. It's kind of obvious. <laughs> Damn it, he was blushing and all. I'm bound by their by their will until I the day I die. That's awful. If your mom is in agreement. It is, isn't it? And that's all you're getting from me. I really must leave now, I'll be late. That's it. Why'd you bring me here if you were going to explain anything? He has a nerve to laugh. Is it now obvious I want to lure you out here alone so I could eat you? Well Okay, I'm not that yummy. <laughs> you're lying then. And you're asking far too many questions for someone hiding so much. He sneers and effectively I show my hands deep in my cloak. What makes you think I'm hiding anything? Oh, I don't know. Maybe it's the tough cact or the way you tense up at the slightest provocation. More likely it's the band is not exactly subtle. Hmm. I'll be going unless you're willing to share more morsels with me. There's a bitting edge to his playful tone. I can't tell you anything. Wrong. You can start with what you are. Take ba step backwards, but... Ooh. My back hits a wall as Veer follows me into lockstep. I turn only to find his left hand resting on the wall behind, beside my head, caging me in. Wow. Really pinning me, huh? Veer reaches for me, his fingers curl around my chin and left me forcing to meet his lid at a gaze. Would you believe me if I said the eyes are the windows to the soul? My eyelid twitches. Cliche, I know, but let me tell you a little secret. Veer lends it until his lashes tickle my cheek and the warm, faintly spiced scent of his hair drowns out the stench of greasy cooking fires and chimney smoke. There is nothing you can hide from me. Ooh. His voice is low, so someone's not gonna slip into it. The betrayal, the lost of hope, the sheer desperation drives you still to search and search to no end. I could give you something new to live for. <laughs> I swallow thickly. How could he possibly know? That must be some kind of trick. But for once, Vir isn't smiling. All that suffering has made his soul so irresistible. His piercing eyes pin me to the spot. The look on his face makes my blood run cold. I've seen it before. The traveling through the wastes, the lanterns would occasionally reveal carcasses picked up by starving scavengers whose eyes shone in dark with a ravenous hunger. Vir takes a shuddering breath. You're trembling. What if... What if you and I went somewhere quieter alone? <laughs> huh. Huh. I feel like I have to resist him, right? If I surrender there, I'm not gonna, I feel like I'm gonna die, right? Well, we'll save and see. What the f Okay! <laughs> fine. Let me fine. I'll save. I'm gonna die. We're not gonna- This is not getting laid as you- th Fine. Whatever. It's fine. We'll pick the bad option first. Sick of running, of hurting, of suffering. So surrendering completely is the easy thing I've done. I, uh, ooh, ooh. Before I can finish, Vera hushes me, a gloved thumb, a grun across my lips, bringing the taste of leather when it dips into my mouth. He bends closer and closer. Ooh. Through the gauzy veil of his hair, I see shadows spread in wars of smoke. Eddies of darkness peeling off the walls and blooming to blot out the moon. I mean, yeah, but I. F oh, it's fine, whatever. I don't think it's a good option. I think you might be one of those scavengers people. Sensation flees with light, leaving me numb to everything except the sudden pressure of the hand tightening around my throat. <laughs> and you were saying? <laughs> Something snaps and the bitter tang of copper floods my mouth. Bear's lips crushes mine, he swallows the reedy tread of my final breath. This time, death comes swiftly and permanently. Uh huh! Mmm! 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 Who was right, huh? <laughs> Who was right? Hmm? Who was right? Tell me. You aren't gonna die. I, I am. I am. I, f this is what happens when you succumb to the horny, okay? You're the one who said surrender. Okay, it, it lets me go back here. Resist him. Oh, 
Okay. I, I yes, I, I mean, whatever. Your light, the lustest. Shame. He eases back, and for what it feels like the last time he cornered me, a brief, my relief is short lived. His nimble fingers stroll down to my jaw before closing over my throat. The touch is feather light and teasing, but my pulse still leaps. One last thing, says all. Spoken so softly, the pound of my heart nearly drowns out those words. Call me dog again, and I'll break you, understand? When did I call you dog? Did I call him a dog? Did I call him a dog? His lips grow, but there's no humor in his voice. Yes. Good. Did I call him a dog? <laughs> Sometimes the word. Did I? I probably did. I just don't remember. I. Words go out of my brain. I think. Sink against. Ah! Uh, right. Yeah. Sink against the alley well to catch my breath. He looks down and makes his expression to see me smug. Let's get on this thing straight. I ate monster tea times just size for breakfast, too, actually. The first taste is dreadful, like a fisherman's old ashtray, but that's beside the point. You and I may be alike, but never don't forget what I am or what I do best. He flashes me a dazzling smile. Sazzle? Anyone seen Sazzle? It's fine. Eleven doors, voices. I, I, I've said, I feel like we would have had the red option. Maybe we just didn't do his thing. No, it's fine. Then his voice echoes from the direction of the wick. I whip around. I nearly called back before remembering Veer's apparent distaste for Linder. I glance back at Veer. Only he's gone, vanished into dark. I'm left in a deserted alley, trembling with delirious mixture of exhaustion and excitement. Fuck. <laughs> I let out a long, shaky exhale that consists in the freezing air. Only once, my racing heart beats slow, so do I make my way backwards towards Wick, guided by the distant sound of Lindir's voice. Okay. If I press this, I assume. Yeah. I wonder... Okay. I wonder if I... Let me look it up, actually. I do want to see. Uh, Veer... Uh, touch... Starved. Oh! Also, Veer is 5'10", apparently. Actually, I want to look up uh, men's heights to see if I'm shorter than them. I'm curious. I'm curious! <laughs> um... Okay, so they call men short, but I am shorter. I, I, men is 5'6", or 168 centimeters. <laughs> Guess what I am? 5'4". <sighs> oh my god. So that means MC is like... Probably like around 5'8"? I suppose because men was shorter than they thought or something like that. Stay away. I wanted to. Okay, yeah, so I knew I was shorter than men. It's, uh, it's Not many characters are short like me. Okay, I want to see, um, fuck, I want to see, okay. okay, I'm gonna quickly see a video and see if there is a option that I missed. I'm gonna put down the, what you do? Actually, oh yeah, I'll show the screen. Um, let me put the game down. Oh, that's me. <laughs> I put myself down. Uh, uh, I want to see. Do, do, do. Shall I went left? So I was right. Uh, there does like Ace in some way, which is interesting. I guess I could just make a play. I wanna... Because I, I probably... There was a red option when Leandor, and I assume that's because I was nice to him. 
So <laughs> Oh my What? Really? Wait, 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 I need to fucking look this up. Re holy shit. Dude Holy shit. Dude, I'd look like a fucking little little baby. I look like a baby compared to him. I'd be a little baby. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> wow, holy that wow. I'm shocked. Now I wanna see all of their height. Yeah, this is yeah, okay, showing. Uh touch holy Jesus fucking Christ. Uh wiki. <laughs> I don't want to know what it means to be touch starved. <laughs> I just didn't do that the game. Um, I get a wick. Uh, my characters. Okay. Um. Hmm. This is this. Okay. Hmm. <laughs> um okay. Well, fuck. Uh okay, so Vivier is 510, I think. <laughs> He's a doctor. He doesn't want to be a basketball player. Uh Ace, how tall is Ace? Ace is six one. Wow. Okay. They're so fucking tall. <laughs> Holy shit! What about Leandor? How tall is he? Five two. They're six two. They're all fucking tall. Six two six one. Ace is six one. Leandor is six two. Carrazzo is six six. Now you know what it feels to be short. Uh, Veer is 5'10. Uh, Min is 5'6. Anyway, I want to see if I missed something. Miss better than Centigar. Tens taste better than Stunt. Also, I accidentally looked, I don't think it's a spoiler, but apparently Ace and Veer are f f like friends with benefits. <laughs> it might be a slight spoiler, but it's that's fine. We'll probably come across it anyway. Which now makes so much more sense. Why he's like That's why this that's why he was like then cursed at him because Yeah. Apparently Ace is the only one he actually showed face to. Which is why he probably doesn't want us to be close to him. What if you're too bad? I'm coming for you first. <laughs> then Ace. <laughs> when it comes out, Vera, I'm gonna make sure you love me. I'm gonna forget everything about Ace. Cause I'm, I wanna see if there is a... I feel like it'll be around. There you go. Maybe there's just no red option for him yet? Okay. Can go on my arm. That's what I do. Hmm. About by the will until the die is awful. I do want to see the other like backstories, but this stream will be way too long for that. So I might do like another stream to see like how the backstory really affects the story, which I assume it will be affecting the story a lot. Like for one of them, we can be like a mage, right? And which I don't remember what character is also. I think Koras. I don't know which one of the character has. No, L Lindar like is kind of like a mage. And we are in one of the backstories. We can be a mage, and the first backstory, we are like a templist. 
who were in a church type of situation and then got casted away by some people because they thought we were like basically I know like they thought we were cursed and we are hmm No, the same options. <laughs> and you know, you at least you're you know you're not on your own. Apparently, this person has done the same thing. So. <laughs> I mean, it's hinted that he eats us, and not in the sexual way. He just fucking devours us full. It's gonna be interesting to get close with him. Okay, it's gonna be interesting to get close with Avir. I did. Oh, my mom. Me, mom. <laughs> Let me mute myself real quick. <laughs> It's a song from the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. <laughs> Don't question it, please. <laughs> it's it's a mop, okay? So I assume Veer doesn't have a red option yet. Because, um... <laughs> Veer, I don't think, has the red option yet. I thought it was maybe because we didn't get close to him, but I, maybe it's just harder to get close to him. Um... I assume. Um. Uh, this is the only okay. I assume, um, because I don't know what else to think. <laughs> uh, let me put this back up. <laughs> it's interesting. Veer is very interesting to me. Also, I have a very big temptation or just make Veer to fall in love with me. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. You know, just, just feel like that. Man, if he makes an expression like that over someone, damn, I wish I, that was me. <laughs> I will generally get upset if he it's like a ending where we don't get with him or we just become friends with him and he gets with fucking Ace. I will fight. <laughs> I will actually fight. <laughs> I don't know why. I, I like. I don't know. I like Veer a lot for some reason. I don't know. I think. I think Veer is a good person, but he's just lying because that's the way to survive in where he is, or where this is all. I think. Yeah, he did. But I like him. <laughs> I don't know, I like him. <laughs> he killed us. Well, he It's because he was like, let me help you so you don't have to suffer anymore. He was doing us a deal. Okay? I, I, I like him. <laughs> okay, shush. <laughs> I, just, I just like him. Okay? He's, he's different. I can change him. No, actually I won't. I'll make him worse. See, I'm not the type to change these people. I make them worse. <laughs> people say I can change them. Mm -mm. I make I make them worse. Mm -hmm. I know. I like them. Kind of. I don't know. Maybe I have it for people who can kill who want to kill me. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know my type, dude. I don't know. Uh, Ace is the third one that we wanted to go after. 
<laughs> I don't question, okay? He caught my eye the first time and I kind of had a feeling I would like him and I wasn't wrong. Nice. It's actually, what makes me so interested also in Veer is Ace's Root. If we go down to Ace's Root, is like Veer gonna be like an asshole to us fully? Like, is he gonna be like jealous? You know what I mean? <laughs> Veer seems to have more than like for. I, f I feel like Veer actually like has a crush on Ace. I don't think Ace has a crush on Veer because, um, well, maybe I could be wrong. I, I could be wrong, but um, I could be wrong that Ace doesn't like Veer, but I don't think Ace has a crush on Veer or anything like that. I think Ace was like, I think Veer was the, t the person to like bring it up. And Ace was like, yeah, sure, why not? Because it, it, it is wiki, it literally says that he's laid back, so I assume he just accepted. Uh, so, yeah. I feel like once we do Ace's route, Veer's just gonna be on our ass. And not in a good way. He's just gonna be like, what the fuck you doing? We're like, mm -hmm, I like him. Uh, morbid curiosity draws me after Ace. I slink out the back of the wet work. It's interesting that maybe why... Also, I, I'm curious why Landar currently has the only red unique option. Maybe they... I have a feeling they completed L Lindar's route fully already, like the game. I think Lindar is the person that a lot of people will go for at first, in my opinion. Because uh, he's like, he's charming, he is, uh, you know, yeah, basically he is charming, he's like, I'll help you. You tell him your secret and you have a cute moment together. You know, I feel like, yeah, I have a feeling that's why he had an option like that. Maybe... Maybe Veer does have a red option, but I don't think so. I know, yeah, I don't think Veer has an option type of thing, in my opinion. I That's in my opinion. Because he's gonna be a person that you have to, like, break down his walls. He does, he's, Veer seems a person that he doesn't like showing his emotions. I can read people. Um, oh, a dull crunch reaches my ear. Does it? Oh yeah, he was killing a man! <laughs> Sorry. And I thought I peer around the corner of the building, careful to be hidden. He was- he killed a man. I totally forgot about that. Ace killed a man. <laughs> oh <my> God. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> exactly. Uh, I, I know, I, I like Veer. He's, he's on my top, top five right now. Well, there's only top five, top two. <laughs> I, I think he's my favorite currently. Dark glistening red splatters the ground, spidering through the seams of the cobblestone and guides my eyes to a collapsed body across from me. One so violent, a rough neck is now a little more of a sec. <laughs> I, I realized what I said. No, I think he's my favorite currently. My first. If when this game comes out, I'll for sure be doing Veer's route, I think, first. Once so violent, a rough, rough neck is a little more than a sack of crumpled flesh, blood or mud. I forgot that Ace was murdering this guy in the background. I fully fucking forgot. Ace exhales, his breath misting against the cold air. Blood flecks his knuckles as he looms over his motionless body, his feet on either side of it. Yeah. That's see that's the thing. I I like Leandor, but I had the not Leandor, Leodir. I liked him, but I had this weird gut feeling in my cuz I think I started to like be like a bit suspicious because of the whole interact interact interaction with him. Cuz like I said, uh a first time could just be nerves. The second time my game is doing something purposefully. He's doing something. I don't know what he's doing. And I think I weirdly trust this is not my bias at all. I do like Veer, but from just... I don't know. Because it's also interesting, because then Leandor's... Le Leandir's... Leon's opinion on everyone else. He's like, oh, this is a good person, but they're also shady. You know, he's like doing a, a sandwich method where he's like complimenting them a bit. And then he's like, but don't trust them. Because like with uh, Veer, he was like, oh yeah, he's the poor fella. He uh, 
got um you know he got imprisoned but then he's like but i don't trust him don't be near him he basically that's what he all did to everyone <laughs> every time he talked about something he was like eh, he's a pr-. he's like like with ace he's like oh yeah he's a good guy but uh, don't go close to him either yeah, yeah, yeah exactly he's trying to be nice but then he's also has this possessive side to him which isn't bad but i feel like it's more extreme possessiveness with him even when we first met him after because it's interesting after we told him that he's the first person to like ever touch our hands maybe that's when he starts to start being a bit possessive in a in a way because i feel like that was the start of things because he's like oh and he got flustered because he's like oh i'm the first <laughs> you know what i mean and so, mm-mm. I think his story is gonna be very much like a. Uh, I feel like I feel like I mean it's a dark romance, but um, his story is gonna be with a, fighting with a lot of possessiveness. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Exactly. Ex- that's. I see. I am so good at spotting things. I don't want. I don't mean to toot my own horn like at all, but I am. Even with real people, I'm really good at spotting these type of things. I'm so good at picking up things in text and just like, in real life things. But I am so oblivious when it's a person's feelings towards me. <laughs> I'm so good at observing shit, but then as soon as it happens, like as soon as it's something involving me, I'm like, ha. Ah. I know, yeah. <laughs> I know. As, as I played a lot, and I don't think dating games uh, helped me, but I just, I'm gonna. This is what happens when you're obsessed for, like, psychology for a long time in your life. So you are, even if I'm, like, neurodivergent, I'm, I have, like, studied psychologist things and behavior and stuff like that. Not, like, body language. Body language doesn't mean shit. Like, a nervous person can act suspicious just because like a person with anxiety can look like a criminal but they're not but they're just because they're just anxious but yeah it's it's because like you don't really think about it we're gonna continue this but (laughs) you don't really think about it but a lot of people whenever they're speaking they're very deliberate about how what they say right like with a like with a fucking lendar I already mentioned it. He didn't have to be like, don't keep away. Like, when he was describing everyone, he didn't have to... He could have just ended his, like, yeah, he's a laid-back guy. End. He didn't... He doesn't have to, like, then add a bad thing um, at the end of each person. And it's each person. Like, even on chorus, he was like, yeah, he's a good doctor. And then he adds something, like... You wouldn't notice it, because you're like, oh, that's just, like, a slight flaw. But he... Each time when he talks about a person, he adds like a bad thing to them so that we have like a bad opinion of them. That's why I think I like Veer. He's just honest. He's like, Lindar is a hero complex uh, victim. He said victim complex type of guy. Uh, I think Veer is just very honest. And because Veer didn't like, Veer didn't, you know what? He Veer didn't like add on things that a person wouldn't. Like, he didn't do anything weirdly deliberate except with, like, Ace, which shows his feelings towards Ace, but, yeah. Just little things you see in dialogue. <laughs> it's, even in real life, you can notice uh, things like that. I don't have a psychology major, but, like, I, I like psychological shit. I like psychology. I like people's behaviors and shit like that. <laughs> I don't know. I could literally rant about shit like that for a while. I could have a whole ass analysis on this game from just the little behaviors everyone has. Because I like, I like uh, picking apart that type of things. Fear spreads like ice in my- uh, let me- let me continue before I get into a rant. Uh, moments ago, he was joking and friendly with ours, but now... After this, after like we do all the routes, uh, I'm gonna have a chatting for like maybe an hour or so. And just, I don't know rant about yeah because i want this to be five hours so like after we finish i'll have a just chatting for a bit and just i don't know talk about it <laughs> and talk about my, my analysis i suppose because that's what else what else can i do <laughs> can't really do much uh, we, can, we can also talk in general um fear yeah 
It says crimson eyes. Find me in the dark. Now running, Sparrow. No? Yeah. I rarely rise to my feet. Moonlight illuminating my eyes. That's why I don't think Ace is lying either. I think he honestly doesn't know what the fucking spring thing does. I thought it was out of sight. I got eyes in the back of my head. I. Uh, <laughs> eyes. Uh, steps off my eyes, Ace. Steps on the rough neck. Uh, my eyes stay locked on the body. <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry, I'll see him again. I stay locked in the body. It's sweat with layers of blood grime completely still. Here's back. Don't worry about it. Here he is. He's alive. Are you sure? <laughs> Calling me a killer or a liar? Oh. Damn, you're really giving me options like this? Isn't that just both call him a fucking... Well, I mean, that would depend. Does the tentacles go in the bed or is the tentacles just a fear-mongering thing? You know what I mean? <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> it depends, you know? We're gonna have to, we're gonna have to talk about that first. <laughs> we would have to talk. <laughs> uh, sure. I guess I feel like he doesn't like being called a liar because I don't think he lies so like, whatever Sure, killer. Uh, killer. In fact, I bet you killed more people than you can count. I'm flattered. See? I know this man I not hold by instincts. It's the only way to s I don't think he likes I don't I don't think he likes to lie I don't know. He gives me that vibe Which is interesting on No, that makes sense. Veer is like Diff acts different around Ace, so it makes sense why he doesn't hit Alex here. But maybe that's why Ace maybe doesn't have feelings for Veer because he does lie. Oh, we'll see. We'll see. <laughs> I am putting. I am making hypotheses. Uh, in the, during the stream, you can see how much my brain like turns on. I don't know. I like studying characters. That's how I become like. That's how I become like obsessed with characters, I suppose. I like to look into their personality and their backstory and stuff. Sharpening instincts so when you have Mr. Fortune of meeting someone truly dangerous, you can survive. But running, preferably, yet here I am, standing in front of Ace. You scared? He won't hurt me. He comes out more like a question. You won't hurt me? His eyes flicker down to my body, then up again. Oh, okay. Oh, he checked me out. I like him, at least. <laughs> Okay, okay. I think he likes me. Guys, I think he has a crush on me. Just, uh, I think he thinks I'm hot. <laughs> Just uh, on observation. <laughs> His bloody knuckles catches attention. He tries to rub them clean, but ends up smearing the blood more and more. <laughs> I keep making bad impressions on you. I didn't know you scared my opinion. I just prefer you didn't piss yourself when we talk. Annoyance bumbles in my chest. Well, I'm not pissing myself even with your bad impressions. Like the first time we met, Ace chips away my fear, replacing it into <laughs> irritation instead. Ace kneels beside the rough neck and frisks him. I can't help but wonder if the crime was worth the punishment. Well, I hold my tongue. Def definitely, Ace her hands search for a round rough neck's pockets. It doesn't take him long to find a price. Secret matchbox. Is that why you killed him? Understandable, I suppose. <laughs> <laughs> You really just killed him for a fucking cigarette matchbox. <laughs> oh my god. He strikes a match, sparks light up his angular features with golden glow. It's distracting. <laughs> just ask him to share. I skim for a moment, but my gaze eventually drops back to the muddy body. You're just gonna leave him there? Ace draws deep from the cigarette, he exhales, heavily smoke curling past his lips, a breathe in the sweet, spiced scent of cloves. As his tension melts away, he looks at me with cool leaded eyes. Should I give him a blanket? <laughs> he's kinda funny. He's kinda funny. I'm bothered by the maybe corpse who takes us eat in the creepy outside the bar. I stand there awkwardly, forgetting why I came out here in the first place. And a pleasant silence surges between us. The water is nice. Cold, murky, and humid, he means. I want to believe he's teasing me, but for all I know, this is a pleasant for Iridia. Was Princess good company? Who? He takes another look. 
I think I know who he's talking about. His metal rings catch the light of a cigarette in the flash of red. The soulless who's carrying you back. Oh, I thought he was talking about. Why did I think he was talking about beer? Oh, you named your princess? Jealous? <laughs> no, I, I don't want to be called princess. No, thank you. I return a smile. You have no idea. Hmm, I think your nickname's more fitting. Sparrow? <laughs> sure. Is it because I'm short? Whatever. Not sure where he's got it from. Maybe I should tell him to call me by my name, but it's kind of nice. Yeah, it's better than other nicknames. Sparrow is not that bad. I don't ever tell him that before I can dissect my feelings. I quickly change the spot, spot subject back to Solus. I don't think he would like me to call it it. I think he likes some. She was cute. She was kind of cute in a weird way. A great glance. A glance absentmindedly at my hand, remember how she mus nuzzled into my palm of the touch. I saw I softened for a brief moment. Her tail wouldn't stop going when she back got back. The group of them don't get much attention. I think she's cute now. Wait till you see her tricks. Eat the hard tricks. <laughs> Prince is a smart one. She'll learn anything if you have the right words. Sounds about right. I don't, dude, this game is making me think he's not a bad guy, and then I would do his route and he just kills me. <laughs> you can't do this to me. <laughs> I don't want to be a part of a hive mind. The idea of a tame soul is still outlandish to me. It was a soulless dog. So it was like a. Okay, if I remember the description, it was a. Soulless creature that looked like a dog with six, um, with six feet or paws, I suppose. It had six feet paws and he had tendrils like the other monsters. Probably didn't look very cute. So, no, we don't know. I don't, I don't know if it was an actual dog, but it has six paws, tendrils on its face, and a couple of eyes. I don't know. It doesn't tell. It was just said it had six legs, dude. Well, if it's Q, maybe. I don't know. But it's possible because of the sea spring. I need to get the answers he wouldn't give me before. I carefully take a seat beside him on the crate, contemplating my strategy. He doesn't seem to mind. He closes his eyes, tilts back against the wall, relaxed. Why the pressure of his intense gaze, I feel myself ease up as long as I keep my attention from the bloody heap of course moss. I glance over to Ace and allow my eyes to linger. Am I checking him out? Oh. A seek of color tattoo spreads up his arm, painting over the curls of his muscles. Silver jewelry glints in the moonlight. It draws my attention to his bare chest. <sighs> Horny, of course. Grave <laughs> jaw. His ears, his horns, his people. I like the horns here. I really like that. You don't see a lot of demon characters that have like horns also here. I really like that. It's a nice character design. Really like. I don't know. I really like that. You don't see that often in my case, at least. Everything about him is sharp. Even the fangs that he only shows when he grins. Not many scars though, strange, save one for the one cut through his brow. Oh yeah, he does, I didn't notice that at first. These are not marked for how seasoned he acts. I mean, I assume he's kind of strong. What's your verdict? I whip my hand in the opposite direction. <laughs> what verdict? Got a long good look, are you impressed or do I need to work? Oh, he's also his pointy ears, I didn't notice that. Oh my god, my face grows hot. <laughs> you are annoying. <laughs> I've seen worse. <laughs> uh, I think he'll like. Uh, mm. oh, sure. Uh, sure. I guess I've seen worse. He responds with a low chuckle and drops in smoke. Keeps staring then. My embarrassment spikes without thinking to blur out to change the topic. I have questions about this e spring. Boredom clips his in an instant and he closes his eyes again. Ah, of course I do. I thought I made myself clear what you'd be giving up. Before you kicked me out to go drinking, I still need to know more. My turn for a question. It sounds more like an order than anything else. I bristle under his narrowed gaze. Fine. He takes a long pull from his cigarette and lets the smoke trail slowly from his lips. Your curse. What about it? 
The song and dance, all familiar. The selfish questions come first. I mean, he... If you're planning to do that, you might as well tell him. I mean, he knows that we have a curse. Why hide at this point, right? And Vier doesn't know much about us. That's why he was suspicious, but he doesn't know shit. What does it do? Is it painful? Can you control it? I brace myself with an inevitable onslaught. Is it the thought of living really so unbearable? Well, Dread dies with the words. No one has been that before. You've survived this long unless you're running out of time. I wonder if it's really worth the sacrifice. He flex a cigarette side and props his head on the blood smear knuckles. Well, what do I know? I'm just an outsider. Fingers fuss with the trim of my cloak. I ordinarily feel annoyed, but now my chest feels tight. This game making him more attractive than he should be. <laughs> you could have sold me if you were less honest. You're a shit salesman. He laughs under his breath. Harsh words. Relapse into silence again. This time it's present us. The quiet chill there is coming. Reprieve? You know, you didn't seem like an announcer back in the bar. A lot of people like you. He raises his brow at me. I start by asking about. Oh, okay. Kind of safe, because then I'm, I feel okay. I feel like. Yeah. I was surprised to see that you and Vera are close. Eh, blessing and a curse. From what I get, most people think I don't know, an asshole. Water's wet. <laughs> Water's wet, I suppose. So, what do you like about him? Last thing, so you already named one. You like that he's an asshole? Temper temperamental matches the drapes. Looks good in blood, better in tears. Favorite thing to tell. Sometimes he throws up if you. Oh, okay. <laughs> see, we. Yeah, I'd assume. We'd. Okay, we'd find out from him that they're friends with benefits. I see. Catch himself, closure starts. It's not hard to let this small image ruin my expression. Fur is one of the most honest people you ever meet. Just don't listen to a single thing he says. <laughs> Those sound like complete opposites to me. <laughs> I don't know why that's so funny. I think he means, like. Most of the time he's honest, but he's not honest about something, you can tell. I mean, even. I mean, I mean, MC, even MC starts to notice when Vir lies. I mean, after a while, you'll pick up on when someone lies if you become, if you're close to them a decent amount. For me, I just have a good gut instinct. Um, it's a big fun effect for me. I am good at knowing if someone's lying to me. And, like, not through, I guess through text sometimes, but mostly if I'm in front of someone. My gut feeling is good at, like, telling me if a person's a good person or not. There's actually been times where I've, like, met a person and I got, like, a really sharp... I don't know how to describe it. It's not really a pain. <laughs> well, I can't tell. <laughs> I can't I can't tell. <laughs> I was gonna answer, but damn. Oh my god. Eat it in fucking sugar cut things. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> it's not a skill issue, I can't tell <laughs> through text. I can tell I can tell through uh interactions with people. <laughs> okay, go ahead and toot your own throat and toot your own horn. You can't. I said I'm not good during texts. <laughs> I said I'm not during texts. Not I'm not the best. Oh my God, I'm good in person. My gold feeling only reeks in fucking good person. <laughs> Grass. I didn't know that you and Chris were friends. In a way, I help him to cling sometimes. Doctor doesn't let most people closer than arm's length. You do? Cards on my sleeve. Get the sense. Curse was like that in the past. Must have been burned. Shows up after a few words. The shrugs. He opens up in his own ways if you're relaxed enough. I don't know how to even imagine it. You'd be surprised if the doctor has an endearing side. I can't tell what's more intriguing, the fact Caress has an endearing side, or the idea Ace has managed to coax it out of him. Tell me if you uncover any of these other secrets I'd kill to know more. 
<laughs> I don't think that's how that works, but you know. You and Linder killer get along well. You like Linder? Doesn't everyone he helped me a lot since arriving here in Iardea. He even got me a free room with a wet wick. His charm has gone in bar, but for a leader he sure likes him when others take controls. Hmm, part of me desperately wants to ask what it means, but I just continue before I get a chance. Surprised we get along? I thought you'd be at each other's throats instead of drinking buddies. It smiles easy, but there's a dangerous edge to it. Leander's gotten a good job for a human. Naturally, there would be a common time where his resolve is tested. The same could be said for anyone that's playing for the next. As for my resolve, well, stick around in Aaron Aradea long enough and you'll find out. <laughs> I'm not slowly, I can't decide if this sounds like a promise or a threat. Got any more observation, Sparrow? Maybe men doesn't necessarily like me, but they definitely pay attention to you. His reaction takes me out. He growls, pinches the bridge of his nose, as expected I've ever seen him. I make enemies as quickly as a breed, Sparrow. Doesn't bother me. But that door was got out for me for no reason. Maybe they're assembled by the sea spring. It's not about that. It goes without saying, they've got some issues. Don't think they understand that you can catch more flies with honey than vinegar. Honey has left a bad taste in my mouth in the past. It could be the same for them. At least you are capable of our conversation. Do me a favor and teach the dose some others. No, they lay off eventually if I didn't bite. Hasn't happened yet. I briefly considered the possibility the man wants to be get bitten. I'm not about to po propose that though. <laughs> my main point is that speaking from experience, being an outsider usually means you don't have friends. <laughs> oh, yeah, probably. Or uh, technically, though, his horns are technically also useful because if he's like trying to go through a window, uh, his horns can break at first, you know? I don't. I love him with a tired work. Fine, I'll confess, I have one friend. Don't say yourself. What the fuck is that name? Huckidus? My skin prinkles at the name here standing on end. Who's the head? A friend. It lives in my head. <laughs> it lives in your head. I don't know what they mean by hot damp dump man. I don't know what he means by that. Do you mean do you mean shitty men? A staff is temple little finger. Well, me too. Right here. I scared you off? That'd be a third bad impression I made on you today. I'm stunned for a long moment by pressing what he just told me. Then I burst into a fit after. You're, you're serious? A Ace grins wide enough to flash his fangs. Deadly. It sounds so fucking absurd I can't help him. Oh, everything I've gone through today feels like I'm having a fever, fever dream. Come closer to them more at times like a count. A counter tame, soulless, and horrifying group mind, and now I'm supposed to believe that there's someone living inside of Ace's head. Uh, there are tears in my eyes by the time I reel myself in. Ace wish sweets patient and lips quirked amusement. Sorry, it just sounds so ridiculous. The tension that would wound my shoulders so tightly has melted away for the first time in a long time. I feel I can bleed. I feel better. Oh, do guess where your ass ass are you? Ooh, girl shouts in the rice street, echoed by the sound of heavy boots washing through mud. The voices share their roughnecks accent from the foot bar. Oh, we killed a friend of. Oh, oopsie. The same roughneck who is still maybe dead, lying bloody to cross from us. I knew I forgot about him. I shove my feet as their voices get louder, they're closing in quick. Ass, ace, not ass. Oh my god, ace pulls me by the wrist out of the alley. Away from beating, um, my might. My man's been thinking too much about men. We dive into a nuke between buildings, veiled in the shade of tattered companies. I think I like ace, oh, I know. He's, he's a good dude. I think ace is just, I don't know. I don't think he's bad. <laughs> I don't This is a, uh, Oh, you can't do this to me. <laughs> it's a tight fit. Uh, Ace's box is made against the wall. His body all 
meshed against mine as he towers. Yeah, me too. At first, I thought he was just an asshole, but I think he is cool as he towers over me. For the second time today, the heavy scent of smoke develops me, but this time cut with a metallic tinge of someone else's blood. Does he just smell like smoke? I guess he does smoke. Uh, a pitches low, voice low. Quiet. My heart leaps into my throat. I'm suddenly acutely aware of the heat radiating over Ace's body, the feeling of his leg gracing my thigh and the closeness of his breath. <laughs> this is bad. I scrum against him and I'm a burning crimson gaze. Do we really have to? His hand covers my mouth, muffling my whispers. He shakes his head, don't. Damn, he's over here. Duckers, wake up, you bastard. A group of individuals are all brandishing spiked weapons for the ally. El El Ali. Whatever. Once I get a glimpse of their violent slashes, I instantly know they're not just roughnecks, they're gangsters. Oh. <laughs> Only gangs with a lot of yeah, gangs with a lot of influence with fly colors so openly. I wish I could see what they're doing, but he says I almost fucked my sight. He's fucking tall, he's six foot one. <laughs> I am five four! Dude. Actually I wanna <laughs> I'm gonna I wanna see the difference <laughs> in height. Okay, wait. Uh, fuck. Height chart. Right, okay. Let me get a random height chart. Uh, shit, can I? They might not be accurate, but. Okay, right. Uh, fuck. Okay. This would be me. Dude, if he, if, cause I assume MC is, they're taller than men. We know that. And men is taller than me. Oh, dude, I would be fucking, dude, he would be crushed into me. <laughs> if this was accurate to my actual height, I would be dead. <laughs> Depending on how close he is to me. I am, I am short. Um, you know, this just, oh my god. I don't think I would reach his fucking, see, MC can like reach around his, I think, shoulders, bro. I would be below that, probably. My eyes drill up the teal markings, the coil around his arms, the bicep, and they lead up to Ace's collarbone to the cords hanging around his neck. <laughs> and to the smuggest smirk I ever seen. <laughs> I'm sorry. You can't give me this option. I'm just gonna pick it. This game knows. This fucking knows. It knows. It knows. It knows, it knows. <sighs> well, I suppose. Unfortunately, I don't have a lot of places. My eyes doubt away from his face, along the line of his neck down to his chest. The way pendant hands above the line of his <laughs> Just before the skin gets swallowed by darkness, a trail joins through me, <laughs> my face hot beneath his touch. This can't be happening while I'm getting worked up in a situation. I don't know, dude. Don't ask me. Voices in the alley. Grab Ace's attention this time. Shit, he's got more broken ribs than whole, whole ones. What kind of freak did this? But now, find the cocksucker responsible. That is me. Your tree, <laughs> big Duke is back to the base. This he's still breeding. And the alley clears our first steps rush away from us. We stay still until they're distant, melting into rumble corridor. And then Ace takes off his hand off the mouth. Wow. That was intimate. We finally step back into the moonlight. The air and I, uh, the night air is ice on my skin. I feel dazed and the need to keep my eyes off is <laughs> at all cost. Why was that really necessary? The tremble through my voice is nothing but embarrassing. Staying hidden was the best option. It would be a hassle to understand them with you here, with you there. Why? Well, because I'm dead weight. Because three bad impressions are enough for one day. The answer is too big for my liking, but he's probably right. Either way, I don't have energy to argue. Go on, Sparrow. Let's get you home before you are for murder. <laughs> Very funny. <laughs> what would happen if I stared into his eyes or glared at him? <laughs> Reached the front of the wet wick too quickly. I hate to admit it, but I don't know how to separate from Ace yet. Not just because he answered my questions. He's infuriating as easily as he makes me feel and he can make me feel safe, secure somehow. But because he's like, I don't know, like 
six inches taller than me. <laughs> or yeah, it would be inches, right? Or feet. Six feet taller than me? I don't know. I don't know. He's just tall. That's all I know. You know where to find me. At the creepiest place in the world. Hmm. Take your time before you decide to drink. I happen to like your shitty attitude. Oh, how sweet. <laughs> how sweet. Oh, isn't that sweet? It takes a moment to process it, then my eyes flutter down to my feet. I'll keep that in mind. When I glance back from the ground, Ace is already down the street, disappearing into a throng of people. No fanfare. Not even a wave. Asshole. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, it's so funny. Yeah. Hey, I feel like MC likes assholes. I do want to know what happens if I glare at him. I would love nothing more to chew him out, but his hands come to a mouth. I can fix him the deadliest glare I can muster. Ace responds with a wolfish grin and I realize I lock myself eye contact with him. A thrill joins through me. Okay. Mm -hmm. Let's see me skip. Okay. Ooh. Okay. No. Okay. No difference. Oh shit. Nope. Go back. Ace has grown on me. I like him. Ah, fuck. Okay. So yeah, I like Ace and Ver a lot right now. Lander. I like Lander, but I feel like, like I said, he says something suspicious on him that I don't know what it is, but it's something. I feel it makes me upset that I don't know what- like, sh I sure the possessiveness, but I feel like he's hiding something more than that. His powers is what bugging me. I don't know what he's doing to us in the- like, whenever we were with him. I don't know what he did to us. He did something. <laughs> like, it feels like he puts a spell on us or something that we don't- because he's magic. We've seen him do it. Uh, we did Vera, Lendir, and Ace. Uh, go to Caress, and then we'll do mid last. I suppose. Hot on Caress. Heels. I don't know how. He's so tall. We figured out he's like six foot six. I squeeze my way out of the bar. Of everyone I met, he seems like the most likely to help me, and the least likely to murder me on the <laughs> We already... Talk to all the interesting ones. Okay, calm down. <laughs> we have talked to all the interesting ones. We have to. Okay, just, just bear through it. Okay. Uh, and he's least likely to murder me on the whim. Earlier this morning, he said I could go to the clinic for help whenever I needed it. Time to see if the problem is actually worth anything. I breathe a sigh of relief once I'm free from the crowded bars. Curious hearing me turns my way. An interesting thought that I just thought about. What if the red options doesn't mean exactly mean good? Because let's say Kuro, whenever we touch him, he's like putting a spell on us or something. That's like, uh, that's like my theory currently. What if like me touching his face is making me more into the spell? If that makes sense? Maybe his powers are like uh, the the more you touch him, the more I don't know you're under influence or something, right? I don't know, I don't know, because maybe the red options doesn't mean it's good. It could mean good, but I don't know. I I guess because I feel like touching his face. I don't know. This it's so interesting because I did like Lendir, but now now I'm so suspicious of him. I don't know what he's, I don't know what he's going to do. Like sure, I picked up on that he's very possessive, but you know that doesn't mean that's gonna do anything to his story. Maybe it will, but I, I guess it's also interesting to see what the car other characters have said. Ace, Ace, Ace is an interesting input. Ace doesn't have really. It's so it's so interesting to see like Vera had mostly negative things to see talk about each character, which, why I trust Vera, but an Ace is like kind of the opposite of Vera, and he is like a, like he's weirdly neutral if that makes sense. 
he has a very like neutral look on everyone. He didn't say really anything bad. So just he said things that we kind of know already. Like I trust Veer's like uh, things, um, but um, Ace is I guess Ace is kind of it's like a neutral type of I don't know. Ace wasn't like bad. He wasn't bad talking any character. Uh, he was mostly like, yeah, this character does this. It's, it's, I don't know, it's interesting to see the point of views. I like I like seeing what characters think about each other. I didn't think that's what that would happen. In dating games, it's not usually a thing like that. I think I like it, seeing how each character sees each character. <laughs> that's the only thing I've said. I take it the district is not to your liking. I plus to think about that. It's not so different from the streets where I grew up, though the clientele is more colorful. That's not why I stepped out. You are not in need of treatment after the fall, are you? I scroll up him and he's all his hand in a mollifying gesture. I apologize, Hazel. Please continue. About time. Somehow, someone cuts right through me towards chorus, something us both in the middle of the street. The fuck? Even in the dim ha pink haze, this seems to blanket everything. There's no mistaking the pressed white uniform and stiffly starched hat. After a sino, a sino cleric. Oh, the cleric! Holy shit. I've, I hastily step back, making myself incapacitated as possible. Can I help you? Nervous onlookers hastily powered around Curse and the cleric. The two form an island, um... Yeah, yeah, yeah. I like that, cause... Oh. It's also, like I said, it's also interesting picking up things. Like with Lindar, it's so interesting to pick up how he acts. I think Lindar is a charming to a fault, right? A lot of people I feel like is gonna go for him at the first run. And I feel like a lot of people, this is my predictions, because I feel like this game is gonna get popular. I feel like Lindar for sure is gonna be the first people, like people's first character they go down. Because he's very charming. His moment with the MC was really cute. And I feel like a lot of people will ignore their like red, red flags. Like you said, if a person shows possessiveness really early on for no reason, it's a bit of a red flag in a person. Possessiveness overall is not bad, but if you meet someone and they're weirdly slightly possessive over you, even though you have no attachment to them, that's, that's a bit weird. <laughs> It'd be different if you become friends and then they're a bit possessive, because that's like, okay, this is how they are. But if you're not friends and you're just acquaintances, it's, it's very interesting. Veer's description of Lindir's, I don't think he's wrong, but I don't think he's fully right. I think, I think Veer's perspective is like, he's honest, but he can't see good, because he's, like he said it, he doesn't like people. So he sees only faults in a lot of people. And so I do, I do like, I do think Veer is honest, but I feel like he only sees the negative. And then Ace is like, the opposite of that, where he he's not like he's not positive or negative. He's just he says it really honestly on how he feels, which is really interesting. Uh, I'm probably gonna talk more uh, in the just chatting because I have a lot of opinions about a lot of these characters. <laughs> it's so interesting. These characters are so interesting in good and bad ways. I mean, even like Ace's point of view on Lindar is also interesting. He didn't really say anything bad about him, but he did say Lindar's charm has got him so far, right? Let's get an interesting part. I like the current thing that Lindar is very charming to a fault, and it's interesting to see that. I Ace said that Lindor, despite having a very like leader role, he likes he like he said that he likes when others take control. Which that's such an interesting thing. I don't know what that fully could mean. 
but that's an interesting thing. I don't know. That's an interesting thing I remember that Ace said. Enough. You know why I'm here. And I hope you find this edifying. Chorus reaches into his coat and produces three tiny glass veils uh, bound together with thick leather cord and a silvery powder shimmers inside. No, excuse me. He gently flicks the glass, watching the contents swirl and extends. Oh, excuse me, the vials to the cleric. This is it. They look extremely impressed. Appearances can be deceiving. He throws me a glance, a swift smile, but I'm not. Su I'm too surprised to respond. Cars is the first one to warn me about Cinebium. Nobody I've met had anything good to say about them, which is the truth. And yet here he is, openly dealing with them. I mean, a job is a job, right? I don't blame him. A job is a job. I mean, Viren has v v Vera, v v v yeah, Viri, Viri. However, Viri has to work with them. Sure, he's forced, but he's working with them. Maybe that's how you get money around here, is just by having to forcibly work under them. Doesn't mean they're liking to do that. I glance between Koras and the clerk, who seemed to notice me for the first time. Hmm, <laughs> good night. They bow to Koras, offer me extremely perfunctual mod, and the fuck, not mod, not, and the spirit of the seeding crowd. Says, oh, there's something amiss. Uh, isn't that dangerous? Isn't that dangerous? A conversation is hardly dangerous. You know what I mean. You're the one who warned me about this. Seeing you shh, be calm. He holds one finger to his lumpers, which suddenly grows into a cat-like smile. For now, please join me in the short troll stroll. Curse's golden eyes twinkle in the low light. He beckons me away from the main uh, <laughs> thoroughfare. Everyone really likes me to have them by themselves, huh? Down a street side, filled with vendors and hawkling light night snacks. After we get all of the point of views of the characters, it's gonna be interesting. I feel like Min is gonna have a very, like... I think Min's, like, observation about each person is gonna be like, I don't care. I feel like Min's just gonna be, like, I don't care type of thing. I don't know about Chorus. Chorus is a bit of a... I don't know. What? Wait, what? Wait? <laughs> Now, uh, powerfully curious, in spite of myself, I hurry after Chorus. Each of his long, graceful strides is easily a two of mine. <laughs> this game is really fucking lit. Wow, the struggle of being short. <laughs> this is the str struggle of being short. I catch a glimpse of his gleaming white cock disappearing around the corner of the street. The moment I get up, the delicious sense of freshly baked goods flood my nose. My stomach gives me a loud rumble. One honey pistachio co 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 cookie, please. Coming right up. Without breaking the swift place, Chorus plucks the stickly, uh, sticky concoction out of the merchant's hand and offers it to me. Ooh, yum yum. Pistachio? What was that? Pistachio cookie? Honey pistachio. Hmm. Don't know how that I would feel about that. I don't like honey, but whatever. I take about without hesitation. Hmm. Chorus watches me with an indulgent smile and notice he hasn't gotten anything from himself. We are not hungry. You need not to conserve yourself with me. I. He stops me sentence, his eyes stripping back to the way we came. The hair stick up in my to the back of my neck. I turn around just to pick over my shoulder, hoping I don't look too suspicious. Turn off the same clerk who's waylaid us in the street, now wearing a thur thunderously angry expression. Uh oh. Well, disappointment can be learning. Disappointment can be a learning experience. Glimmers of realization dawn on me as I stare out at him. What exactly was in those files? Perhaps a rare and poignant alchemic, <laughs> alchemical cast calatist, or some stale fish skin. And the two resemble one another, and it can be hard to tell them apart. <laughs> I know he kind of funny. He he really gave them stale fish skin. Wow. <laughs> Is he serious? I ching I, ch I chance another glance at the cleric who is now trying to elbow their way between the food stands. A few people make way, but most don't even notice their efforts. The street is far too crowded with hungry patrons, shall we? Without even waiting for a response from me, he glides swiftly in the crowd once more. 
Uh, okay, is there a point to all this? In addition to my personal amusement, I suppose I would like to show you the sights. He is serious, or he's seriously fucking with me, I'm not sure which. My disquiet must show because Clarissa's smile off softens a little. As I said, you have nothing to fear. He ducks into what looks like an abandoned doorway, but opens in a small covered market. The stalls here are full of spices that I knew existed, even talking a short breath. A taking a short breath makes me sneeze. Corus slows his pace, occasionally pausing to examine the insistent hawker's wares. Wait. My throat is gonna be- oh, my throat is aching right now. Oh my god. Oh, I've been talking for like six hours. He looks up from a display of livid red leaves, each as long as my forearm. You said I have nothing to fear, but everyone in er uh, Eridea seems wary of Symbium. I feel like I'm not pronouncing that right at all, but I don't care. People fear their oblivious, uh, obvious trappings of power, wealth, force, or hideously instantaneous tower. How the fuck did I say that correctly? Okay. For my part, I find such trappings merely disappointing. The Sim- <laughs> The Cenobium? Uh, once had a great potential. They squandered it a decade ago in a pursuit of trinkets, pleasure, and petty tyranny. Their narrow, prosaic interests have rather than blind to all the else that moves. I think that's the most ever heard Kerr say on any topic. You sound like you know them well. Kerr lets a long, low sigh. <sighs> you miss. You miss, little Tazzle. You miss, little Tazzle. I think he meant to be, you miss a little. Familiar to breed contempt, and I'm more familiar with the Sum Sinubium's uh, crude methods than I like, would like. Now I'm getting somewhere, something beyond wake warnings or self deflections. So I decide to press the point while I have the chance. Familiar how? Whoop. Curse stops right in front of the display of pickled fruit and nearly run into his back. He steps aside at the last moment, his arm rests gently but firmly on my waist, I tense very carefully to avoid it in my bandaged hands. Officer refused to take no for an answer. You know, now with the knowledge that he's like six foot six, I am so short to compare to him. The height difference is insane. <laughs> That's all I'm saying. I can't get that out of my head. Our height, uh, yeah, pickled fruit. <laughs> Have you never had pickled fruit <laughs> before? <laughs> but, like, the height difference between... Oh, my God, I'm so short. I'm scared to actually find a comparison. Yeah, basically. Dude, I, what? It's, that's insane. Oh, God damn. <laughs> Pickled pickled fruit is a normal thing in my and I've seen a lot of pickled fruit. Maybe because I'm in the Slavic descent, yeah. It's quite normal. Um, yeah. I guess I haven't tried a lot, but I mean, there's like pick. I mean, it's not only fruit; it's like tomato and olives. I mean, they're good for, um, for apparently, I'm looking it up, uh, they're good for preventing feelings of intense hunger and curbs the blood sugar spikes, uh, fights diseases, apparently. Uh, fruits and vegetables are high in antioxidants, which boost your immune system. <laughs> I mean, I don't like pickled things in general, but it's a, I don't know, it's a big part of, at least, I think, my culture. I've I've seen a lot of pickled things in my whole life. Not all of them are good. Uh, most of them I don't like because I just don't like vinegar. But you know. Um. Then again, I thought we lost them in the crown. I craned my neck. <laughs> Says well, realistically, if I craned my neck, most people are taller than me. I would not be able to see shit. I craned my neck to look for the cleric, but Kor shakes his head. This way. The next street over seems to be home, uh, to be home to the high-end brothels, 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 full of steep stairways and shadowy passages. 
Perfect for distraught trysts or losing a persistent tail. Thick curtains and painted fas fas facades. Yeah, okay. Spiral around me like a giant carpal warren. Only takes a few more twists and turns down the blind alley al 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 alleys. Now I walk ways before I'm currently turned around. We could have just like pretended to walk into one of them, and the pursuer probably wouldn't have fallen into it. But I mean, if we had to pay, then I don't think we would have. But just saying, a lot of people are not gonna follow you into anything sexual. You kind of will find. However, seems to be following some up in on his own mind. He takes each turn with swift confidence, guiding me with occasional nudge. Uh, the gap between uh, teaching buildings can hardly be called alleys. It's so narrow we have to pass through single file. I've been through that type of uh, alleyways like that. As a little further, the effortless grace which he moves is almost infuri infuriating. It takes every ounce of my consecration I have just to avoid tripping over loose tiles, discard of clothes, and unidentifiable rubbish. Meanwhile, <laughs> meanwhile his long ass legs! have to highlight this because they're very long they must be seems almost to float over every obstacle his clothes are still completely pristine despite the suit stained walls on either side how the hell does he do it i'm still trying to puzzle it out when i realize how warm it is with me practically tripping on his heels also to be fair pickled fruit is probably a good way to preserve a lot of things i assume that's why a lot of people do it also the tiny gap between us seems to radi uh, radiate, seems like uh, like beating mid midday sun on the longest day of summer. I mean, I definitely don't want to get lost here. I stay as close to Chorus as I can without actually touching him. I promise I will not lose you. I was like that obvious. Eyes meet. Me crying, craying my neck. Like, my neck has to be... My neck will basically have to be... I'm just saying, I. Whew. If I were to dig Chorus, I feel like my neck would have to be like actually get fixed after a while. Despite my best efforts, I find it hard to hold his gaze. I never see eyes like his, despite our dark and dingy surroundings. It's like Chor Chorus, Chorus, where the is on night whenever he looks at me. Yeah, I suppose, but this is not the. You know, 21st century, we're like in a barren wasteland of a place. Thank you for indulging me, Sazal. I believe we lost our tail. Okay. I'm much quieter on the edges of a uh, district, and the deals and shadows look shadier. Did you enjoy your, your, your impromptu tour? It really escapes me an entire laugh after the day I've had. Then keep away from a uh, cleric, seems almost normal. I was in a mortal per uh, mortal peril, so that's a nice change of pace. He laughs to a soft and pleasant chuckle, completely at odds with his usual cool demeanor. Are you sure we lost this this uh, the fucking clerk? If there's one thing you can count on, it is the utilism in of the defense. They will not dare to follow us this far. He sounds confident enough that I was starting to wonder if we'd have to make a full circuit of the city to ditch them. Beam of moonlight cuts through the clouds, casting his face into sharp relief. However, I should escort you back to your lodgings. It would be unwise to let you go alone. Yeah, okay. I guess. <laughs> I suppose. What about you? Are you staying with the wet wick? Of course not. Then you're going back to your clinical? You just said that was a bad idea. He pauses, stares at me, then his expression relaxes in a gentle smile. Fear not, says all, only the most desperate fool or foolish would dare lay a hand on me. Yeah, you're like six foot six. I feel like nobody would try and cross you, dude. You're like a giant or something. I don't know. It sounds insane after a two near death soulless account, just but Parma believes him. Are the few people who are still huddled beneath street lamps and doorways is better to be close as safely as possible. Chorus, on the other hand, looks more relaxed than I've ever seen him. He's strolling down the mellow street, bold as there is broad daylight. Even walking alongside him makes me feel more secure and warm both sides. Uh, a note. I hang on that faint sparkle of photons. Screw up and my courage. Did you mean this morning when you said I could come back for your help? Every word. It's earlier, and it vanishes, replaced by calm focus. 
I don't know what to say. I almost expect this offer to be courtesy, an easy way to get me out the door, but the fuck he mean, the fact he means it. Well, why do you ask? I believe I have already made my intention to help you quite clear. His eyes flickered to my arms, the one that he mercilessly reattached when he found me. I can also imagine him counting the neat stitches. I just want to make certain. I'm still figuring out who is trustworthy and who is trouble. I wonder... I think that makes me slightly wonder, Riss, is does our thing work on like monsters? Like if we're to touch Ace and Veer, would they get affected by our thing? From so far we know it only works on humans. Maybe it also works on like monsters, because that's what they are. But I don't know. It's interesting. Hmm. <clears throat> Because I assume, I assume Lean can't be the only person that isn't affected by a curse. Because that would make him weirdly special. I assume all of the characters are probably in some way immune to it. Maybe they're not. Hmm? I do think it will be interesting to have some characters not. Because then we can have, I don't know. It'll, it'll leave out moments where... It'd be sweet to see characters learn how to show effects and rather holding like hands tough. I mean, you can still hold hands with bandages, but I feel like that's not as comfortable. I just want to make sure. I'm still figuring out who's trustworthy and who's trouble. I see. Your uh, Daya does intend to attract extremist individuals, including you. Ah, so it's all I decline to incriminate myself in your eyes. Uh, I can recognize a smooth de 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 deflection when I hear one. Now, if he won't talk more about himself, maybe he'll tell me more about someone else. I decide to ask about... I want to see... I always... In... I really like learning about Lindir. He's very interesting in the sense that I don't know if I can trust him or not. Why did you send me to Lindir for help? If you know Iridaya, uh better than I... Better than Lindar. And the company he keeps can be questionable, but I had confidence in him. Yeah, his bone hands seem rough around the ages. Lindar has preferred the company of those like him. The survivors of Lonetown harsh realities. You must have noticed how they flock to him. I know, he seemed to know every single person in Wetwick. And that's a good thing. Lindar's closest peers trust him with their lives. Oh, hello, hello. <laughs> hello. Hello. We're on my boy. We're doing. We're talking to the boy, chorus. We're finishing up some of the people's roots. I hope your day has been going well. Uh, doo -doo -doo. I'll say that counts for something. Okay. Interesting. Hmm. I I am way too analytical about this game. <laughs> I don't know, I like being analytical about characters. It's very interesting. I, I really- I wish there was more mechanics like this. Oh, that's- that's good. I'm glad. I'm glad it's been good. I'm- I've been good. My throat is just a bit, uh, hurting because I've been talking for five hours. <laughs> but otherwise, I'm, I'm pretty good. I've been having very fun- a lot of fun playing this game. Um, my throat may hurt though because I've been talking for so long. <laughs> Oh, my poor throat. Oh, it's fine. I'm gonna quickly take a sip of water. My tea run out. Oh my god. Mm -hmm. Oh, thank you for the follow. Uh, thank you. Okay, let me let me get comfortable. We're nearly we're nearly done. Uh I need to do men's route. Well, a uh, demo route is what we can do. It's funny because this game crashed on me the first time for no reason. I don't know why. <laughs> I don't. I don't know why it crashed. So I had to restart the stream again, which is bizarre. I think it maybe it's because of the graphics. The graphics were like I don't know. Well, it's fine now, thankfully. But, okay. Uh, do do do. Who, uh, Veer. Yeah, my friend. How do you know Veer? 
Curse visibly stiffens, and I remember the venom in Vera's voice when he grabbed me. The fucking doctor. <laughs> he did say that. He didn't. Yeah, they remember that. Vera does not like the doctor for some reason. It looks like the feeling is very much mutual. Regrettably, Veer is one of the worst patients. How did you cross his path? He stole my room key. You are fortunate he did nothing else. He is far from deadlier than he seems. There is a reason he's not a, at liberty. A reason for the collar and chain. He seems pretty dodgy to me already. I has been waiting for Kuros, uh, Kuras to elaborate, but he seems to find the thought of Veer distasteful. I don't know, I like Veer! I like Veer. I will defend him. <laughs> he did try to- he did kill me, but I like him. I don't know, I like him. I think- I don't know. I like Veer. I don't- I don't know. I like Veer. I don't know what else to say. I think he's just very interesting. Like, I don't know. A lot of these characters are hiding something, obviously. And Veer is, like, very interesting to me as a character. I don't know why. It's just very interesting to me. It seemed like, um, fuck. Len, 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 Len is also interesting to me in the sense that I don't know what his intentions are uh, at all with us. So, that, yeah, it's, I don't know. All of these characters are some way interesting to me. <sighs> all of that, I don't know. I don't know. I like Veer. What do you mean? Veer is not bad. I don't know what you're talking about. I don't like bad people, typically. Veer is not a bad person. Maybe I'm in denial, but that's okay. I like Veer, okay? Come on. I don't know. I like him. Oh, okay. Oh, and... I have been nearly murdered many times. I... It can get much worse. It can get much worse. He could be like lean there and fucking, I don't know, hypnotizing us or something. I'd rather someone murder me than, I don't know, doing weird shit to me. Okay? I'm sorry. <laughs> I just, I just like love you. Okay? How I'll defend him with my life. <laughs> my taste in people isn't this bad, okay? I just, I like you. Uh, Ace. How have you been out to see Ace at the sea spring? Once. Only once. Seems like a spring with Mercurial's powers would interest the doctor. Uh, he's... <laughs> Vera is better than Linda, okay? I... Thing is... Okay. Look. I'd rather someone fully kill me then do weird shit, okay? I'd rather someone be a like, sure, I sure, okay. Veer lies. I mean, it's suspicious, okay? And let's say if the hypnotizing thing isn't okay, the hypnotizing thing is a theory. But Lev, you you praised me for noticing the obsessiveness, okay? Look. Linda is hiding something, and through my analysis, he's very obsessive to a person he just fucking met. At least Virk is an asshole, so he's not like weirdly obs being obsessed with you. And that's that's a fact. There's little things he says that are weird to say to a person when you meet them. <laughs> okay? <laughs> and also, it may be a theory, but I think my theory is better them not theorizing okay it's suspicious the first time i would have passed it on the second time that's a bit suspicious okay <laughs> yeah i can agree with that let me let me like my shitty man okay, <laughs> okay. <laughs> i don't want to defend my shitty man i don't need to <laughs> just like let me like the shitty man can i not <laughs> you can like who you like okay okay I mean, I also like Ace, and we. <laughs> I also like Ace, but we both know Ace kills people, literally. And you also said that Ace grew on you. You can't fucking judge me for this. <laughs> okay. Okay. Yeah. Fucking my god. I did not. I did not think I would have to defend my likeness. 
Why are you arguing with me then? <laughs> you argued me for no reason. No, no, we did not need to argue about this. <laughs> I just did for no reason. Wow. I can't believe you. <laughs> I can't, I can't believe you. <laughs> I can't, I can't believe you. I, 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 you made me defend myself for no reason. Yeah, but you made me defend a character I didn't need to defend. <laughs> and most of the time, I don't like shitty characters, okay? These shitty characters have something interesting about them. Most shitty characters don't. I can't really think of a really good example, but, um... I guess, uh... I don't know what a good example would be, actually. <laughs> But a lot of characters that are shitty, that a lot of people do like in fiction, I tend to not like. These characters have weird depth that I really want to know and find out about. Because I really, really want to know about them. Anais is a rare newcomer who is previously immediately worldly of respect. The sea spring is another matter. Hidden depths often contain unwelcome secrets. Also, Ace basically confirmed that he is like some another being living. Okay, that explains. I just just fucking remembered. <laughs> yeah, but like I like them. I don't know. <laughs> They're interesting to me. But uh, Ace. That's interesting. Okay, so Ace. Yeah, he has like a being living in him, which I assume that's the spring part. Like the whatever I don't know, maybe that is the part that controls things. I assume that's just an assumption, of course. Um, yeah, yeah. <laughs> this is my assumption. Uh, uh, I assume that's what that is. Um, that would make sense. Now it's very interesting though to know how he came in possession of it. That he was just born with the fucking I don't know. Whatever this guy, whoever is living in his head. Hmm. I don't know. Landing line around here. Fair point. Nonetheless, I've seen many purported wonders and sea spring uh, is unlike any other. Only time will tell what that means. Hmm. Eon men sound like a new nature wall. Caress. He is a long suffering sigh. I know them better than most, and that's one that I would like. Like you, in his recent arrival, their time here has been particularly difficult. As much as I like to help, he shells off, but I know exactly what he's talking about. Ming doesn't seem like so a person would accept help easily. They they always pick fights that are twice the size. Every time they insult Min's size, I feel offended because I'm shorter than him. I'm shorter than Min. <laughs> I'm shorter than them. Dude, what am I? A fucking... Mouse? Then? <laughs> I've implored in them not to. They rarely listen. Well, my curiosity is safe now. I felt silent. I wish Chorus would give me a little more to go on, but um, he seems as almost tit light about a uh, tip uh, About others as he is about himself. Hmm, okay. By the time we're back at the wet wake, the district seems more noisy and more rancorous than before. Dragon pages overflow into streets with shriek of split wine. How am I supposed to sleep with all this racket? I suggest the stiffest drink at the bar. Eternally a ball of wax. Very funny. Even with how tired I am, I'm not sure I'll get a wink of sleep. I'm about to say goodnight to Curse when someone daggers the wet work right into me. I know! <laughs> Makes me glad I'm not made a character. Dude, if I was made a character in this fucking game, my height would be the only thing about me. My personality would not be there. Apparently my hand is just gonna be brutally murdered. <laughs> it's gonna be fucking... Oh my god. <laughs> I don't want to imagine what they do with my height. Whew. I'm glad there's not like a... <laughs> I'm glad that you can't pick your height in this game because goddamn, I feel like the comments about my height would be more. <sighs> oh, I feel my heart. Ouchie. I stumble back, heels teetering on the edge of the filthy gutter. Sazzle? The next thing I know, a pair of ar warm arms catch me around the waist. That'd be very hard for him to do. <laughs> I'm gonna comment every time. If, if, whenever we're gonna do Karasa's route when the game comes out, 
I'm gonna always mention how I, I don't he's too tall <laughs> I find myself staring curves pressed against his chest I don't I think I'm I think I'm like his waist height I think if I don't know yeah I think I'm his I run his waist uh his grasp loosens and but he doesn't let me go something shifts in his gaze his eyes fix on my face and I feel myself growing all over and tends to scare me <laughs> what is he seeing me what he's looking for Press? Ah, my apologies. How are all of these horny for me? I haven't even done much. I just kind of touched them once. <laughs> no, I just touched lingers through my clothes. Like, MC, I can understand. They haven't been touched much in their life, but all of these dudes are acting like they haven't been touched their whole lives. And I don't think, I think they have. Good night, thank you for everything today. You're the most welcome. Turns and slips into the crowd, though I can take out his bristling white coat with ease. A chilly gust hauls down the street. When did it get so cold out? Interesting. Let me just go through that. And we're going to Min. Min next. Min. I'm gonna follow you, short fellow short person. <laughs> I know! <laughs> like, it makes sense, like, it totally makes sense for MC to, like, get affected because, I don't know, MC being horny, understandable. I would probably too, if I was just suddenly touched, you know, understandable, because I'm also touched out. But these guys who get laid, god, they are <laughs> acting like I'm the first person who has ever touched them in their life. Like, especially with Leon, poor <laughs> man, he. It's canonical at this point that he sleeps with people, but fucking me touching him on the hand, he's like, oh, he, he, he. Man's twiddling his thumbs and shit like that. Which isn't bad, it's just mad, dude. I can't let Ming slip away so easily. They might uh, be the most standoffish person I've met so far, but they're the only ones who seem even close to neutral on the. My gut tells me they know more about the tower than they're letting on. By the time I make it out of the bar, they're already halfway down the street. Drawing my cloak close to ward off the chill and worry after them, but this hour, the district is full of caressing people. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Fucking kicking his feet, twirling his hair. Fucking, it's gonna go and tell the bartender, like, oh my god, he touched my hand. <laughs> Can you believe that? <laughs> Does he touch my hand? <laughs> While Min slips through the crowd with surprising agility, I struggle to keep the place. The edge of the cloak flutters as they round the corner. I am interested in what curse Min has. Because it's been said that they have a curse. So that's a bit interesting to me. Determined to at least try and catch up, I take the same turn in a dim side street. Uh, Min's known to be seen. Instinctively, I look for the telltale signs of a person's passage, fluttering fabric, which is closed door, but I don't see anything out of the ordinary. No hiding spots either. I start to turn because that means can only one thing. Didn't you learn your lesson earlier? <laughs> I am interested to see the difference between, like, what happens if you choose another backstory. I might, like I said, I might in another stream. We, like, skip through, like, a lot of it. But I do want to see, like, um, the different dialogue we get with others, depending on what backstory you have. Because we, the other two options is, like, um, we have, like, a templist, temple type of backstory. And the other one is, uh, we're a mage. Uh, and the person who taught us magic was a fucking, I don't know, wanted to test shit out. We were, like, a test object to her, apparently. So that's gonna be very interesting, um gonna be hmm. I mean all of the backstories give us trust issues from what I can say uh, no matter what we pick we have trust issues which but it'd be interesting to see if maybe like I'm more interested in the mage because me ma well not the mage no I'm the temple because it says that we can know what person well like what a person is so that'd be like the second thing that I probably for sure would pick because I want to see if we can tell what Ace is. 
right? Because I really need to know what the fuck that man is. He, I'm, he's mysterious. I don't know what the fuck he is. He, we only know that he has like a voice in his head. <laughs> I really need to know what he is. I'm also impressed. There's not many people who can sneak up on me like that. They fold their arms, pointedly staring me down. I thought nearly getting eaten would teach you uh, that being alone at night is dangerous. <laughs> I'm not alone, am I? <laughs> Oh my god, I- Oh my god, I went through all of- nearly went through all of my saves. Um, this kind of shows how much of a fucking- uh, how much I save. Uh, I'm not alone, am I? It's a good thing I'm not alone then, isn't it? Man looks at me in blank confusion for a moment before releasing Asian dots. I know! <laughs> I am the person that the people make more safe spots for, because I- I am anxious. I don't want to get a bad ending. <laughs> I don't mind my character dying, but I don't want any bad endings for these characters. <laughs> Are you always so persistent? Oh! Look at me, my riz. <laughs> my riz. <laughs> How did I do that? <laughs> Dude, I rizzed up men. I feel like that's an achievement. Look at me. <laughs> Are you proud of me? <laughs> like, How did I do that? How did I do that? Okay. <laughs> I didn't expect that. Okay. I really don't know how to read them. They shift between aggressive and hesitant without warning. I have no idea how to tell which the way they, which way they swing. <laughs> do you mean personality-wise or just sexuality? But I can't help feeling the thrill when pink sweeps across their cheeks. I kind of have to be... be uh, it's how I start life. Men recovers the composure quickly, their mouth shifting into a frown. They gaze away, eyes sweeping across the sheet, uh, the street. And their gaze seems to linger in the particular building, another tavern, but a ta sign outside before they look back at me. You've been lucky so far, but it won't last. Nobody in the city is trustworthy. Not even you, especially not me. I met cl clams that opened more, more willingly than me. <laughs> but even if they don't talk about themselves much, there was no opinions about. Um, Uh, Lindar. Lindar seems fond of you. He's an idiot. Oh. So, Min has a bit of a... Min has a crush on Lindar, I assume? Or not a crush, maybe they're just attracted to him physically. And I'll just blow a word who won't shut up to save his life. Their words are harsh, taken to face value, but it's completely odd that the flush and creeping across the cheekbones. Is that all? They huff. It seems physically pain for them to speak again. He does accept for work. He pays on time, which is more than I can ask for, most. And his bullet held in his look after Lowtown. If he was capable of being quiet for more than ten seconds at a time, he'd be more, most tolerable. The tone was almost fond, but then brows draw together as they glare at me. But I'm not one of his bloodhounds. If he told me otherwise, he'd be talking out of his ass as usual. As work to offer as long as I take it, that's all. You say that, but, um, you slept with him. I'm just saying. <laughs> he must be very persuasive. <laughs> Literally. I'm glad we did, actually, I'm very glad we did Lindar's, um, first, because we kind of know shit about men now. <laughs> we know that uh, they slept with them. Which is kind of funny. I didn't expect that at all. I don't know. Maybe, I guess, even the hard person who is hard as a shell maybe needs some time off and stress free. Can't really blame him. Honestly. Wait, I checked my phone real quick. Eh, I don't blame him though. Hmm. If you're always hunting, you gotta get stressed somehow and you know, gotta relieve that stress in one way or the other. Okay. Uh, beer. How did you meet beer? Men's face crunches like they've just been into a rotten lemon. A perfect flee by jump me during fog fall. So I stabbed him and left him in the gutter where he belongs. Damn. My heart thuds hard in my chest. Their voices are icy but disgust. The night air feels warm by comparison. It's only a shame it doesn't stick. I suppose I'll just have to keep trying. Men speaks casually, murder, and I vividly remember the sight of blood smeared on their hand. But somehow I'm now afraid they think they mean me harm. I take your opinion hasn't changed. He fucks with people for kicks. Ever since I was mad, he's either crashed in a window or a conceited put down. Whatever he's done bad enough that 
Sino has a complete leash, an unleash. There are monsters living on every other street. He's the one who needs to be muzzled before he's taken out for a walk. Lately, I close my mouth. Hmm. Okay. <laughs> nice. You don't seem to like Ace. I don't like anyone, but specifically the bloodthirsty gangster. I mean, he kinda, I don't know. I kinda like him. <laughs> the words tumble from their mouth before I can finish my sentence. Did he do something to you? Beyond existence? No, but I'm waiting around. I'm not waiting around to get her first. The sea spring, he runs, with all the smiling red eyed people. I suppose his own saving grace that hasn't forced him to drink it from it yet. Monsters like him don't know or care about what they have. It makes me sick. Damn! <laughs> I feel like MC is. I feel like if I was MC, I feel like I'd be targeted. God damn! Because <laughs> we're not considered human. That's for sure. Jesus. I don't think Min likes uh, monsters very well. I'm like staring at them. You really. You don't really like monsters, do you? Min fixes me to flick clear. The pillow eyes like chip of ice. Every monster forced their uh, way out of straw and into this world for some reason. I mean, I know Ace's reason, but the vast majority of monsters, humans, are food, playthings, or beneath notice. That may be simply be the nature, but I don't have to like it. And I'm not going to risk my life in hopes that any of them is different. A lot of humans fear or hate monsters, but there's something different about how Min talks about them. It sounds personal. <laughs> it's kind of funny. It's funny how my two favorites are monsters. Uh, me and Min are very different people. <laughs> One is <laughs> likes monsters and is a monster fucker. The other is the opposite. <laughs> um, if you're going to keep asking questions, that asks about something else. Us. You and Cora seem to get along, though. The dense lines of Min's features soften. He's an exception. Few people are willing to help others. Fewer when there's any risk involved. And some of them, Curse is unique. I have a feeling the Min doesn't smile often, but the curve of the slip, however slight, is unmistakable. They call, catch himself, their expression close enough, and hear audible snap. He's not the worst, a decent doctor, even he asks too many questions. But nothing is really for you. You think he's running some kind of racket. What? No! <laughs> Damn. The rebuttal is too fast to be anything but genuine. They have apparently know it to be caught, being sincere. I just think there's something more to him. No, I suppose it's true for most people. Doors bang open at the end of the street, white and left to pour out of the bar, followed by a group of giggling people in white uniform. The Symbian students having a night out in town. Men hesitate for a moment before they start down the street in the same direction as the students. When I follow close on their heels, they grimace, speaking through their teeth. Why are you still following me? When I ask them over, I notice something odd. Besides their vehement dislike of him, while men didn't exactly sound enthusiastic about the of them, but they were first to speak with anything besides open animosity. They have us the student piling into the bar, and ducks into the alleyway next to it. If any, if any, nobody in the city is trustworthy, what about the Cenobium? I don't think I'm saying that correctly at all, but it's what they're called now. I like the Bium. The Bium part, I don't know why. The line of the narrow shoulders abruptly tenses. They lift their chin, giving me a wary look. Cross must have warned you about the nature of the city's currency. Right information, secrets. I fidget uncertain. I don't trust men's unpredictable moves or all the things they're saying uh, they clearly aren't saying. Their eyes dip towards my hand, passing over bandages like razor. The pressure light were full of keen edge possibility. I shiver hastily, sorting my hands in the pockets they're from, but their gaze drifts away to meet the window of the bar next to us. It's opaque, either frosted glass or caked in dust, but some of the warm light diffuses out in the alley. The same one place is a place of learning, so if someone has questions that can't be answered anywhere else, the same might have the solution. Or at least that's how it was once upon a time. These days, the doors are closed to outsiders. That's what I expect after I practically shooed off earlier, just as I start to relax to speak again. Um... Whoever you're looking for there, the cost may be higher than you're willing to play, pay. The sheer hypocrisy of the words ticks me off. What gives you the right to talk when you do the exact same thing as me? What questions are you asking that the only sin Pyom can answer? Uh, that's personal. <laughs> so there is something men's looking for in the, uh, for the, the Simeon. I suppose to make two of us if they're following groups of Simeon students around, they must not be having much luck either. Everyone else seems to fear or hate them, but you don't. 
back in the village. Spurred by honored by curiosity, my lingering annoyance I press forward. You must know something about them, something I haven't told the Endura or Chorus. But they're not letting in, which means you're one of the outsiders. Oop. I think I pissed them off. And the space between one breath and the next, Min closes the distance between us. Sun slender fingers grab the front of my shirt and slam and gives me the wall with shocking strength. The force of the movement knocks their hood back, messy hair fluttering around their face. I'm standing on tiptoe. Min lifted me clearly near the clear up the ground with a single hand. The realization sends us electrical tingle down my spine, but before I can begin to wonder what that's about, Min snarls in my face. You don't know what you're fucking talking about. Well, why the pad padable? You know, that's debatable. The angry twist of the mouth draws my eyes down to the beauty spot in the corner of her lips. <laughs> and say it's not a time to be horny. <laughs> Can't seem to stop staring at it. It's incongruously decolate compared to the fire in the gaze. The steel bone strength in their grip, but then so the rest of them. Well, neither do you. Neither do you. We're practical strangers. Why are you acting like you know anything about me? Your line of questions is exactly subtle. It's not hard to guess that this is something to do with your hands. You think you can use me to get into a uh, better place? Don't be naive. I'm not angry easily. I can't afford to when a moment of carelessness could be fatal, but when they mention my hands, my temper flares hot. Who says I'm the one who needs you? Realization strikes me like a thundercap. You're not getting anywhere by yourself either, are you? But you can't make yourself ask for help. You're stuck, and it's your own fault. I promise. <laughs> Damn. Let's <laughs> see. I'm bracing myself, accepting men to snap at me again. Instead, their gaze drops, eyes falling away from my face. I mean, they did follow us. Um, they did follow us a bit uh, near the start, when we were meeting all the characters. I do remember them following us for a bit. Uh, we saw them slightly. The bro falls in frustration, but the twist in her mouth is miserable. The voice trembles obviously imperceptibly when they speak. I know. As a city only cares about what you can give or what can take from you. Information, power, connections. If you're an outsider here, nobody will help you. Nobody will even try. You don't belong anywhere. My heart thuds in my chest for an entirely different reason now. They seem suddenly very small. Wow. They are. All alone, like me. Min. Oop. Min jerks backwards. They really sing me so abruptly that I nearly stumble. Maybe they realize how close we were. Maybe they said too much. Mm, sure. We can press forward. I don't know. You know, I'm not to let it go. I'll press forward. Min takes another step back. But this time, they're on the one with the back against the wall. Look, we both want something from the place, right? But neither of us are gonna get anywhere on our own. We could help each other out. It's worth a shot, don't you think? Min sighs. They sound annoyed, but any hostility seems to have gone out of them. You've made it this far already, I'll grant you that. But if you're looking for help, you should look elsewhere. If you stay too close to me, I'll get hurt. Well, you too! I have, like, weird-ass hands. I don't know. Before I can think of what to say, the tavern's doors bang open and the students spill back out considerably, considerably drunker. Their ranks seem to have swelled with their other barflies. Bar uh, the group floods back into town towards the Great Tower, rising moonward. Well, as I'm distracted by the commotion, Min slips away from me, drawing their hood up. I catch up their eyes for a moment, but they're gone, vanishing to the ground. Hmm, interesting. Well, we did all of that. Okay. I do think, uh, uh let me go to just chatting. <laughs> my poor throat. Holy shit. <laughs> okay, let me go see here. Oh, my throat. That was a lot of reading for like six hours at this point. I might do this. I don't know if I'll do it next week, but whenever I have, um, whenever I plan, I might do a, like a quick, uh, stream of, um, like, the other backstories, and we'll skip through, like, a lot of the dialogue, and we'll, we'll, you know, it will not skip through, like, new dialogue, because I'm very interested in that. Uh, okay, let me exit the game. That, that's, that's such a, oh, I like that game a lot. That's gonna be, like, my new obsession, I have a feeling. <laughs> it's gonna be my new obsession, um, 
should I switch? I mean, I won't be talking for too long. Um, I'll be talking probably for like a couple of minutes, maybe. Oh, excuse me. Goddamn. My throat. Oh, my throat is gonna regret all of my- Oh my god. My poor throat. Goddamn. I'm not used to speaking for ten to six hours. Yeah, me too. I am for sure. I am very interested. For, like, I am- I am invested. I'm very invested in a lot of the characters. It's so- they're so interesting. It's so- It's also interesting to see their relations, um, about each other. We know, um, Min, um, yeah, unfortunately. Not yet. But we know Min and Chorus. I think Min admires Chorus. I don't think Min has a crush on, um, I don't think Min has a crush on Chorus. But, and it's also interesting, because I didn't expect Min and uh, Lindir. Did not expect that. I mean, I guess no. Lindir seems a type to, like, bring people in just because of his charm, I suppose. So I guess that's not really too shocking. Um, but, I don't know. That's very interesting to me. Very interesting. That that was that was a interesting thing to find out. That was like I was surprised. Then we know Ace and um, Ace and fucking um, Veer are friends with benefits, and I think Veer probably has more crush. I guess, but I feel like the with Lean, he's very charismatic, right? Like, uh, I'm not gonna talk about his possessed side because I already talked about that. Maybe, maybe, maybe. Mm -mm, I don't know. I don't think he did because I don't know. Maybe he did. I don't know. Because we don't know if Min has told um, Lean about their curse, right? Like, I don't know. Lean can easily take advantage of us because we told him his cur like the curse that we have and he can take advantage of that but we don't know if you know we don't know too much about the characters unfortunately even though I really like them uh but yeah my the when the game comes out I have I think I have an idea of what roots I want to do I do want to do Lean Deer's route but I feel like ugh, I want to do his route first just because I'm curious about him he's not my favorite uh but he is, I don't know, Lindir is very, very curious. Um, I don't know, because, I don't know. We only have, like, theories about him. Like, sure, I spotted, like, his fucking weird behavior, like, obsessive behavior. But, like, that, that's, I don't know. That's all we have. He's very, that, he's interesting to me because I'm interested how bad he can get, right? Each character, there. I assume their bad endings is like how the worst they can act. I assume the bad endings of theirs is the pinnacle of the worst character they can put out. And it's interests. I feel. I don't know. I feel like I'd actually want to get Lean Deer's bad ending. I never like to get bad endings, but um. Yeah, I guess chorus is very simple. It's not too. He's very. It's because I don't think we have too much information on him. Everyone's, whenever, everyone's point of view of him is just like he's a doctor, and I, yeah, yeah. That's that's what I'm saying. I don't I don't like bad endings, but Lean Deer's bad ending could be so interesting. <sighs> the first bad ending I'll do on my channel, <laughs> just because I'm so. Oh, that's so interest. I really want to know his bad ending. I'm weirdly invested in his like bad, I don't know, weird behavior he has spat out, cause it's he's weirdly obsessive to a person he's just met. He's like, I can point out, you know, like the first time we talked to him, uh, he was like, oh, is this the first time you? I, you see, the question asking if this is the first time you touched someone's hand, that wouldn't be weird, cause the person just find out that you have cursed hands, basically. But then afterwards, he started to say, like, weirdly obsessive things. Uh, like, oh yeah, don't don't show this to anyone else. 
I don't remember what he said specifically, but he he said something like, "Don't, don't, you know, don't tell anyone else about this," you know. He said something that basically was like a bit obsessive. And then after we, you know, talked to him, he also then the way he talks about other people. That's why it's a bit suspicious to me, because, like I said, he is doing the thing. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know who. I don't know how to describe it, but he does a thing where he sugarcoats a person and then he adds like a flaw to them. It feels like a weirdly manipulative thing to do. I I, I guess that's the. I don't think. I don't know. It feels a bit manipulative in a weird way, right? Because he's like, oh, this person, um, is this person, they're kind of, like, Ace is a good example of that. Like, he said, like, oh, yeah, Ace is a really laid-back guy, and, you know, uh, and then he says something bad about him. I don't remember what he said bad about him. I, my brain, I can't fucking remember. I don't remember. But, uh, he says something bad about him, and then he's like, but, you know, I, I respect him, which is, like, I don't know, that's a weird thing to do. You know? I don't know. Because Verb was just... I, I, I think he was brutally honest because he doesn't like people, which... Whatever. Uh, I don't mind. Ace is a... I feel like he's just being honest also. Melinda... The way he... I think it's the way he says things is so weird to me. And it, it has to be intentional. Because it's the way he says shit. That's 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 just so fascinating to me. The way he says things, it's so I don't know, it's so bizarre. It's like I feel I think Veer has like a good grip on like I feel like Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's yeah. <laughs> You're saying what I was basically thinking. Yeah, it feels like he's it's like he's giving you information, but he's purposefully making you, um... <laughs> you're very late. <laughs> oh, you're very late, micro. Why do you keep get? Oh my god, dude. I have to always... Whenever you come, I have to make your fucking... Um... Wait, let me... Are we talking about the characters? I'm not gonna go through the summary, because it's a fucking big-ass thing to have to repeat. <laughs> Okay, my god, <laughs> it's always you. <laughs> I have to make fucking okay. There we go. Make it a bit smaller. Now you're small. <laughs> now you're just small. <laughs> but uh, okay. But yeah, uh, the yeah. What was I on? Oh yeah. D Lindir is so. <sighs> god damn, he's so. That's, I think that's why Lindir is so interesting to me. I don't think. I don't think I, I like him as much, but I, he's so interesting to me because of how he says things. Like, 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 like you perfectly said, he's making, he's putting bad things about a person, but he's like, he, but he adds good things just so then you, he's deciding, he's making you think bad about a person, even though he's like, you, you can decide, even though it's obviously he's trying to make you think bad about everyone. Even about Kuras, he had some shit to say about Kuras, which most other people are just like, he's a doctor. He does shit. <laughs> you know what I mean? Kuras seeming the most normal out of the bunch, he somehow made a bad comment about him. And look, I am not, I don't, I, I'm not too interested in Kuras, but like, that's, that's what's bizarre. We know Ver just doesn't like Kuras, but even Ver wasn't like, an asshole about it somehow. But then Leander is like, oh yeah, Kuros, he's a good guy. But then he, I don't remember what he said about him, but he added like a negative or something. And it's uh, so, so, Linder is such, it seems like he is weird. Maybe he doesn't even realize it or he's doing it on purpose. I'm not sure. I'm not sure which. I'm not sure it's which is worse. <laughs> yeah, we're, we're talking about a character, um, uh, like Linder is the first character you meet in the visual novel. He seems very charming, but um, we had conversations with him. That uh, during conversating with him, 
he says shit that's like very weird to me at least like i'm not the only one who caught this but he says things that i are so weird to me he seems very obsessive um more like for no reason at all <laughs> he's like a mage and he has a lot of people he's like a leader type of person so He's so interesting to me, and not because I'm attracted to him, just because he's such a weird, I don't know, I just, I don't know what, because I don't know if he's doing it on purpose, or he's not, like, you know, there's, like, people who are, like, bad, but they don't realize that they're bad, right? Like, I'm not sure if that's the case, or if he's just purposefully being charming, and purposefully being, I don't know. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's that's what it feels like exactly. Exactly, it feels like the game is trying to. That's what I'm saying. I think a lot of people will ignore like his red flags because uh, yeah, they're gonna ignore his because it's it's really small things that you don't really notice. I'm good at picking it up because I like um, I I like I like like you know I like an, uh, analyzing behaviors. If I ever like a character, analyzing them. <laughs> so it's so interesting. The game, yeah, it's the game has to be trying to. I just, what I feel like a lot of people. I'm gonna afterwards. I'm just gonna see. I feel like a lot of people are gonna like him, because it's, I don't know. Cause I mean, we liked him. <laughs> you know, we liked him at the store. We're like, oh, he's kind of cute. You know? And then afterwards, I'm like, hmm. Hmm. It's like, like I said, if he continued just to be nice, and he, there's like, not weird. Because I feel like you have to be very observant. I've played games similar like this. Not fully similar, but games where, like, there's characters that aren't, aren't what they seem. And he is exactly what I would s suspect. Um... Actually, specifically, I don't remember what the game it was, but there was a game where it had similarly, not the same character, but like the character had, they were charming, but um, during this person's route, this character's route, if you were alone with the character, you just get killed. And that, I don't think he will kill us, but that's what it feels like. It feels like like a honey trap. Oh my god, I'm so smart. <laughs> it feels like he's luring you in. Um, in a weird way. And the game is trying to honey trap you. It's gonna, it's gonna, the guy's gonna basically be so nice to you. And so loving. I don't, I'm, I, it's dark romance. So like, that's why it's not, I don't think it's so far off. Uh, characterized. It's a dark romance where shit, bad shit can happen. That's why I'm like, there's a warning for a reason, right? There's a warning for a reason. So, reading into it, I'm not reading into it at all, because makes sense. And he has a good reputation because he's basically has been helping a lot of people who are fucked up. Um, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you are. <laughs> He has a group of people that love him because he's helped them out. I don't think he's a cult leader, but, you know, it makes so much sense. The characters make so much more sense. I don't know. It's so interesting. <sighs> yeah, <laughs> there was a stream and then it fucking glitched out. Well, let's move on from Lindir. I can talk about that man because he's so interesting to me. Veer, I love Veer. I don't know why. I really like him. <laughs> the fox boy weirdly is taking my heart. It's also, I think, I don't know, it's a weird part of me is like, I want him to like me as much as he likes Ace. I don't know what that, yeah, there's a fox boy. Well, technically they're called monsters, but yeah, he's a, I think we figured out that he's a scavenger. He basically can, like, he, he eats people. Um, basically what he is, uh, cause he's, we found out that he is scavenger. I'm okay with him killing me. He can, he can kill me more. <laughs> I like him. I don't know. I'm okay with him killing me. 
He can kill me all day. <laughs> uh, that's my, that's my, um, I don't want to look. Feelings about a character I can't explain. Uh, no, I think it's good. <laughs> I oppose to that statement. I like him. I don't know. Uh, uh. <laughs> exactly. He took the words out of my mouth. Exactly. But I, I don't know. I like him. I think it's the weird side of like I want him to like me as much as he likes Ace. It's so I don't know. I don't know what to call that side. I don't know <laughs> my competitive side. Ace, I like Ace too. Ace is I don't know. I like Ace. I think I like Ace because he's a weird character. Because he's like telling you, hey, don't be in my cult. Basically, what he's trying to do, right? That's what Ace is doing. He's like, don't be in my cult, please. He's literally asking you not to join his cult. <laughs> and and I, it's like, he's very honest too. He's like, if you drink this, you will lose your sanity. Um, and he's like, literally, uh, he basically. Hey, you're missing a lot of context. <laughs> you're missing so much context. Basically, he, like, yeah. Yeah, exactly. And he treats, he seems like he treats his, like, people, like, the leader, he, 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 um, treats his, the people that he, I don't know if he controls them. Yeah, it's a dark romance, I don't know what you expect. <laughs> it is a dating game, but it's a dark romance dating game. I mean, I, how many times did we die? The first, uh, we got, okay, <laughs> you wouldn't have been surprised, in the first moments, my arm got cut off. And then my arm got stitched back open, um, back into me. And then and the, a person died. We got the counter. Yeah, yeah, three times. The first time we nearly died. The second time... How, how did we die the second time? I know the third time was by, um... By the... For beer. What is the second time? I don't remember the second time. I really don't. I, don't. I just remember Veer and then dying the first. Yeah, I don't remember the, yeah. Yeah, Ace seems like an anti leander for sure. He seems like an asshole first, but then he's very weirdly chill. And it's also, I don't think he is doing... I don't think he is the one that is controlling everyone. He said that he's like another person inside of him. There's like a person in his head. Which is like, that could be the person that's controlling things. I don't think he has a split personality. I think it's just like a demon possession type of thing. Because um, I don't think they would use split personality type of thing. Because that would be just a shit thing to do. But I think he just has a little demon inside of him that controls things. Because even he, he doesn't know what the fucking, like, the sea spring does. He's like, I don't know what the fuck it does, dude. Dude, I don't know. He's quite honest about that. He really is like, um, mm, dude, fuck, fuck that I know. I like that about him. I like that in man. You know, I like honesty. But yeah, that's it's interesting. Uh, maybe that's why I like Ace. I think he's the most honest one. Um, he's yeah, he's the most honest. Cause at first I was like, damn, an asshole. But I was like, damn, I like him. <laughs> He seems like, um, I, don't know, I think he's just a teasing type of person. I think he's just, I don't know, he's a teasing fucker. <laughs> but, and then, uh, Min is interesting because, uh, I want to know about the curse they have. I really want to know about the curse they have. It's, I don't know. Because it says that he, that they have a curse and I want to know. I, I need to know. <laughs> So, the when the game comes out, uh, probably will play it straight away on stream. We're gonna go with... Uh, I want... I don't know. Uh, Min is very interesting. And... It's so interesting. I'm so... I'm so confused. Because I'm like... I weirdly want... I weirdly want to do Lindir's path. 
Because I feel like that's going to be the first one most people choose, right? That's why I want to do what I feel like. I feel like that's the only reason I want to do Lean's path. I want to do his route just because everyone else will do it. And I want to... Because then afterwards, I will get my answers, right? If I do Veer's route first, I won't get my answers about Leander. I really want to get my answers about him. Leander got my attention in a like in the most bad way. <laughs> I really I really want to know. Imagine if we go into his route and he's not anything bad. That'd be awful. It's dark Roman, so he has to be. Why did why is he grabbing my attention? I don't like that. <laughs> I don't like that he's got my attention. I don't like that at all. <laughs> so, yeah, I think when the game comes out, we're going to do Leander's route just because I'm really I really want to know. I really want to know what's so fucked up about him. He gives me... He's so interesting in the weirdest way to me. Because his... I think his route is going to be the one that I'm like, Oh, that makes so much more sense. And then afterwards, I can stop be thinking about him. Yes. And then... Well, I'm going to stop talking about Lindor, but yeah. His Lindor is going to be first, then Veer, I think. And then Ace. And then Ming. And then Karas. Karas is going to be the last one I'll do because um my inter we don't have too much on him and the most we gotten from Karas is that he's just a doctor and it's not too interesting. I am interested in how the fuck he stitched my head. He like how the fuck he put my hand back. That's the really that's the only really interesting thing that I'm really interested in. Cuz we don't know how the fuck he did that. I'm still very curious about that. But yeah, that's that's mostly it. Um, tomorrow, I'm gonna do an art stream, and it's gonna be at six p.m. <laughs> Let me check. <laughs> um, yeah, tomorrow we're gonna tomorrow we're gonna do an art stream, and then on Friday it's Muse Dash, which is a rhythm game. Tomorrow I'm for sure gonna be ranting about this game, so that's gonna be it's gonna be part two of me just talking about this game because I like, I have thoughts. I'm not gonna just because if I talk, I'm gonna talk for a whole hour about this game, and I don't want to do that because it's six hours, and I don't want to spend seven hours on this game. <laughs> I like this game, but you know, uh, I'll save that for tomorrow. Um, tomorrow, yeah, art at six p.m. I think, and then um. Then Muse Dash on, I think, 4 p.m. Let me quickly check. <sighs> this game's gonna be stuck in my mind for a bit. <laughs> yeah, uh, art and then Muse Dash at 4 p.m. And art at 5.30. I changed. Yeah, 5.30 p.m. A bit earlier, just because uh, I can. <laughs> oh my god. My brain is gonna be just... I'm gonna fall asleep thinking about this. This... It's not a good game. It's a good game. It's a really good game. It's not a good game to go to bed to. I'm gonna be thinking about it. Oh no. Oh yeah. Tomorrow I'm gonna just be ranting about it for sure. I'm just gonna, gonna be ranting about it. Oh, it's such a. I like the game. It's so mm, I like the game a lot. I didn't expect that I would like it this much. Like I said, most of the time, whenever I play a dating game, there's like three, maybe. Maybe two characters I'd like. Tree is reaching it. This game, I like four of them. <laughs> Linder is... I, Linder, I think, is a... Yeah, this game makes me think. Uh, oh my god. Uh, Linder, um... Linder, men, uh... Very and ice. Car Car I'm not as interested in. Linder, I don't. Oh my God, he's frustrating to me, cause I don't want to say I like him, but I like him in a weird way. I think, cause I I want to know. I, this is the thing. when a character is being weirdly manipulative, ma manipulative. When a character is being weirdly manipulative, I really want to know why. Because otherwise I would be just stuck on there. I'm like, why are you acting like this? I can microanalyze all the things he said. But it's not going to give me any answers to why he's doing this. 
yeah, 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 same. I'm interested in him, but not, I am. I'm not. I don't like him. But Vera and Ace are very likable to me. They may be bad boys, but I know I like bad boys. <laughs> That's false, but I really like them. Vera is interesting, and I like him because I want to know why he lies so much. I want to know why he's imprisoned. Like, sure, we kind of know why, but we don't know, like, what happened. We don't know how he got in that situation. I, you know, I want to know why he's so good friends with Ace. And I want him to like me. <laughs> I want him to like me more than Ace. And Ace, Ace, I like him a lot, too. Ace is a anti... He's like fucking an anti-cultist. <laughs> like, he's a cultist that's doing a shitty job of being a cultist. <laughs> that's what I like about Ace. He's like... Dude, you don't have to do this if you don't want to. Come on. <laughs> you know. I like him. He's weird. Yeah, I like him. I like him. <laughs> so, he's so... You don't... I don't know. I don't... I didn't expect to like him at all. I didn't expect to like Ace uh, at all. But I do. Cause it's, like I said, he's like an anti-cultist. He's not trying to... You know... <laughs> I know, but he's literally being honest about it for no reason. <laughs> and then he treats everyone decently. I'm also very curious about what the fuck the creature that is inside him. That's definitely interesting to me. I want to know what is like controlling him partially. I assume he killed that guy for a reason. He didn't kill like the fucking guy who bumped into me for no reason at all. Maybe the voice inside his head told him to. Uh, the, whatever who, whatever the fuck is possessing him. Oh, these characters are so interesting. Oh my god, I'm gonna be thinking about this. I'm gonna be theorizing. I can't even theorize on much. <laughs> I can't theorize on much because we don't have too much. Oh, that's so frustrating. <sighs> this demo, oh my god. This is, this is annoying. <laughs> But yeah, uh, next week, I don't know, I don't know if I'll do it next week. We'll see, I don't know, we'll see. One of the future streams, I might play, um, you know, I might play the game again and go with different backgrounds and see, it's gonna, I wanna see if any of the characters are more, I don't know, not nicer to you, but like more trusting towards you just because of your background change. Like... If I'm a mage, would Linder be more like, would he like me more or would he not like me as much? Because I'm like someone who is the same power as him, right? If I'm like a person who can tell what the fuck the person is at the Templist. Yeah, I want to know the different reactions people have to me being different things. Is me being a Templist and knowing, like, being able to know what person creature is. Would that change anything? Would me being a mage change anything? You know, it's, it's, I want to know. It's very interesting. I'm gonna be. Oh my god! Why did I play this? Why did I play this? I'm gonna be. St my brain's gonna be stuck. Oh my god! I'm gonna be complaining about this. I'm gonna be in a good way. This game is stuck in my brain now. In a fucking the most. Oh, god damn it! God damn it! Touch starved, you're making me touch star for more content. I'm gonna be I'm gonna follow them on everything just to know when it's out. Uh, invaded my mind. <laughs> Let me actually see if they have any um touch starved game. I wanna see if they because they have a website, the official website and it's kind of funny that how I kind of had a feeling I would like Ver, Veer. I, I had a weird feeling that I would really like that, like him for no reason. I just locked him. Oh yeah, I'm gonna join the mailing list for sure. Okay, I'm gonna. I need to know. I need to know about this game. <laughs> I don't even sign up with email stuff, but yeah, I know. Please tell me. I also had a feeling the de um, the developers um made I feel like they 
If they have completed a route, I for sure feel like Linder's route is the first one they would complete. Just because I, it's like a, it's like a honey trap. It makes him, it makes you want to like him, right? It makes him very likable. gonna cry if it's like that i'm gonna physically cry because i'm gonna be i have oh oh my god i'm sorry <laughs> oh, for a minute. i'm gonna quickly wait 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 can i go to me real quick i'm gonna let me show the twitter i saw a cute fan art i really like the fan art um there you go oh my god look at this the boys oh my god yeah for sure i'm gonna just gonna mm -hmm. people are making art that's so fucking cool holy shit what okay we people are talented see i knew it's gonna be popular also i was right i was fucking right people are something for this man i had a feeling i, I fucking knew i knew there's a lot of fan art of him Oh, that's so cute. But yeah, fucking, I knew it. I knew it. <laughs> I fucking knew it. I knew it. Just, just looking through this. Oh. They have a, okay. They had a survey thing. Oh. Oh, they're making like, um, wait. They have a thing on Kickstarter. Let me see real quick. Oh, that's so fucking cool. Okay. They have a Kickstarter and it's, um, they're making some like silver, they're like making pins. That's cute. That's awesome. Okay. Hmm. I like that. That's interesting. Oh, well, close in July. Oh, that's, that was last. That was, was it? Wait. August, June, July. Oh, yeah, it's over now. But okay, I see. Yeah, it's already done. Okay, the backing is already done. Um, that was June, July. I see. That's, I'm so surprised. I haven't noticed this game. Apparently, has been more popular in July. I mean, it's probably still now. Also, there's interesting information that we're also getting. What district of Idiria is Len Lin Lindir from? The magical talented son of an old high tone family, Lindir was expected to join the Symbium when he was young, came of age. Said he packed his bags 12 years ago to chase his own dreams. That's interesting. So he was supposed to join the place of like the, C the Sinu place, but he didn't and he left hmm, that's interesting very interesting i mean that doesn't mean he's really a good person you know just because he does that but it's really interesting huh that's so interesting hmm. my i'm gonna have to thrift to the freaking through this gonna gonna thrift to this and just fucking read it. <laughs> well, I'm gonna okay. Um, yeah, uh, I'm gonna end stream for now. <laughs> Just, I'm gonna get too distracted, but yeah. Uh, have a good day or night. Um, tomorrow is the art stream. On Friday is the muse that stream. Just uh, gonna remind again. Uh, yeah, this game is very fun. It's gonna be in my brain for a fucking while. Uh, that's for sure. Yeah, see you tomorrow. Uh, have a good rest of the day. <sighs> the game is going to be stuck in my little brain. I'm gonna <laughs> oh, bye bye. Uh, have a good day. Uh, yeah, bye bye.